Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's a new year, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for those new year resolutions. And it's the perfect time to start a new hobby. Jewelry Maker, Sewing Street and Hobby Maker are here whether you're starting something new or advancing your skills on a current hobby. With all the tools you need to start, as well as expert demonstrations from our great guests. Are you starting a new hobby this January? Share your new makes with us by tagging Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker or Sewing Street using the hashtag New Year New Hobby. And watch us every day from 8am to 1pm on Jewelry Maker. On Hobby Maker, 6 to 8am and 1 to 6pm. And 8am to 1pm on Sewing Street. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. You look beautiful as Thank always. Thank you very much. Are you all right, darling? I will apologise. Okay. I have been that duck this morning. Did I actually show you the video? I sent it to Ross this morning. I haven't stopped talking what about it. What was the duck? So, so, <laughs> last night, I was probably chuckling because there was a little du a duck literally in someone's house. And, and he was like, the feet, flap, flap, flap. Oh, flap, I've heard that the flappy feet flap, thing. Flap, 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 yes. Flap, 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 but the other way. And it's it's titled this meme reel, whatever they call them, basically, when you're late for work but you keep forgetting stuff. That was me this morning. <laughs> I was literally that duck. Oh, that's all right. It happens. Oh, but um, we're here now. Sit comfortable. I saw a thing the other day and it, it said, um, I don't have ducks and they're not in a row. I have squirrels and they're at a rave. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's my life kind as of, well. Yeah, that's sort of fitting. That, that's my life. <laughs> you know, weirdly, you, talk, you were talking about squirrels. You know, that can't, if you were with us, I, I did a show with Mark a few days ago and we were talking about his naughty cats and you know, what they bring in. Um, presents, though. You know. Lovely presents, very yeah. generous of them. <laughs> and I was watching again one of these reels, and there's this man, and he's, he's, he looks quite emotional, and he's like stroking this baby squirrel, he's like, he's, which he's obviously <laughs> genuinely a little squirrel. Um, so he's stroking, he looks really emotional, as if he's obviously rescued, and they called him Morris or something Aww. like that. And, then, and, and the wife's like going, say goodbye to Morris then. Go on, put him in the tree. Say goodbye to Morris. And he puts him in the tree and they're like, and this baby squirrel's all a little bit nervous and everything. And he scurries up a little bit. And then next thing, meow. Oh, no. Up the tree, grabs Morris, runs off. Oh, do you know, it's like, oh, no. It's literally just reminded me of the conversation I had with Mark. Oh, my God. It's like, poor Morris. He was nursed back to life. And then the cat went and, and then the cat it. got him. Oh, the cat no. Got him. Naughty pussy cat. Naughty cat. Um, <laughs> what an amazing <laughs> Thursday show we have for you. Honestly, Hannah, every single hour is completely jam-packed with, with beautiful goodies. goodies. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, I, I love it when they do that. You, get, you just get all of the treats. All it's kind of like, the how treats. How did we get all of that? Well, let's start with your gorgeous jewellery. <laughs> oh, because love these. these kits at 9 and at 12 are absolutely beautiful. Um, I feel a little bit of a Suru vibe. I, I think that's kind of where we're going with it. You know, it's just, it, you know, there's a, there's a lot of um, kind of encrusted gemstones oh. is what we're calling them. So, so that is kind of gemstones that, that have, might have been included uh, with, with a bit of um, gold surrounding them. Oh, amazing. Or they might have a bit of, um, you know, mixed gemstones and a bit of um, crystal and sparkle added to them. Or they just they just look a bit kind of zhuzhed. Oh, they don't they just? Yeah. Um, and you've, these are brand new components. We've never seen these before. The earrings, by the way, for those of you that have been asking us for I don't know how long, and I I, I hear you, they're clip-on earrings. Yeah. So everybody can wear. Everyone those. can wear them. It they're doesn't brilliant. matter if you. I, I know a few friends who haven't got pierced ears. So yeah. 
Yeah, yeah so. well, absolutely. I mean, and even if you have got pierced ears, you can still, still wear them. You still wear them, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> um, so those, uh, the, the, the parts at the top are clip-ons. Also, those lovely tassels on that necklace. Yeah. Um, again, very Suru, but also a little bit of Swarovski vibe. That's it. The pink one. Yeah. Yes. But but, was, so I actually thought I was really torn between whether I make those into earrings as well. Oh, but I, I, I thought I was kind of feeling the whole lariat thing with it. But I, they'd absolutely be fabulous earrings. Oh, they're so cool, aren't they? They might end up as earrings in my in my box at home. <laughs> or Hannah, uh, you know, um, you could you because we know these kits are very affordable. You could possibly get two and go for the whole shebang. Yeah, mix and match. Whole absolutely. Shebang. Yeah. Um, now, I've been talking about this. You have got also the most amazing showcase of malachite coming up today in brand new shapes. Think Alhambra, think about four leaf clovers, think hearts. We've got, yeah, honestly, the, that showcase is probably one of the best that we've ever done. I'm really excited about that. Um, we've got, yeah, brand new shapes, brand new sizes. The quality is absolutely impeccable. Um, one of the best parcels of malachite we've ever purchased, I have to say, with a gemstone that's so in demand at the moment. And I'm not just talking about uh, uh, in jewellery. It's in demand, even in your interior design. So very excited about very that. Cool, yeah. um, we've also got beautiful black jadeite coming up this Ooh. hour. We've got the Kotan mutton fat coming up this hour. Um, We've got two brand new white nephrite strands to bring you. Um, they're actually locked and loaded already on the website because it is lounge hour. So if you go to all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, uh, we'll do that. Wah, 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 dot. There you go. Um, <laughs> all the W's at, at jewelrymaker.com. Click watch live and scroll down. Dee, 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 dee. Come on. There you go. There it is. There it is. Everything is already loaded on the website. Some of these will be going even lower. And I do mean lower. So shop ahead, guarantee your, your, uh, your places. We've got sellouts already. Um, yeah, true to Jewelry Maker Star, we're going to be bringing you some absolutely amazing deals. But starting the show as we always do, your wonderful creations, it's the Wall of Fame. <laughs> Starting us off this morning, number 33. Wow, Julia. Oh, Julie, I beg your pardon. Julie, these are absolutely, what a suite of jewellery. Uh, and Julie says, morning all. Here's my entry for this week's WAF. It's a knotted strand of natural nucleated pearls that I bought from you some time ago. The intention was to sell them, but I somehow think they're going to reside with me. Uh, thank you for continuing high quality pearls. Best wishes to all. And I hope you are able to keep warm in this very co uh, cold spell. Um, just perfect, Julie. They're absolutely beautiful. And I'm uh, having that same dilemma as well. I have, every, I have good intentions. I've just picked up a strand that Tom bought me. I forgot it yesterday. Um, of pearls. I've got every intention. They're not going to get sold. They're not going to no, get sold. Right. No, no, no. They'll stay no, with no. Uh, They're beautiful, Julie. Good luck, darling. Number 34 is from Deborah. Hello to you, Deborah. Oh, wow, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? How lovely and festive. Um, hi, all at Jewelry Maker. Uh, meant to send this in around Christmas. Um, I used kits and glass bicones and shell pills to make stars, but also added various different hematite beads. Two were for me and the other went to friends and family. Absolutely beautiful. You know what? I think a star is appropriate all year round. Yeah, I mean, I, I think there's quite a, a move towards leaving lights up and yeah. leaving decorations up and things like that. So I think we need not? it in, July, in January, don't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. In January, we <laughs> yeah. definitely need it. Uh, number 35 is from Susan. Good morning to you, Susan. Oh, that's beautiful as well. Uh, good morning, everybody. This week, my entry to the Wall of Fame. Different colours on a, of a beryl on a long line necklace um, and a matching bracelet. Good luck to everybody in the draw. Well, that's absolutely beautiful, Susan. I, oh, yes, you can see. Initially, I thought that was jadeite, but now I can actually see the difference see the in the colours. colours. Yeah. Amazing. I love those little Mobius rings in between as well. Number 36 is from Jackie. Good morning, Jackie. Oh, look at that. 
So classy. Um, here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. A wire-wrapped pendant made from an amethyst cabochon bought from Jewelry Maker before Christmas. Wrapped with silver-coloured plated wire. Thank you, guest designers, for all the inspiration and good luck to all. How lovely. Well, look how talented you all are, and I'll keep everything crossed for you in the drawer on Wednesday. There is still time for you to send your photographs and your messages in. You never know. We might be saying that you're £100 or even £50 better off being credited to your Jewelry Maker account. The only stipulation of course is that they are jewelry maker products that's it um, right should we get cracking remember you are on a curfew with this hour you have until nine o'clock to make your confirmations um, if there's anything on the website in particular that you're fancying and you want me to bring that to air just drop us a message you can do it on the website or the app um, and there's loads of goodies today right then let's do it time to roll up the sleeves and get cracking bring you all <laughs> of the inspiration all of the amazing deals um, Shall we start with a Guatemalan jadeite bead selection? And there is a lot. There is a lot. You're not just getting... You've got to think about it. You know, if you want to create a graduation necklace um, <clears throat> without being lucky enough to get a, a full graduated strand, you're going to have to buy a lot, aren't you, of different, different sizes. Yeah, yeah. Um, which, let's be honest, in jadeite is going to be quite costly. Well, uh, <clears throat> we've covered that for you because, look, you've got all those graduations there. Um, here they all are, totally natural, beautiful colour, um, that wonderful, very distinctive old neck, almost like a grand digerite like blue. Sorry, stay on the recording for one second, for one second. I've just got to turn Ross up because I turned him down earlier on and now I can't hear him. Um, anyway, so there's, what was that? There's one in what? There's one at item seven and there's one at item eight on the website already. We actually played these on Saturday and Ross made a mistake price-wise. Did you? Ross, you don't make mistakes. No. You said, honestly, it was a major mistake. Uh -oh. Wait until you see. Because I wasn't here on Saturday. The parcel is worth in excess of over £300. Yeah, yeah I'm not surprised by that because you have got one, two, three, four, five different sizes here. Five different sizes. <laughs> Ross, says, <laughs> Ross says he didn't tell anybody about the mistake. Nobody's going to be, uh, be here yet, so he wants to remove all the evidence. Okay, fair enough. Wait till you see what I did, he said. Look at that beautiful, beautiful natural colour. Okay, yeah, I mean, £300 when you're sourcing... Guatemalan jadeite, you know, this lost treasure that has literally been, uh, been, been, well, only just been refound after 450 years. Look at the quality that you are getting here. I don't think that's unrealistic at £499. Susie bought this bundle and she literally made a strand with it. Okay, so this is essentially just a loose graduated strand. Oh, she was wearing it as well. Amazing. So, yeah, it's quite, it's quite um, difficult to sort of grasp just how much of a carrot weight you're actually getting there. It is significant. Um, so more than enough to make some fine jewellery, especially, especially if you start adding it to maybe some lovely sterling silver components or alternative gemstones. But Ross made a boo-boo. He says, I'm going to repeat that boo-boo. He says, honestly, it's really bad. Oh, okay, I wasn't here on Saturday, so I don't know. I don't know how bad this is. There's ten left. Ten, only ten. Okay, already selling. Well done, Swansea. Perhaps you saw the mistake and you realised just how bad it was, and maybe you got on Saturday and then you got involved in what said I might as well get more. Um, are you working out how much you lost? But the thing is, this is how it works here at Jewelry Maker. Um, if, 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 um, if, if they all sell out, uh, the powers that be literally go th have to have to search for a product in our computer system. That's how it works, yeah. isn't it, Hannah? So currently, there's a little quantity there, so they'll see it. <laughs> they'll see the auction history. <laughs> so if Ross has made a mistake, he needs to sell it out, so that chances are they're not going to look for it, are they? Well, no, no. They don't go it, through every if it's a zero, it doesn't come up on, on the report. No, it's exactly. Just, it's just, that come, like, you know, if anything, it's, it's a sold item rather than it's still there. It just says sold out. The and they go, oh, happy days, yeah. that sold out on Saturday. They might not micromanage our Roscoe. Um, whilst there's <laughs> 10 in stock, they will do. Um, OK, we're going to show you how much it was. What, on Saturday or previously? 
If you bought it all separately, right, fair enough. So you've bundled all these then, have you? And then you made a mistake. And cut the price. <laughs> okay. It's about this, he said. If you were to buy them all individually, but collectively, if you see what I mean, um, it would total this. And this is a great price, whatever it might be. I, I can say that for certain because it's jewellery maker, you always get the most amazing deal. Okay, just under three. Okay, three, four, five. So the whole parcel should jewellery maker prices be three, uh, 245 pounds and 76 pence. Okay. This is approximately, because it is a bundle, of course, 45 carats of the most beautiful colour, the most beautiful colour, all certified completely and utterly natural, type A grade. I don't know, he's, Ross, I don't know what you've done with this. I am ready. I'm, I'm curious. Quite, quite curious, yeah. So he says, if I took 50 quid off and took it to 199, that would be good. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, yeah. 149 would be absolutely amazing. I'm curious as well because I, I wasn't here on Saturday. Yeah. What did he do, Han? <laughs> I can see why he's worried. <laughs> you need to sell those out, Ross. Yeah. <laughs> You do need to sell them out. Oh, my goodness. Did you miss a digit or something? Is that what it was? He says, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I, he, goes, he said, I don't, I don't think I realised what I was playing or maybe he calculated the margin incorrectly or something like that. I don't know, Ross, but that is too low. Far, far, far too low. You don't get Guatemalan jadeite for double figures. I mean, you don't. Especially that carrot weight. And, and, and it's, like, it's fabulous colour as well, fabulous saturation. It, it graduated. It speaks then... volumes that Susie bought it as uh, well, doesn't well, it? Absolutely. I mean, um, if anyone knows her, her stuff, it's, it's Susie. Oh, my goodness Definitely. me. Okay. It is literally a strand. You've got four, five, six and eight there so you can create that beautiful graduation oh and seven and seven <laughs> oh my goodness it is getting worse ross so you've taken 145 pounds off that price tag of uh, not, you know not just of a, a replaceable gem you've taken it off the lost treasure of guatemala you know not to make you feel bad here <laughs> ross but you know y y yeah I, I know i know what has he done adam I know, I know. He said, take advantage, although by, by selling this out, we are, we are helping Ross, basically. So use this time wisely. Remember, they're only available until the top of the hour or in more realistic um, uh, angle would be until stocks last. Well done, Elaine. Well done to you, Swansea. Hello, Stella. Hello to you, Sharon. Hello to you, new customer, new customer. London, you're there as well. I only had 10 opportunities. And if you want to multi-buy, I would... Yeah, I encourage you to do that because you're not going to get a better deal than that on Guatemalan jade. Right. I look amazing. The first deal of the day, just to get rid of it so that nobody knows about it. Sweep it's it under quick. that carpet. <laughs> quick, lift the carpet, Hannah. Sweep it under there quickly. You didn't see um, it. Okay. <laughs> Are you, were you all right on Saturday? Were you missing me, Ross? Is that what it was? All out of sorts, he says. That's you it. weren't, Adam. You didn't care. You didn't care. No. You've got, you kind of got to say that now. You didn't look after Ross on Saturday. Oh. Yeah. You put your arm around him. That's all right then. I missed you all too. Um, the next one's really bad, apparently. So much so what? You took the graphics out and pretended it didn't happen. <laughs> Just sweeping that under the carpet once again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about there, Ross? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I love these. These are brand new. <laughs> On the sheet, oh. looked at the wrong product and brought the price in. Okay. You were, really were out I, of sorts I mean, on I do, Saturday. I do like the housekeeping and like event that we're doing. You yeah. know, it's like quick tidy up all the loose ends quick, before, before we get every, trouble. Yeah, before any of the management team actually make quick. it into the building. Oh, is he, oh, is no. he here, is he? Oh, he's not. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> they are brand new. We're going to do it in one price <laughs> crash. Oh, these are lovely. What should have they been? 149. Yeah, that seems amazing. They're big carrot weights individually. They're 10 millimetres, kind of like square barrels, yeah. 
Um, you've got the lovely chamfered edges there as well. Isn't that a good word, chamfered? Yes. Chamfered edge. Um, pack of six of these. I love the idea of these being your gurus. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Like the top of a tassel. Nice. In, in the middle of uh, like a macrame mm. bracelet if you want to go oh, yeah. kind of a bit more Just on a cord. earthy. Should we do it? Should we do it? We know the yeah. MD's in now. We've got eight left though. Swansea's got two. Well done. I love this shape. Oh. <laughs> There's oh, no God. volume on the TVs in the production office right now, are there? No volume on at the moment. No, okay. So make the most of that opportunity. This is literally last in stock. So they were launched on Saturday and they're going to sell out today. Um, yeah, that's significantly, significantly too low. They were brand new premiering on Saturday. Um, if they don't sell out this morning, I'm all over them. I think they would be so beautiful with something like your Kotan mutton fat or something like that. If you've just got the rounds, you've got the two parcels for what less than what you should be paying for the rounds on their own. So, yeah, essentially £100 yeah. less, basically. Um, well done, Tina. Hello to you, Alan. Hello to you, Elaine. Swansea's got two. Did you say I had eight? Okay, there's five currently, but there's, oh, no, there's not. There's four currently, um, <clears throat> and lots of you with it in your baskets. Um, you, don't let that put you off, though. It's got to be confirmed. You've got 40 minutes to take advantage of that opportunity. There's four of those as we speak, and there's three of the rounds as we speak. So make the most of those. Did you say £149 so you can get both of those opportunities? Yeah, £148.99. Wow. And the rounds were meant to be 245 <laughs> You know, you know, hence why lift that carpet. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's just do that. But, definitely, yeah, definitely. On this on this cup. Right then, okay, where to next? Uh I do have some lovely two millimetre Chryscolas. These would be amazing just to give you a heads up alongside your Malachite hour that's coming up at 11 today. Yeah, um, very excited about that hour. Truly some of the best cuts I think we've had and the best quality Malachite ever. Um, actually, they form alongside one another quite often because Chrysocola similarly is, uh, is copper bearing. It's a very shallow forming gemstone. You've, you actually have Chrys uh, Malachite in Chrysocola. So um, naturally, they, uh, you know, they're going to complement one another. Um, in your beautiful little two millimetre rounds, we don't often see this gemstone. I can say this for certain. We um, Chrysocola is not a gem we could do in a, in a showcase. We don't have a, ma a, a vast amount of it. It is lovely. Think about your azurite blues. Think about your beautiful, very luxurious, sumptuous greens of malachite and your turquoise flashes all in one amazing gemstone. What do you mean your price is coming in? It was 4 99 Ross. Four ninety nine for five carats, and these would be great for the kits. I, mean, I think. Yeah. So the earrings I made, I was thinking they'd look really sweet on, uh, like around the outside edge of the, of oh. the jade drops that are there. So. Oh, beautiful! Yeah, they're, they're working. Anna, you can't buy glass beads for three seventy nine. I know. I know. It's crazy. How isn't on it? earth are we <laughs> doing a Mother Nature produced gemstone, faceted as well, for three pounds and seventy nine pence? And I love it. I think that, I mean they've got all sort of like my favourite um, tones. Yeah, in there. it's so a very like, huge. Yeah, it's, it's like gemstone. And peacock colours, and you could team it with like um, peacock pearls or something. Oh, like lovely! That. I'm genuinely quite concerned about our Ross. I'm a bit worried he's about him. I think he's all right. I'm a bit worried about him. I won't. I, I, I'm not going to leave you again, Ross. <laughs> Clearly, you. See, I, don't, I don't know what's going on at the moment, but three pounds seventy-nine is way too low for Chrysocola. <laughs> Amazing. Well done. Well done. Well done. Um, I'm only joking. He copes just fine. <laughs> <laughs> of course yeah. he does. Um, lots of items, by the way. What was that? Lots of people shopping ahead on the Nephrite and the Kotan. Amazing, I would too. Uh, we've got a really beautiful carved butterfly in there as well, so I would jump all over that. You can just uh, look how pure and white that colour is. It's, it's, you almost it's, can't see yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> you almost can't see the beads. That's a, that's a real tick in actual fact. Um, you've started those off at 49.99, Ross. I don't know. Who are you? They're all going lower than 49.99. Should they? No. No, they shouldn't. There we go. So I would shop ahead on those ones. Amazing. Kotan mutton fat is one of the most expensive varieties of jade. And we're starting at 49.99. Amazing. 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 Um, if you do have a look at the website, look at how many sellouts already 
Um, there we go. Sold out, 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 sold out. Sold out. There's lots of them. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. Sold out. There's a lot of them. I think pretty much every row has got to sell out. Everyone's going like, yeah, it's Roscoe. He's, he's having a crazy moment. Quick, yes. buy everything. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. He's having one of those moments. Um, and apparently it's only going to get worse. Because I've got pink... Oh, I love these. These are the gourds. Just a word I've only oh. just recently learned about gourds. gourds. I didn't know what a gourd was. I didn't know it was like a squash. Like a squash, yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. They use them as instruments in, in some countries as well. Do they? Yeah, because if you can dry them out and then you and put the seeds back into the outer ah. shell, and then it's like a sort of a, a, a bit like a maraca. But it, how it cool! Yeah, I love this yeah. shape. That really beautiful. It's like an urn-like shape. Um, gourds. There we go. And this is the pink. Now, don't expect it to be a fuchsia pink. Um, when we're talking about jade, it's a whisper. It's a whisper. A suggestion. Um, of pink running through, totally and utterly natural. Really lucky these shapes. I've learned that from our Susie. They are very limited. I know. I remember us launching this strand, and everyone was going nuts for it. They look great on the bottom of tassels and they things do, like that. They do. Yeah, kind of that. I'm gonna say that because they've got that sort of like the weighted um, sort of shape, like the heaviness at the at the bottom edge there makes it perfect for tassels. Lovely. It it hang straight. Makes it Love perfect. that. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It brings a perfect weight and drop to it. At 199 pounds and 99 pence that's an amazing deal um you've got the water the water by the way is reference to its beautiful translucency so um uh, it, it looks it, it Hello, 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 hello. So we're just checking. So one of our, uh, our mics is having a funny five minutes. Um, anyway, the, the water is reference to its amazing translucency. Um, so yes, uh, if it looks physically wet again, you've got a really lovely fine crystal structure as well. So um, nice and tight and compact. And that's the quality that you aspire to. At £199.99, pence, that's an absolutely amazing deal. But we're not, go we're, we're not stopping there. We've got 12 remaining. Very, very lucky shape. <laughs> Sorry, my foot just fell off the table then. Uh, <laughs> fell off the table. But you know what I mean, when it slips from underneath you. 99 99 we've halved that price point and it is certified completely and utterly natural. Um, you've got a lot of these little gourds and originally when we launched them, they were sold in like parcels of six. They were, Parcels yeah. six. You've got a it's full a, strand. A Look at the length of the strand. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? 50 centimetres. So there's a lot of those little gourds. You can maybe just put one, I, su I suppose, um, in amongst your jewellery design. The best thing about halving that price is we're going to halve it again. Oh, can I buy these? I've picked up some of my nice jadeite today. Picked up some nice jadeite. So I think this would be quite lovely alongside nice. the little bicones that yeah. I picked up, the black you know bicones. Because you've got that sort of graduated sort of shape to them. I, I think you could you could put them sort of end on end with the, the wide bits in the middle and then have like a fabulous pearl or a jade oh, or, or a... It looks like a bow. Yeah, so it? it's kind of like, um, yeah, a bit like a bow or, or just sort of bringing attention to the centre bead. I don't think Adam's feeling my bow suggestion. No? No, oh. do you not see the bow? A bow. Bow. <laughs> bow, like a pretty bow. We're at forty nine ninety nine. You can get all that pink water jadeite, all the Guatemalan for less than two hundred pounds, which is still less than what you should have been paying for all those rounds on their own. Um, the early bird and all that. You are getting some of the best possible deals. Well done, Helen. Tina Swansea. Hello, Jeannie. Hello, Mary. Hello, new customer. New customer. Um, welcome to the wonderful world and the utter madness of jewellery maker. Um, exactly. Where you saw some of the best, rarest, the most beautiful gemstones at the most ridiculous prices. There's a clock ticking, Ross. What are you doing? I'm going again, he says. Oh, he was very authoritative then. Go on, Ross. There is only 12 of them, so we might as well, hadn't we? It's kind of like an untitled clearance show, this, so far. I have to say. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> oh, oh, exactly, on type not AJ. Not supposed to be. <laughs> no, not so much, not so much. Um, there are seven of these remaining, but yeah, I can see a lot of you have it in your baskets. Lancashire, hello to you. Gloucestershire there, Devon there. New customer, Helen, you've just got yours as well. Congratulations. If you don't, I'm all over these. 
Um, because I think they'd be really nice at the bottom of the tassels. Yeah, they really would. You imagine, you know, so we had the sort of like the, the chamfered edge barrels earlier. They were lovely the too. Bead, and then you could have these at the bottom of yeah. tassels and the, as your marker beads as well. All of this, and I know they're not in the most beautiful of pots right now, but we can see through that, can't we? All of this, that's the drums, that's that collection of rounds and the pink water jadeite you can get for less than £200. And we're about to give you change. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I'm basically laughs> I like that kind of change. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Catches, you've got exactly 30 minutes, but we are, in all honesty, Ross, they're going to sell out before that, aren't they? Yeah, because there's a lot of people there. Gabrielle, you've got yours. Janet, Gloria, Helen and Glasgow, Maker, Lancashire, Jeannie, Mary and Devon, another Maker. I only had 12. I only had 12. I've got one, two, three, four. I've got seven left. Over allocated on the web. Uh, Daniel, I can see you in, in Leicestershire as well. 20 of you actually have it in your basket. But don't let that put you off adding it to yours or checking out your or giving us a call if you like. It will be allocated on a first come, first serve basis. We can't say any fairer than that you've just got a major deal there um hello to you Saima. well done you've got yours neil and linda you've got yours congratulations these are going to sell out imminently that's one of the best deals i have to say i've seen on jadeite pink jadeite is incredibly expensive um plus you've got that it's master carving isn't it you can't it is, you can't it deny is. it that is master carving um there's three left three of them left in the vault You've just looked up at the graphics and the recording, he says, and, I, and they don't match, so I'm going to take them off. It's making him uncomfortable, says our Ross. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. But even though also that round selection is making him... He has to, it has to be the perfect crime. <laughs> we have to sell it out, otherwise... It's, it's even worse if there's just one or two, Ross. It's even worse. <laughs> why didn't that one sell out? Let me have a little look. Ross, why have you taken it to £99? You've got, it should have been, uh, if you were to buy them separately, you know, and then we were to total up your basket, it would have been just shy of £250 for this amazing parcel of natural Guatemalan lost treasure jadeite. I think I'm emphasising the point here. I mean, if we bundle it, we can always give you a, a better deal. And it would have probably been, I don't know, £199, maybe £50 back into your pocket. I reckon, Ross, you had um, a moment I have lots of moments. It comes with age, I think. Um, and you missed a digit off that price, didn't you? I mean, it does look like it, doesn't it? it the one fell off the front. <laughs> Whoops. Basically. Oops. Check out your basket. It's available for 28 minutes now. Oh, look, um, it's Christmas. There's Mrs. Christmas, yes. Um, it's it's £3.70 per bead. Can oh you believe that? Me. It's ridiculous. Yeah, absolutely ridiculous. Uh, there are three remaining opportunities. Do make the most of it. We are over allocated. Um, again, if you've just tuned in, you're thinking, oh, no, I'm not going to be successful. Give it a try, honestly, because it will be allocated on a first come, first serve basis. There has never been a better deal on Guatemalan Jade than that right there. Um, there are two left on, um, on the what? The barrels, really, I'm surprised by that. So we'll just bring the graphics in for those. We are massively over allocated. Two of them left. Um, again, if you don't, I'm all over those. I think I think those on the slider, absolutely, or maybe yeah. like a wish style bracelet would be quite cool or a bit of cord. If I put one of those on a bit of leather cord and did like a, um, a macrame Solomon spa. Yeah, yeah. Tom would wear that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'd, well, I would I wear that. It, I think it's um, it's quite a neutral kind of colour, really. It's like unisex kind of colour. Yeah. So yeah, because any, anyone too, can wear it. It's not too masculine. It's not too feminine yeah. either. So it is that perfect in between. Um, absolutely, make the most of those though. Make the most of those opportunities. 50 carats of type A, lost treasure of Guatemala. Loving that cut. We are over allocated. Maker, I can see you on the phone lines. You've got 26 minutes to make those confirmations on not just this item, every item that we bring you in the eight o'clock hour as well. By the way, at nine o'clock, just before we bring the kits, we have the last remaining quantity of your beautiful beaded hearts that we launched not that long ago. I don't know if we've still got the jewellery of this, have we? 
Um, <clears throat> Alan Sue made some lovely jewellery with these. Um, very Van Cleef and Arpels inspired with that lovely beaded bezel. The three different colours, they are limited though because they absolutely flew on their original launch. Um, we've got them in the rose, the yellow and also in the silver. I think the silver is the one which has the most quantity. So that's coming up just literally the other side of the break. In the meantime though, um, I've got more amazing early bird deals. Shall we do, uh, do you know what? This, on our turquoise PowerPoint, Ross, that we were showing yesterday, we were great minds thinking alike then. Um, on, our per, uh, on our turquoise PowerPoint yesterday, I show that one um, Monica Veneda ring that actually isn't turquoise, by the way. It's actually um, Amazonite, that ring. And it's about £100. But the reason why I want to show you this is because, yeah, that's it. So the Nura Mini Nugget Stacking Ring, limited edition, it's actually Amazonite rather than turquoise. Look at the price point. Um, the reason why I'm showing you this, super simple. I think many of our jewellery makers could create that. Yeah. But if you look at, what's, uh, at what I actually have before me, it's perfect if you want to recreate it. Um, but this is turquoise. That's the difference. Fabulous. Genuine turquoise. So instead of paying £100 for the newer ring, which, by the way, I've got that ring. I love it. I absolutely love it. That's why I'm, I, I know for certain it's not turquoise. It's a, it is yeah. Amazonite. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, this is a way of actually achieving that look at a fraction of the cost. And it's tiny. You don't really see it on that photo. It is tiny tiny now you're looking at usa turquoise it's a six millimeter what we call rose cut i've got 20 available opportunities and we're at 14.99 you know yesterday we had a show with claire didn't we where she was getting all excited all hot under the collar wasn't she about her rose cuts with, with her, her with her, with her, her birthday strip. show with yeah. her birthday show who wants this under 10 pounds today me. if yeah, me. me if you got involved yesterday on the show with claire um then this would be absolutely perfect as well it's a genuine USA turquoise I can see Rachel you want six of these I've only got did you say ten yeah so you do need to check that quantity out if you want it lovely Gabrielle's there Rachel's there Claire's there in Warwickshire yeah you've got 20 yeah that's what I'm, yeah oh 20 in stock that's what I mean sorry yes 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 um so 20 in stock we've you haven't just gone under 10 though <laughs> I was gonna say when are you gonna notice that it's like <laughs> you've got you've got under, you've got under five pounds for turquoise amazing absolutely amazing Gabrielle snapped up three well done my darling Claire in Warwickshire hello to you all oh, both local to us we've got Candy there Jane there Heather there Kaz there Rachel there um another Warwickshire there a new customer make sure you check out hello Jane you've got yours um, there was 20 available that's an absolute giveaway deal even if you just took a flat head pin glued it to the top left it overnight cut it down butterfly bat you've just made turquoise stud earrings yeah it's that simple yeah absolutely. that simple it is going to sell out well done um, amazing 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 it looked lovely with the Christ cola that we had earlier as well oh it would yeah bolton in class yes there's not many of these essentials an absolute essential. You need your bolt rings. You've got 23 minutes at this unbelievable price tag, says Ross. Unbelievable, he says. Absolutely unbelievable. Okay. This is possibly the silver. number one thing that I'm always running out of. Bolt ring clasps, yeah. Is, is silver clasps, yeah. Me too. Um, and head pins. I always run out of head pins yeah. as well. <laughs> Sorry. Let me bring that. 2 99 Yeah, you always need your clasps, don't you? Yeah. And a bolt ring is one of those... Well, it, 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 it's that it's that constant, isn't it? It's the constant yeah. class that's there um, in, in your jewellery design. You get 10 of them and you have literally 22 minutes to make those confirmations. They are 925 sterling silver. Amazing. There was only 25 chances. Normally when we bring you bolt rings um, to, uh, to our screens, we'll have, I don't know, 400, 500 in quantity and they'll still sell out. So 25 will be gone in a nanosecond. Um, okay. Let's now do... The Buddha heads, these are beautiful. They go lovely with your jadeite that you've just had. They'd also go amazing with Hannah's kits. Um, both oh, in, yeah. I love these. But these Buddhas it's are got... actually parve. So you have the parve setting of your um, black cubic zirconia. That's front and reverse. So you haven't got sort of what, you know, sometimes you look at beads and they're, they're lovely on the front. And then, but if they flip over, they're a bit of an eyesore. Yeah, yeah. Not the case. Look, because look. 
their front and reverse. So double-sided Buddhas. Um, <clears throat> always very, very popular, of course. Gold-plated 925 sterling silver. Do you remember the launch of the first Buddha here at Jewelry Maker? They just went absolutely crazy. Well, it was quite a, quite a different sort of thing for us to do, wasn't yeah. it? Well, yeah, we'd never really entered We'd into really that kind of... We'd never really that sort of way before. But it's, you know, whether it's... The Buddha, I just think is that it is just a really lovely, comforting sim symbol. What you don't have to be Buddhist, I don't think, to actually no, appreciate its, its meaning. Yeah, it's just like a, a fashion thing as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Twenty four ninety nine is a big amount of sterling silver. That's not just one. You do get all three of these. Um, they're through drill, just so you know. So they actually go through the top here, right to the bottom. So all you need to do is a, I don't know, maybe a head pin, head pin, or just thread it onto thread it on, thread it on. Thread. That's working out. At, I can't do that maths. What's so it? Eight pound each. Um, amazing. Um, shall we do the last remaining quantity? This is the bangle I own. I can't believe this is still in stock. I literally cannot believe it. Myself and and um, Vix own this. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. The quality. Um, spinach green is imperial green to Nef. Uh, Spinach green to nephrite is imperial green to jadeite. Yes. It's the yes. best quality of colour. I can't say any more than that, really. If you, are, if you are a lover of nephrite, and in particular your green nephrite, it doesn't get any better than this. It's, it's pretty amazing. It really I is. Mean, the fact that you've, you've got that is just incredible. I haven't as of yet got round to having mine valued, but I will. Yes. I will get it valued. Um, and I, uh, for, for the purpose, you know, not just for my ego, but also for insurance. Yeah. For insurance, because I know I can't replace it, even at what's on your screen right now um, it's all certified completely natural how many do we have three remaining within the vault oh, again I'm tempted to get another one then because they make the most amazing sound they talk it's about a, the they're, music they're very durable aren't they yeah oh yeah I put mine on whenever I'm not in work I'm always wearing my my nephrite bangle I, always I when I first saw them I was thinking oh gosh what if you bash it on something but actually they're they're, they're pretty durable yeah. aren't they <laughs> yeah and I'm yeah. not I'm not I'm not I'm not I do, I, I'm not conscious, if you like. I do just wear it when I'm doing yeah. things like the housework and stuff like that. Let's go straight down to it. Available literally for 19 minutes. Yeah, it's a fascinating, durable gemstone. Very comfortable to wear. £299. I don't know if you're noticing, because it is actually circular. It's much easier to put on than certain bangles yeah. as well, because it literally glides over the top of your Rolls hand. Yeah. Um, 60 millimetres in its uh, internal diameter just there. So, yeah, I can wear it. You know, I'd say I'm fairly average build um 299 that's amazing for literally spinach green like i said it's the it's the pinnacle of quality of green color there are only three available do get it home have a little look at it it glows in natural light and i always get comments when i'm actually wearing mine as well we should not be able to get hold of any variety of jade be that cotan be that spinach green be that imperial be that pink be that lavender or black we shouldn't be able to get it with something that you can get out of a cash point you know that's the reality this is the kind of gemstone that you do see in Sotheby's um, yeah with the white gloves etc um, you know I found some out because we're actually sorting mum's house out at the moment because uh, my mum's going into um, into care um, so and, and, and we, my brother and I are looking for a few things and they were saying about my brother's like oh you know mum dad sold certain things at Sotheby's I didn't realize that how easy it was actually to sell things at Sotheby's I, I, I didn't actually yeah, it, yeah it, essentially like that's what we could be doing. Sorry, I was like, really? Um, they sold like barometers and things like that that, 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 that were in their house. But yeah, apparently very easy to sell. Not that you'd want to, of course, because that's an heirloom. Um, okay, let's do what, sorry? Oh, the reel of curb chain. So again, if you solder, fabulous, because you can um, attach those bolt rings maybe. If you don't, don't worry. This is a lovely fine curb chain. Look at that luster, it's like silk. If even things like your 0.4 wire or your featherweight head pins will go through this, won't they? Yeah, yeah. I mean, so you just make yourself like a little um, figure of eight connector if you yep. have to, and then you can put your jumping through that. Sorted. Sorted. You can customize it. Yeah. Now, normally, for five meters of sterling silver on this spool, we are talking about 49.99 10 pound a meter that's a great price point it's good you have yeah. just over 15 minutes to make the most of this opportunity today we're going to give you an extra saving just because yeah i think it's uh something in the water today 
just <laughs> we just oh my goodness me that is very low when you consider five meters will make you how many how many was well, two necklaces um and a bracelet out of one meter uh, approximately it yeah. does depend on yeah. the lengths that you choose obviously you only have 15 minutes to make the most of this amazing price point it is diamond cut beautifully lustrous 925 sterling silver and you don't you don't have to be a silversmith to work with 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 uh, chain on a spool um you know literally as hannah just said you do a figure of eight with your uh, with your featherweight head pins and attach a clasp like yeah. so yeah. That, it's that simple um and you are guaranteed to well, you can customise it to fit, can't you? Almost make it to order. Um, amazing. Just last little recap on your Guatemalan round bundle. There is one left, one remaining opportunity. It should have been a cumulative. If you were to buy each of these little bead parcels, um, each size parcel, if you like, separately, and then add it into your basket and top them all up together, it would have been just, a, a, just under £250. Ross has bundled all the sizes together, thinking that would make the most beautiful graduated necklace. Amazing, which it not would. Not wrong, yeah. He's not wrong. Yeah. But, yeah, it should have been maybe £50 off. He's given you £150 off. Uh, Ross is begging and pleading right now. He's like, don't leave me with one. If you leave me with one, it's going to get flagged. <laughs> he says 10 people on the web are teasing him right now. <laughs> Ross is, I'll, I'll, end, I'll end up buying it but yeah well Ross yeah, it's, not, it's not a bad show you might as well it's not a bad show at least then like perfect the crime report Shh. quick <laughs> and you own the lost treasure of Guatemala yeah. it's yeah. a win-win scenario really Ross so uh, if there is any left definitely you should snap that up um, amazing, amazing. Um, well done, everybody. Congratulations. And remember, at nine o'clock, this deal will disappear. It's not going to be in your baskets. So, um, Elaine, I can see you. You've, uh, you've joined us again. Margaret, you've got yours. Victoria's there. Alison's there. Tina's there. Stella's there. Sharon's there. Oh, you might be in luck. Ross, I think Elaine has helped you out here. Maybe. I can't quite tell. Okay, amazing. Right, the barrel beads, there's two. I'll have one of those. Ross, I'll have one of them. Here we go. You've got till nine o'clock. If they don't sell, KWM254. That's a long code, isn't it? Um, it oh, it's, yeah, it does, doesn't it? It looks like a really long code. Um, if they don't sell out, I'll get one of those, for sure, for sure. Um, 49.99, some crazy, crazy low deals. Don't forget also your lovely little beaded heart sterling silver components coming up just the other side of the hour. Um, and remember, we have got Kotan coming up early bird it's already at 49.99 which is just unbelievable you've got a master carved beautiful papillon 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 little butterfly coming up and also some pure white spherical rounds don't go anywhere lovely jewelry makers it's coming up next said can I have a blackboard and I was like don't worry I'll use this one Adam comes in literally like a frisbee Bling. well please don't frisbee the board at me can you imagine oh. catch <laughs> like a dog um, <laughs> I'm, I'm obsessed with this it's absolutely stunning it's double carved so Consider the difficulty of actually carving a gemstone, which is physically as hard as steel, in an abrasive manner to get this level of detail and then to do it on the other side. You know, and it's not, you know, we're not talking about a huge piece here. We're talking about, re you're not going to stand up, are you? Hang on. We're talking about really fine intricacy. Um, you've got even the detailing, if you like, of the, um, uh, of the flowers. Just beautiful absolutely beautiful and i think i'm not going to say all because i know it's not all but most people will fade about favor butterflies yeah you know they're very they're, they're a symbol of positivity they're a symbol of journeys yeah, aren't they like, transition yeah new new life new beginnings 
like rebirth, things like that. Yeah. Beautiful. And I just, you know, whenever you see a butterfly, or oh, certainly in our household anyway, it's always like, oh, look at this. Because yeah. they're so delicate and pretty and beautiful, aren't they? Um, now, to take, take that wonderful creature, to carve it in, firstly, jade. I mean, that, that, that's exciting. But more specifically, cotan mutton fat. I know it is the worst um, uh, terminology. Descriptive, Description, yeah. yes. Mutton but that is literally yeah. historically the term yes. that they use in China. Um, and they are referencing there that, that pure white body colour that occurs, firstly, extremely rarely. Remember what Richard Wise says, and I know I repeat this, but, you know, if I'm going to quote anyone, then it needs to be Richard Wise, um, that uh, um, a jade of pure white colour with a moderate uh, moderate texture and fine translucency or something like that along those lines. Um, it should be considered the finest of its type. Here it is. In modern connoisseurship, a jadeite jade cabochon of pure white hue with a fine texture and a moderate translucency would be the finest of its type. And that's precisely what I am looking at now on our screens. Um, and if you, you don't have to take my word for it. I tell you what, have a little look at auction houses that have sold cotan, mutton fat, um, in the past. They've sold them in maybe carvings of bowls. I think there's, um, on the same slide, Ross, um, on the same part, yeah. Um, think, here you are. Here. There you go. Take a look at that. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. The price point will be astronomical for that. Again, that literally looks like liquid water, doesn't it? It does, yeah. We're at 49.99, and we are going to do, frankly, hello, Susie, my lovely. I can see you there. Guest uh -huh. designer Susie. We are going to give you one of the best possible prices. It is, if I tilt it towards you, through drilled. You've got quite a generous drill hole there, so even some of your, um, um, your, your thicker cords will go through. You're going to have this for 10 minutes, the opportunity for 10 minutes, or, again, more realistically, until stocks last. There are 90 available in the world, all individually hand-carved. Beautiful, beautiful butterflies. And it's no way near. It's no way near your price point today. I want to see you there on the phone lines, though, Ross. If you're going to take it to where, you're, where I think you're taking it to, we need to see more people on the phone lines, right? Do you agree? 90 were available. 49.99 is great, isn't it? It's phenomenal. We are not closing there. Guest designer Susie's got four, Swansea's got two, Denise has got two. We've got London there, multi buying. We've got new customers getting involved as well. Make sure you do check out. That's mad. <gasps> Absolutely oh. mad, isn't it? Under £30 for Cotan. Um, for Cotan Mutton Fat. That's absolutely beautiful. And again, literally glows. We cannot take a single penny off that price tag. That is already rock, yeah. rock bottom. It is take it or leave it, as Ross said. Um, you know, you are sourcing some of the best quality jade in the world right now um you know I, I, and i don't think you need me to explain that you know i think you can see that with your own eyes how many times have we actually shown you carvings on the same powerpoint ross we've got um white carvings haven't we um is it there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, look at these here. Superb carving from an important European collection. It doesn't say how old that carving actually is. Look at the price point, you know, and that's back in 2011. You can look at pieces like this. Again, beautiful jade. Look at the wonderful, fast, amazing artistry, of course. But look how pure and white that wonderful color actually is. And now when you compare it to, I'm not saying, you know, well, well no, let's do that. Look at the color, absorb that color, and now compare it to the butterfly that you have um, before you right now and it's all certified totally and utterly natural the only difference is they'll have one maybe um, and yeah there'll be some history you can see that 18th to 19th century pieces um, these are obviously more modern carvings so these are going to be those of the future aren't they yeah. that's the thing this is that we are we're, it's like we're buying that that, that phoenix carving when it was first done loads of you are getting involved on that opportunity and all around the world as well it shouldn't be under 30 pounds not for a hand carved coat and mutton fat natural jade 30 pounds is amazing now we've got what two selections of your uh, of your um, mutton fat i've got eight millimeters 
and I've also got the six mils. I don't know about you, but I'm thinking about... Yeah, if you've got two of the butterflies, you've got perfect oh. little earrings with the little, the little rounds at the top. And if the other ones are smaller still, you could, you could have them all, like, kind of graduated, couldn't you? There you go, I'll the put the two one, together. Then the big one, then the butterfly is the drop. They, they look beautiful. If I put them all together, you can... Yeah. So Come on, cute. little butterfly, stand up, right? He's not going to wear you. Oh, there you go. Oh, really nice. Imagine those. Actually, if you've got those, you know, the push through um, chain finds oh, we beautiful. had as well. So I had that as the drop at the front and then the chain through the, from the back. <coughs> Chloe Jones was wearing those on Friday night. She, oh, was, she was wearing the through, through ones. Yeah, they're very elegant, aren't they? Look at how these literally glow. Could it be any purer in its colour? No, I mean, it's There's no it's secondary glowing. hue. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? Now, these are brand new. They have never been on your screens before. Certified type A, white, nephrite, jade, pure. I, that's the word I keep wanting to repeat. Normally, when it comes to white jade, you will have some kind of secondary colour, be a green, be a red, be, lavender, I don't know, yeah, yeah a, a lavender maybe. Remember, Richard Wise said, pure white colour. Yeah. This is exactly that. Pure, the most expensive piece of jade ever sold at auction was not imperial green, was not black, it wasn't lavender, it wasn't, it wasn't uh, um, red or yellow, it was white. And even that piece, again, steeped in history, amazing artistry, of course, even that piece has got a secondary colour. Yeah. It's an off-white, really. I, this is so pure. I can't get my, my white washing that pure. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? White washing never stays white for never long. Never stays <laughs> white for long. But look at that. And that's a gemstone that's formed over millions upon millions of years. To be starting at 49 99 for eight carats. They're brand new. They've never been on your screens before. If you've always longed and looked at these wonderful jade auction opportunities and maybe thought, do you know what? They're just a little bit out of my budget. Uh, and I get that. Listen, it is a considered gemstone. I totally, totally understand that. Um, I think today we're going to change that. We are going to change it because um, to my recollection, to my knowledge, we've never done pure white nephrite jade at the price that you're going to do today, Ross. Would you agree? Never. Here it is. The most expensive piece of jade sold at auction was white jade. They call that white. But it's got a white, it's got a secondary colour, hasn't it? It's definitely got this sort of brownish or it's even... Sepia. Yes, sepia. They actually describe it as imperial white. What, a large white imperial nephrite. Well, if that's imperial, I, goodness knows what yours is, because the colour is absolutely immense. The next price point, but be warned, I've got less than 100 of these available. It's a brand new premiere opportunity. Um... Through drilled, yes, sorry, they are through drilled so, uh, so that you can literally just pop them directly onto a head pin if you wanted to or maybe incorporate them into your, um, into your knotting. Under £20? Not done, not stopping there. As I said earlier on, if you've maybe looked uh, from the outside, thought I'd love to get hold of jade. I love in particular the white colors um, because yeah, it's maybe like myself, it, it's got this purity, this lovely innocence and internal glow um, that surpasses any other white gemstone in my eyes. Um, then, but thought, yeah, no, it's expensive. It is a considered gemstone. Um, outside of our jewelry maker bubble, as we're showing you, it can fetch astronomical prices. Hundreds of thousands of pounds in many cases. We're at 20 quid and we're going even lower. I don't think you realise just how low. I mean, literally just put one of those on a head pin. Beautiful, beautiful sterling silver components. You've just made yourself some luxury earrings. If, if you choose. You might just put them as little accents in maybe one of your pearl strands. I don't know. You're, you're, the, you're the talented jewellery makers. I'm here to talk about the quality of the stones, and my goodness me, it doesn't get much better than that. In nine seconds, though, we are not stopping there. Well done to those of you that have um, already confirmed. Today, for natural, pure, white, nephrite jade. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness me. My willow goes, does acrobatics. I paid more than that for a little plastic medal last night. I did? Yeah, I can believe it. Mm. And a certificate. Yeah, and of course, the, the joy on her face. Yeah, of course, of course. You know, that's priceless. Yeah. That's priceless, absolutely. But 12 99 I can get nephrite jade, one of the most expensive gemstones in the world. And it's beautiful it's quality. Absolutely stunning. Unbelievable quality. Um, this, can you imagine this alongside your malachite showcase that's coming up a little bit later oh on? Oh my gosh, it's going to be fabulous, isn't it? And, and I know we always say it, how few gemstones actually occur in this purity of colour. You know, there's very, very, very few. You, I don't think you can describe pearls in the same way because they have a, um, a different appearance, don't yeah. they, I guess. Um, Bronca onyx, maybe, maybe. Um, but it's not as valuable as what nephrite jade. It's not as historic as nephrite jade actually is. And it shouldn't be 12 99 um, Again, I think we'd be foolish not to get involved on this opportunity, <laughs> especially given the current status of all the, uh, the mining operations. Get it whilst you can. If you've always loved it and maybe it's not been within your budget, then I, I, again, I, I think this is the best opportunity we can possibly offer you. Um, worthwhile maybe getting your certificate of authenticity as well um, remember when we close the next auction absolutely everything will disappear from the website so if you've got anything not just your nephrite anything in your basket then do make sure you check out I have got some lovely black jade as well coming up throughout the course of the show that would look lovely if you want to go for that monochrome like vibe um, we've got all those lovely sterling silver hearts coming the other side of this break as well so again we'll go beautifully alongside this um, uh, and you know if, if you do uh, if you do get your gemstones uh, your pieces of jewelry whatever it might be valued and I do know it's expensive. I do know it costs a lot of money because, listen, I used to work in a jewellers that did valuations and it always used to make me think, oh, my goodness, mate, it shouldn't be that expensive. Yeah. But it is worthwhile. And I think, well, I, I know, um, it's, this is one of those opportunities that you should, should consider. There is still time for you to get involved in this opportunity. It's never been on our screen to brand new premiere. Kim, Sharon, Gloria, hello to you, Leicestershire, Pauline, Em, uh, Patricia, Nora, Jennifer, Yorkshire, Gabrielle, Teresa, Stella, uh, Kent, hello to you, Sharon. Gloucestershire, Betty, hello, uh, West Midlands, Teresa, I can't keep up with you, yeah, well done. I'm going to bring you next, bring you next the six millimetre size, so if you wanted to create that lovely little, you know, that graduation, we're going to do it in one price crash, we, oh my goodness me, this is crazy, um, then, yeah, start dialing through, what about that? Very cute. You can get the idea, can't you? Yep. What about that as a pair of earrings? How pretty is that? Let's bring you the six mil. I don't think you believe, in fact, you might do. Have you got, are you gonna make a guess of where this is going to, Han? No, I don't, I mean, I, so far, I've been absolutely blown away with the price point, so it's crazy. Two six millimeters, brand new today. Pure, look how pure these are. Literally pure in their color. Brand new today, I think we're going to shock you all. Uh, we're going to give you one of those, might as well, opportunities. Oh my gosh. Yeah, one of those. Oh, you know, I've just, oh, I might as well just drop some pure white natural type A nephrite jade into my basket. I might as well. You know, which most people would have to consider about. Yeah. And probably bid for, Brilliant. in all honesty. Remember, one post and packaging all day, totally natural. Brand new premiere opportunity. I'm trying to give you as many hints without letting the cat out the bag, if you like, <laughs> um, of how good this deal is going to be. I have got available, uh, how many? 80 available. Once they're gone, they're gone. It's so low. It's tense. It shouldn't oh do a single figure price goodness tag. Goodness me. It shouldn't be a single figure price tag for that purity but it doesn't get any better than that that's the it thing doesn't. you know if i was to you know be that 
I, I, I don't know. If I was going to try and be a negative ninny, if you like. Oh. Um, I'm not going to be. But if I was, yeah. and I was going to try and find a flaw, try and find a fault in this opportunity, I might say, that can't be natural. Um, but it is. I might say, oh, there's a, there's a strong secondary colour, but there isn't. Um, oh, it's not a pure white colour. It most definitely is. It maybe is quite opaque. No, it's not. It, there's literally nothing, literally nothing that I can find yeah. negative about this opportunity. And it's okay. also a tenner. It's $9.99. <laughs> Ross is saying, though, you know what, Elle? They're not going fast enough. Can you imagine these, Ross, with your Guatemalan jadeite bundle? Have they sold out? Well done. You can get hold of the drums still. I'm all over those drums. Can you imagine this with the drums? I can't believe there's any drums left. Nor me. They were mixed beautifully because they've both got the same level of translucency. Oh, and then you're fab. sourcing, you know, some of the best jadeite from around the world as well. We're going lower purely because time is of the essence. We are a live TV shopping channel. Um, uh, we wanted, it should be a one show, uh, a one auction wonder most definitely. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop that price purely because of time, no other reason. Um, and then we're gonna put a second 60 second clock onto your screen and that will close the auction. Close the auction and the entire hour. Half the stock is already gone. Well done, Neil and Inda. Hello, Stella, Elaine, Heather, Jay Marie, well done to Leicestershire, Angela. They're through drilled, they are through drilled. Half drilled, no, yeah, uh, let me double check that actually. Let me double check, it might be me. Let me double check. Hang on. I put them in the tweet. Yeah, let's get a pin. That would be much easier. Yeah. Oh, it's gone that way. Quick. <laughs> Come back. See, they're also perfectly <laughs> spherical, as you can so see. They roll. If they you drop roll. Them. <laughs> they do roll. Uh, hang on. Let me just. Oh, no. they are half drilled. I beg your pardon. They are half drilled. So you can see that there. So if you're thinking about stud earrings, or oh, maybe you're thinking about little yeah. drops. What's that? Let's have a little look at the eight millimetres. Yes, eight millimetres are half drilled as well. I apologise if I said that wrong. I'm not really sure. If you want to add that to order, your order, you can. 60 seconds on your screens. Everything that we have just brought you in the last hour will disappear. So you can still get hold of those natural purple pearls for 29 quid. That's ridiculous. Anarchy Ametrine, Tanzanite, Turquoise, Amber, Clasps. Uh, oh, I can't keep up with you now. Half drilled pearls, Guatemalan jade. Look at all these sellouts. You can still do it, but you do need to be quite quick about it right now. Um, don't forget to add your beautiful pure white, white, uh, pure white nephrites. You've got 30 seconds to get uh, to do that. Um, um, they've never been on your screens before. Likewise with that beautiful butterfly carving. Oh, as well. yeah, gorgeous. Uh, really Papillon. There's one left of the barrel beads. One left. If you don't, I will. You've got 20 seconds to make that, uh, to make them yours. Um, and we've got the most beautiful kits coming up as well in the next hour. Do not go anywhere. Make sure you check out your baskets. Congratulations on your beautiful nephrite, your Guatemala, and all the other treasures. Hannah and I will be back after this. Check out. <laughs> Hi guys, join me for an action-packed weekend. Um, this January we have made a statement that we are going to make this huge. We're bringing all of the new collections, all of the new gemstones, which is really going to set our stall out, set the benchmark high, uh, something for us to really chase into the new year. So on Friday I'm going to be bringing you a brand new collection of what many refer to as the rarest jade on the planet. We are of course talking about red jade. I uh, and this might be the last time you ever get a chance to own this material, Type A. Um, going forward, we're in talks to bring you the Type C dyed material, but this very limited opportunity is for those collectors that want to add that natural, ultra-rare colour to their collection. And then on Saturday, we are bringing you one of my favourite gemstones. We are bringing you what I call Quad A Grade Malsitsit, uh, another incredible gemstone endemic to Myanmar. Um, this is you know, part jadeite in many respects, wonderful striations of colour, incredible mottling, and as we know with what's happening with the jadeite mines, the price on this has skyrocketed and we're very fortunate to have already got this deal over the line before that news broke. Um, so you know, join us for that incredible showcase to own yourself something incredibly rare, a true Burmese treasure.
Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's a new year, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for those new year resolutions. And it's the perfect time to start a new hobby. Jewellery maker, sewing street and hobby maker are here whether you're starting something new or advancing your skills on a current hobby. With all the tools you need to start as well as expert demonstrations from our great guests. Are you starting a new hobby this January? Share your new makes with us by tagging Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker or Sewing Street using the hashtag New Year New Hobby. And watch us every day from 8am to 1pm on Jewelry Maker. On Hobby Maker, 6 to 8am and 1 to 6pm. And 8am to 1pm on Sewing Street. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hello! Hello! <laughs> well done, everybody. Massive congratulations. Sorry, we just having a little chin nag. We were. Yeah. yeah. Just, you know, put the world to right and everything. Talk about the school run. Yeah. The stresses of the school run. Oh my goodness me. It's not just, is it just my children? Then go, 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 trying to get them out the door. Yeah, it's kind of like, and, and then you know what you said about the duck waddling around forgetting stuff. And it's kind of like, have you done your teeth? Uh, no. Have you got your school bag? Have you got your homework? Yeah. How, where are your shoes? Oh, have know. you done your teeth? Oh no. my goodness me. It is, it is. Just hustle, will you hustle? <laughs> hustle, hustle. Goodness me. Ah, oh dear. And then, then Willow normally says to me, Mummy, can I bring my scooter? No. no. <laughs> Not taking your scooter. Right then. <laughs> um, an amazing... Which... Oh, these... I, I'm obsessed with these wraparound braces ever I, since we did that show together. I love them. I mean, they've become my favourite. I, there's one that I, I didn't um, have, so I didn't, didn't make that one on the end there, but I think it looks fabulous anyway. Shall we show your braces? I mean, yeah. look at that. Hannah, that's gorgeous. I mean, it's just so cute, isn't it? Oh, you know, I am thinking about spring and summer and Mother's Day and birthdays and just... That's beautiful. Yeah. That's, that's a lifting. Do you know what that is to me? A bunch of flowers and a piece of jewellery. Oh, that's nice. Do you I mean, know what I mean? I was kind of thinking that, and it was, it was sort of like, because I, um, I had some Lucite flower kits the other day, and, and that, that made me feel sort of like, oh, yeah, spring's coming, and you start to see all the new shoots, and I was thinking, I can do, I can do something of that kind of ilk, but when, with a wrap bracelet. Oh, that's, Ross that, has just come up with the, the perfect name. If you, you should start a collection with this. We we'll call them Forever Flowers. Forever Flowers. Oh, that's nice. You should do it. You should so do it. Patent pending. <laughs> Um, and, and, and Ross is saying you can have that one for free. Oh, bless you. Can have him. that for free. Um, these are gorgeous kits. 
I love the black and gold one. Yeah, it's it's got a bit of a, a sort of a, a chic kind of um, evening-y look to it, hasn't it? It's the little hearts in there and then the, and the black, it just, I don't know, I think the black and gold just look really chic together. Me too, they I love do. them. Let's Fabulous. Should we start with the with the with the, the, floral, with the forever flowers? Forever flowers. Um, yeah, and and like Hannah, Hannah, I remember you first doing the launch of this kind of wraparound style, and I was like, oh my goodness, me, these are amazing, and and bless it, bless your heart, you made me one, and I've worn it yeah. loads of times since. I've got a few that I wear actually. Oh, yeah. they're so, and I always get comments on it as well. Mm. That's beautiful, and I literally want to copy it. I literally want to copy it. Remember as well, you've got the other. Um, hearts the beaded hearts etc they're all coming up as well they're available on pre-order so have a little look at the website these would be quite nice actually they, in hannah's design they would be fabulous because like this in the same way that i've attached attached the hearts you just put little um crimp beads either side yeah. um of your centerpiece and then carry on beading so yeah then that becomes part of the wrap then brilliant oh, so yeah again, and you don't have to really well you're going to demo it anyway aren't you yeah yeah so amazing yeah. should we start with i'm going to call it forever flowers um, also, I want to show you some of the malachite that is coming up as well. It's coming up at 11 o'clock? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. What am I talking about? It's a deal of the day. Um, yeah. So we've got brand new shapes, brand new cuts. Um, if you love the oh, Alhambra, it's then it's, yeah. Yeah, that's going to definitely give you that kind of vibe. All different shapes, but the quality is absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I think this is, in terms of parcels, we, we have literally hit the nail on the proverbial head in yeah. terms of the best quality yeah. and grade. Um, the obsession of Malachi is not just contained to jewellery maker, it is literally global. Um, yeah, look at those. And I mean, actually, at those. I, re I really like um, black and gold with that kind of green. Me it's too. kind of Art Deco sort of colours. So I was thinking if you if you wanted to, you could get some of those and it would look fabulous with the black and gold. Oh, racket. it would. So Stunning. nice. Malachite fever. That's the thing. Yes. It's, it's affecting, it's impacting interior design as well and yeah. soft furnishings and everything like that you see malachite even, even colors. Pink colors yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. so we'll show, talk about that during the 10 o'clock hour because i've got um quite a nice uh, uh presentation to offer you as well or at least i hope so um <laughs> i hope you agree right let's do it forever flowers how quickly do you think this beautiful kit's gonna um, gonna sell out? Well, it's available on pre-order. Okay, twenty percent of the stock's oh, already okay. gone, so it is proving to be popular. Let's start with that. Here are those lucite flowers. They're just joyous, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. Unfortunately, this is quite a limited kit. You've got all your colours there. So you've got well, reds, yellows, pinks, blues, greens. Um, you've got colourless, or you could do little snowdrops. Um, purples just there as well. I love these components. Love these. Yeah, the tube sliders are amazing. Well, the tube um, spacers are amazing. And I think that's kind of like the key element to all, all of yeah. these kits is, is if you've got some of that sort of like that metallic sheen that's curved to fit your wrist, then it absolutely is wonderful for these kind of bracelets. And they literally are curved, so yeah. they're going to wrap yeah. around, aren't they, so beautifully. Um, Morganite? <laughs> You thought because of the price it was rose quartz. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I would have thought exactly the same. The strand on its own would cost how much, Ross? Fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, that's fair. That's, an, that's a great deal on Morganite. Um, the silver, which is solid, by the way, it's been on air at twelve ninety nine. Look at, for the pair, that is. Look how much silver you're getting there. And they're diamond cut as well. Then you've got your lucite flowers. But I would say five pounds for those. So you're talking about a kit that's best part of what, 25 quid? Yeah. No, 35. 35, 35, 35 yeah. I beg your pardon, terrible Marcel. Um, but that, I mean, that's great. That's a great deal already. Let's stop off there <laughs> on our way. I didn't think he was going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Can you pass that? Should we, should we bring it over? It. Yeah, let's bring it over to the kit. Oh, Hannah, that is so beautiful. So beautiful. I love your jewellery, Hannah. I really do. I mean, obviously, I've, I've added a few seed beads and a couple of pearls. I think there might be a couple of bicones as well from my own stash. Um, but, I, I mean, I, do, I was just trying to find things like the other colours that, that pick out the, the colours of the flowers so that I could repeat it through the whole thing. Um, and then it sort of it breaks up the, the pink of the morganite as well. And I think it just, it just adds to it. So pretty. 
It's so pretty. I, I, I think these are going to sell out super fast. How many of us, and do message in, how many of us are going to recreate that design? There was only 50 chances, though. And you're going to show us how as well? Yes, yeah, that's the one I'm going to have a play with. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at this, even done for Morganite on the sides. £19 and 99 pence only. You know, if you saw that in a boutique jewellers, I would be expecting it to have triple figures. A, it's got Morganite and all that sterling and silver. silver. Yep. And then there's beautiful little lucite flowers as well. You've to added a few little embellishments of pearls. Why on earth not? How pretty, Hannah. I love it, I love it, I love it. Well done. Um, Ali, Wiltshire, Claire, Diane, Pauline, Gabrielle, Tina, Carol, Karen, uh, Tyne and Ware, Channel Isles, Laura, Tracy, multi buyers on this as well. There was only 50. If you've got any questions for our Hannah, then do message in. And it's basically like a multiple wrap, multi wrap, isn't it? Basically, that you yeah, do. Yeah, a wrap, a wrap bracelet. With, uh, um, with, your, with, with your toggle clasp. Oh. It's one of those things that you can, you can make it as, as long or as short as you want. So you don't have to do a wrap. You could just do a simple bracelet if you chose to. Yeah. And perhaps put both of the silver bars and then a cluster of the flowers in the middle. There's lots of different ways you could work it. But then you could make yourself sort of stack of bracelets like that as well. But um, I'm quite self-indulgent with these. And I just like, I like, oh, I like the long wrap bracelet. Do and it. there's something about putting them on in the morning as well. It's kind of like a, almost like a mantra. It's like, oh, yeah, okay, I'm ready now. Go. Love it. You know. <laughs> Ready to face that day. Yeah. Um, we're going we're gonna to dive into the demonstration. If you have any questions, do drop us a message online. Um, very, very popular kit, so I wouldn't be surprised if this sells out in the next few minutes. Um, don't forget those sterling silver hearts, because I think they'd be quite lovely to go alongside that as well. And, we, and um, yeah, you've got beautiful, the black and gold kit is just, oh, just gorgeous. Um, right, over to you, Hannah. Show us okay. how. So Show us I how. am gathering all my um, components, bits and bobs. So I've got a, a couple of pearls that I had left over from a, a kit the other day. Mm -hmm. And they just, they're rather gorgeous. So I thought I'd put a few of those in. Some um, Ato seed beads I've used. Um, and I've just tried to pick colours that sort of kind of pick out the colour of some of these flowers. You know, the little, little green, little teal, little pink like that. Um, head pins, they could be ball head pins, they could be flat head pins, it could just be wire and you could put like a little embellishment on the end, whatever you like really. Um, so I, I started off when I was making these, I actually put some of the, um, the flowers together. Um, so you might do some that are just um, kind of the pink on pink like that. You can add some other little um, components in if you, if you want to as well. In fact, that's a flat one, I might go for the ball head pins for these because I don't want to hide too much of the colour of the seed bead. So literally popping them through and then you're going to turn each one of those into um, just like a little wrapped loop component. Okay. So you can so you spend time sort of making your little components to start with um, and then you can start to sort of build your designs. Then you do the construction. Yeah, yeah. So just wrapping these around. Um, and, and like there, there's no sort of right or, or wrong with these. It's just whatever you think looks pretty. So let's go a little green, little green number there. That green's beautiful. And again, li literally oh. just like popping it through using my round nose pliers and I'm just making a wrap loop on, on the back. Um, you could just do it with a, an open loop, but I think just for, for some security really, if, if it's a little wrap loop, to start with, then it's not going to fall off or no. um, come away from your bracelet. Because obviously these sort of bracelets like that you don't know which, which way around is going to be um, resting on the desk or anything like that. They, mo they move quite freely. I might go for, actually, I might go for purple with the teal because I really like that combination. <laughs> this is it. And it's, re it's really just like self-indulgent, really. It's like make something that you like the look of. You could pick all one colour. Mm -hmm. You could pick multiples. You could um, you could go kind of ombre if you wanted to. Lovely. I've just gone for just kind of crazy. A bouquet. All the flowers it all literally at once. looks like a bouquet of flowers and a piece of jewellery. Yeah. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Like this. So I made a few of these, and then in fact, maybe I'll make a couple more of those. And then so let's get let's get a few of all the different colours. So that one I think 
needs a lime green in there. Oh, lovely. Kind of fresh and spring like. It and does, doesn't it? Cheerful. Of your daffodils. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've got um, bulbs and things that are starting to, to shoot, they're starting to, to appear. So it's like the promise of spring is there. Do you know, I didn't get round to doing bulbs this year, so my oh, my garden's yeah. going to look so drab, isn't it? Well, you can always buy pots that have been yeah, planted by the to. garden centre or something, can't you? And then pretend you did it. Yeah. <laughs> Oop. I wasn't organised enough. It's one of those things. It's like it's kind of cold and dark and horrible in sort of autumn, isn't it? And it's just like, do I do I want to be out there planting bulbs? And sometimes you do, and sometimes you don't. Mm. <laughs> But it, I always think if you do, it's so worthwhile just because oh, you get that like, lovely pop of colour. Oh, it is, because they enjoy yourself when you see them, see them sprouting. Definitely. Oh, that this one's is like much more malleable than the other pins were. Don't know why. Must be from a different thing. They're just pins out of my stash, you see, so it's a bit of a mi mishmash. But that's, that's another thing. It's like, I like these bracelets for that reason. You can add other bits in. And they... Um, you know, it uses up bits and bobs that you've got. Right, so that's a nice little cluster of flowers there. So then I'm just going to take um, ordinary beading thread. Um, and you want, you want quite a bit um, for your wrist, so you can actually just sort of wrap it around a few times to make sure you've got enough. Um, I might just do that. So if I hold it, so the clasp is going to be there. One, two, three, and a bit extra, because it's always good to just give yourself a little bit of room. And then trim that away. And then at one end, I like to use toggle clasps because they're easier to sort of put on um, yourself, really. Um, sometimes it can be a bit fiddly if you're trying to use um, something where you've got to get hold of the lever. And I'm just going to use the rounded part of my toggle clasp, fold the end over, and then push the crimp bead on. Like that. And feed that up. And then I'm just going to use crimping pliers to um, secure that. So squeeze it once in one direction and once in the other direction. It should be nice and secure. And then it's just a rather lovely, joyful thread things on how you think you want them to look. So I've got a few spacer beads there as well out of a pack I had the other day. So when you're um, doing something with the toggle clasp, it's a good idea. The first few beads that are near the clasp on either side, make sure they're small so that when you're trying to do it up, you can actually uh, pull that through. Of, so yeah. the, the T-bar is the, the important side. Uh, Ross has just had a great idea. Oh, go on. In this, rash, uh, in this wraparound um, sort of design, we've got your malachite showcase <gasps> coming up as your deal of the day. Yeah. Can you imagine it with a sort of the Alhambra-inspired Oh, my clovers? gosh. Um, or maybe stunning. something like some beautiful hearts. Yes. Um, or some lovely cubes. Just thinking how, how amazingly it would actually work with this technique, that showcase. It, re it really would. It, I mean, they'd look amazing. And they'd look really expensive, obviously, because you get like lots of um, guest yeah. design, um, designer jewellery with that symbol, don't you? Oh, uh, Ross is just saying, sorry, Hannah. Um, lots of people are asking for them to go on pre-order. Are you going to do it then? No. <laughs> I've just all of a sudden heard Wayne's voice in the background there. No, no. Haven't got enough. Okay. Okay. I tell you what, we'll do it closer to the top of the hour. So, yeah, we'll do it maybe about quarter to 22, something like that. Sorry, Hannah. So do bear with this, but it would be lovely with these kits, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. I mean, I was just thinking, you know what I said earlier about having the two silver bars and then the cluster in the middle? I wonder if that's going to be... Oh, Enough. There's only five left, Anna. Hang on. So if I measure that up, is it going to sit in the middle there? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Just about. I might just take that that little uh, nugget off there because I like to swap them, and I just I like having um, little bicones in the ends of the of the tubes. Okay. Um, I don't know if I've got two actually. Is that going to work? Oh, yes, I can see that just Have there. Have I got two? Oh, I can't because I haven't, I haven't got two left. Okay, so I'll put, the, I'll put the CB back in. Then I'm going to put the tube on because I know that's going to cover the most of the side of the wrist. And then I'm going to make like a little cluster. Let me just double check. So hold that where it would sit roughly. That's, ju that's just about central. It might be not quite. But I'm just going to show you a little cluster of the beads in the middle. 
So I'm going to go one with a little space in between. I'm just using the seed beads. Just because I like the idea, I saw this earlier and I thought, mm, I'm going to do a cluster in the middle. And it's really, I mean, it's entirely up to you how many you put in and how far you want to go. I mean, I think that would look quite cute. Yeah, maybe leave it as a three like that. And then I'm going to put the other one of these um, straight on the other side. If I can find it. There we go. So then that, when it's sitting on your wrist, should be a little cluster of flowers in what looks like a silver bracelet for that first oh. wrap. See, that's lovely. See, that's, that's quite cute. Yeah. On its, on its own. Like that. Amazing. And obviously when it's tight, the, the flowers sit, sit up top. And then it's just a case of continuing to thread um, and then keep measuring it up. So keep trying it on your wrist to see how it's going to look. So this is going to be the bit that goes around the, the side and the, and the underside of your wrist now. So I'm probably going to go for flatter, um, a flatter combination. So, so pretty, Hannah. Um, we have got another kit. Can yeah. you pass me your beautiful... Which one do you want? Oh, the black and gold. The black one. We also had those Buddhas earlier yeah. on, didn't we? How nice yeah, would they be? Yeah, they would this? be fab with that. And the, the lovely little beaded hearts that we've got coming up as well in a few moments. Sam. You can shop ahead and pre-order on those. This is just beautiful, Hannah. Thank it's you. Uh, honestly, it's not this one. Oh, okay. It's coming up. It's coming up. Let's show it whilst, whilst I'm just raving it. It's available on pre-order right now. Look at how beautiful that bracelet is. Oh, my goodness. Only 40 of that. But if you want to do a silver version, black yep. and silver, definitely. Um, then here's the kit for that, um, where you have all your beautiful... Sorry, Ross, my bad. Um, so where you have all this lovely uh, black agate, lovely lustrous black agate. You've got your silver color, uh, silver coated hematite as well. So two beautiful genuine gemstones. And you're getting your diamond cut tubes. Um, I love the texture of these, these diamond cuts. I don't know if you can quite see that. But can you see how it's almost... Uh, they sparkle Almost so hammered, beautifully, don't, don't they? they? Yeah, yeah, they catch the light beautifully. All that investment of sterling silver. These measure, by the way, 50 millimetres, the bars, and you're getting that twice over, so they really lend themselves to this wraparound. Yeah, they do. Um, this wraparound technique. So 250 carats of your beautiful black agate, uh, 65 carats of your wonderful silver colour-coated hematite, and they're four mil, by the way. Um, and then two of your sterling silver diamond cut curb tube spaces, all today for £39.99. pence. Oh, Ross says, that's not your price. We can do better than that. Who wants another under £20 deal? Oh, yes. Uh, you know, seriously, we should... Those bracelets <laughs> are sterling silver with genuine gemstones, and we can make them for £20 and probably have leftovers. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's just the um, because you use the um, the bars up, but yeah. you don't have to use both of them in, in one piece of jewellery. No, so that's you, very true. You, definitely, you can make at least two. I think especially with this kit, because you've got the silver hematite, haven't you? So you yeah. can actually put them sort of sections of those in there if you wanted. Um, how many do we have of this kit then? This Oh, it's quite limited. Um, we're under £20. Remember, they'd be lovely if you added things like these that are coming up in a few moments' time. It'd be quite nice if you wanted to put additional yeah, sterling that silver That components. would look fabulous, that. It that would. kit with the, with the heart would look amazing. Oh, and we've got a gold to go with the gold kit if you want, if that's your colour of choice. Why is there a clock ticking away on our screens right now? Ah, he says I'm going again. <laughs> I'm not done at 1995. Amazing. Oh, my goodness me. Any questions you have for Hannah, then do uh, do message in. How are you getting on, lovely? I'm all right. I'm all right. So I'm on to the second um, coil, if you like. So so I'm just uh, going to start doing a different um, sort of combination using the flowers. I thought I'd alternate with pearls. These have definitely become one of your signature pieces, you know. A I bit do... like kiss crosses for Mark. Yeah. The wraparound has become a bit of a Hannah piece. I do, I do love them. So, so... Yeah, you can see I'm just starting to come up that side now so I can start to add my next combination with, with flowers just because I want them on the top. I mean, you could put them all the way around. Yeah. Um, but the underside is kind of alternating with pearls and um, 
well, morganite. It's, <laughs> it seems crazy Morgan, to say that. I know, I know. I might make that the same length as that, actually. Let's go yeah. lower on this kit, shall we? There was only 65 of these ever made. They'd be lovely alongside that beaded heart as well. So if you want to do that into your design. Oh, my goodness me, the silver's that, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that the price of the diamond cut tubes? It's the sort so of... you're, you're buying your diamond cut tubes, which is a great deal for that amount of precious metal. And then you're getting all your gemstones for free as well. How incredible is that? 65 of these were, uh, were made. They look like they will sell out very quickly as well. It's all down to personal color, um, color preference. If you like your black and gold, then it's uh, black and gold. We've got that kit coming up, sorry. If you like your black and silver, then it's this kit too. Um, if you love lots of colors, if you're, you know, if you're, if you're like a spring and summer vibe, boho chic style, then definitely the kit that Hannah is demoing with, although that does look like it's sold out or, or very close to, if not. Um, I just love this look. $12.99, Karen Yvette, Elizabeth Sabine, Marge, Jacqueline, Angela, Pauline, another Pauline, Pauline in Cambridgeshire, Pauline in Berkshire, um, Helen G. Victoria, Johnny, Nicolette, Valerie, Julie, Oxfordshire, Helen, uh, Maker, Sheila, a lot of you there, 65 are available at $12.99. I'll leave that kit with you for the time being and we'll dive back to Hannah. So I, I just, so I'm basically continuing to thread on um, combinations of things to see where, oh. where I want them to sit. So I don't want the flowers to all be in exactly the same spot. So it's, this is why it's important to keep measuring. Um, keep offering up to your wrist, is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think maybe I could do sort of a flower now and then do another section of, of yeah. beading and then a flower over the other side. Nice. And then when they're all sat together, they're, they're not all in the same place. So you get that lovely sort of... Um, I, th I suppose like sporadic a bouquet bloom. yeah yeah it's not just like one big bunch in the middle they, they sort of scatter around the the bracelet then so i could put a little a little pink one there i think and then i'm going to do a bit more um sort of beading in between so just the one in that case i think just to see what they look like in fact it might be nice to have them as a line of them but then they will cluster slightly Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Go back to those. And then just hunting for the, the little drill holes in the middle because obviously the lighting and the pale gemstone can <laughs> yeah. be a little tricky. It, and plus you're doing it arm's length, aren't you? Well, yeah, trying to. I've got my glasses on, but <laughs> which always helps, you know, but um, it's one of those things. It's just, it's just threading little, little bits on as I go. So I think that would be roughly the middle. Uh, I'm just kind of going random with my colour selections, actually. You can go in a, like a particular pattern if you, if you need it to be um, in a kind of a uniform, or you can just go completely crazy. Right, so I'm just going to pick that up again. And I, and I always do, I always like make sure I've put the, the loop of the toggle clasp on first so that I can hang on to it basically mm -hmm. like that top tip yeah and then yeah I yeah oh reckon i need two more and then and then add another flower and then you can just see how it spaces out on your own wrist then as, as you're working um and it's just quite cute as the way it builds up you know so we pop that one and then a pink one and then i'm going to add the little greeny one it's just cute I love them, Hannah. I think they're absolutely And then I carry amazing. on beading as I go around. I might make a few more flowers to do the third pass, but essentially it's the same thing. You make, you make your little wrapped loops um, with all your little flowers, using head pins, add whatever you want, spacers. You can, you can add in other seed beads. You can add in other tubes. Um, I've gone quite uh, heavy on the, on the silver just because I wanted to see what that looked like because it, it seemed like a good idea, and I think I quite like it. I like it too. Yeah. I like it too. Um, right, we're going to bring the next kit in. So the lovely lapis lazuli um, just works, doesn't it? It so works. And again, you get the diamond uh, cut tube spacers um, in your kit. So you get two of them in this case. Um, again, lovely with the silver. All you need to do is add maybe a couple of your, uh, your toggle class, maybe some additional beads. Um, like your Mayuki, but the, again, that heart would look so lovely with this, wouldn't it? It's a heavy strand in terms of its carrot weight, so you've got 300 carats of beautiful quality lapis lazuli here. 12 
uh, amazing. <laughs> Either you're buying the gemstones and you're getting the sterling silver for free or vice versa, effectively. So, um, but super wearable, Hannah. I mean, it started off where sort of stacker style bracelets were all the rage, but now yeah. why have multiples when you can have just one just big, one. beautiful yeah. one? Um, and these will work with the kits that you've got coming up a bit later on in the show as well yeah, at 12 o'clock, wouldn't they? Definitely. I think so. Some of the colours that I've got, um, I've used the same seed bead combination in the earrings that are coming up later as I've got in this bracelet because I thought, actually, it's qu you could wear them together. It's yeah. quite, quite sort of, you know, mix and match kind of kits. And then we like the so the we've got the blues in there we've got we've got blacks in there they all like there's there's a gemstone in all of them that you can mix and match I think yes totally, so yeah definitely totally totally beautiful these are flying out the door have I got a quantity of this kit sixty so they are quite limited it's probably the sterling silver elements that are are reducing the quantity um, hence why you've got actually sort of different colours. Uh, different colorways yeah. as well um, i've seen some reoccurring names as well to, uh, shopping across all the different kits and i don't blame you for that i think these these designs Hannah, are absolutely amazing thank you i mean do you, don't you think that that one as well in particular it, it feels so lovely like there's something yeah. about the lapis on that um, yeah. it's just it's just smooth and tumbled and lovely it's really wearable so, yes yeah, so, you took the words right yeah. out of my mouth so i was about to say that it's just really wearable isn't it yeah um amazing 12.99 i've got one more kit one more kit to bring, and it's this. The black one. <laughs> just looks like it should be. It looks like it should be incredibly expensive. Well, yeah. It should be. And it, and it should be, to be honest, because you've got a lot of pr uh, precious metal. Um, I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I thought these were silver. They certainly look that way. This is gold plated. So you've still got the precious metal tubes um, in your base metal. And then you've got these lovely little gold plated um, hearts where you're getting a pack of five of those. I'll pick them up with a tweezer so you can actually see them. Sorry. Um, or let's look at them in Hannah's bracelet, shall we? Just there. Can you see? So you're actually getting you're actually getting six of those. I guarantee this kit will be a sellout because already there's people getting involved. Half the stock's already gone. Still not done with the components though because you've got all these oopsie, um, all these beautiful bicones that I nearly <laughs> threw everywhere. Um, here you are. Uh, how many of the bicones do we get? Nine ninety nine. No, you shouldn't be able to make that for under tenner. <laughs> Nine ninety nine. I mean, it's the sort of thing that you could just, if you want a project, there you go. It's uh, so, something to do for the weekend, even if you're not going to wear it yourself. <laughs> and then you can sell it on and get your money back. You can't get a pot plant for nine ninety. I know you can't. I know it's mad, isn't it? Um, I don't know why pot plant came into my head, but seriously. Nine ninety nine, amazing! It is going to sell out. We are twenty minutes away from that Malachite showcase. Are you due to popular demand and so many of you literally messaging into the studio, into the gallery? Ross is going to put the Malachite on pre-order. They're brand new, never been seen before. Lovely jewelry makers, shop ahead. It's the best parcel of Malachite I've seen in a very, very, very long time. And we've got shapes that we don't normally have in this amazing gemstone. Um, so yeah, really, really excited about that. So they're all available on pre-order, but just to give you a heads up, every single one is less than 100 some are even less than 50 so i would in encourage um checking out so those of you that have been asking 10 o'clock 10 o'clock if you can't be with us at 10 o'clock then you can pre-order now um amazing go to all the w's at joymaker.com scroll down just a little bit watch live scroll down again on the right hand side you will see coming up on today's show click that and you will see there's the sterling silver hearts that would go great they'd go great as well because we've got heart cuts haven't we in your malachite and there's all your beautiful malachite strands they are going lower than the prices that you see so don't worry everybody pays that final low um oh, clovers are flying already now, i'm not surprised it's very alhambra inspired and actually the first piece of jewelry i think i'm showing you in my presentation is actually um, an Alhambra inspired Malachite yeah. necklace. I think it's 24 grand. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I know. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I know, I know. Um, back to you, darling. Yeah, um, so just, um, I, I've got to the, the end, so I've just, I've just put a few of the, the smaller seed beads, um, just because I found that if you put a, um, the T-bar part of the toggle clasp 
too close to a big bead, you mm. then might find that you can't pull that far enough through the loop to do it up. Uh huh. Um, Pop tip that. So yeah, just um, something that I've only sort of recently thought. Oh yeah, I could make life easier for myself if I do that. <laughs> so just again with a little crimp bead. And then I haven't put many of the flowers in this one, but it's like it's, it, there's no sort of rhyme or, or reason. It's, it's just do whatever you think looks nice. Oh, that's beautiful, so Hannah. So just a little, a little wrap and you get a bit of the silver and you get a bit of the um, gemstone. A little, so little bit of pretty. flowers. So but there's two of this kit, by the way. Two of the kit left. That's so beautiful, Hannah. I love it. I it's absolutely huge, love it. it. You know, Look how popular the kits have been. Yeah, love it. Amazing. Love it. Little bit, little nod to spring. It's yes. Like, I see you, spring. I see you. We do. It is. It is getting brighter in the morning. It I is. am noticing yeah. that. And and I looked out last night, um, just after I put Tiggy to bed. I was like, oh, it's quite light actually. Yeah. Quite light. So yes, nice. it's it coming. is. It's around the corner. Look, you can stack them and it looks amazing. Oh, and if you don't <laughs> see it, just look at your wrist and you can see spring in that. Lovely stack the two jewelry. together and that is why even not more of a oh, yes. look at that. It's just I yeah. How just beautiful. Go for it. Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful jewellery as always Hannah Malachi Thank is you. coming up they are proving to be very very popular on pre-order um, so well done to those of you that said I'm not leaving any I'm not, you know I'm not having any chances taking any chances whatsoever <laughs> that's what I was looking for the kit sold out yeah um, then uh, that's the way to do it shop ahead it's coming up meant to be your deal of the day but we're pre-ordering a bit earlier shall we do a little pearl deal as yes. you included yes, pearls please. in your bracelet <laughs> you know we mustn't assume everybody's got pearls in their stash now but in addition you get um sterling silver heart charms with this Gorgeous. as well so um lovely little extras that you could put in amongst they'd look i'm going to borrow that bracelet once yeah. again they'd look fabulous in there oh all the sentiment in there all the sentiment you know, you might pills might be a birthstone, um, beautiful flowers. You've got hearts in there as well with those lovely little bouquet. Oh, it's cute, isn't it? It's so and it's and it's so lightweight and lovely and easy to wear. Amazing, absolutely amazing, Hannah. Look at that lovely luster. You get the nine two five sterling silver hearts as well. Even if you just restranded it, that's a lovely piece of jewellery straight away. Shall we do an amazing deal on genuine pearls? I hate the terminology culture. Uh, sorry, not, not culture pearls. Potato pearls. Potato. Um, yeah. it, it does them potato. disservice, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, you should never describe a genuine pearl as a potato. It's referencing its oval, it's sort of more organic, like oval shape. Um, and I think that's something that we, well, we all are embracing in actual fact, because it shows that they are real, genuine, not simulant or plastic or even glass pearls. We're going to do what? Sorry, Ross. First price crash, not going to be your price. <laughs> and we're not closing here. <laughs> How many have you got? 80. So if you need to stock up your pearl stash and your sterling silvers, then this is a great opportunity for you to do that because you're ticking both boxes, even if you don't use them together. That's the thing. You can take them apart. You yeah. don't have to use the hearts with the pearls. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I like the little um, the beaded hearts that we've got coming, you know, the... Um, oh, lovely. The ones. And I, I, I definitely... You don't know what they're going to, do you? No, I don't. Mm. But I think that, that would be a lovely addition. It would. And Makes it would look sense, fabulous, it? and and they would all go beautifully with with that floral kit as well. Oh, they certainly <laughs> would. That would be that would be some piece of jewellery. These are coming up. You can shop and pre-order fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. Wait, hang on, because there's four solid heart spaces of nine two five sterling silver. How much would they be for a pack of four? Well, that's got to be the best part of £10 at least. You'd think so, wouldn't you? It's got to be, isn't Selling it? Even by jewellery maker standards. You'd say two fifty each, says Ross. Yeah, I agree. I and reckon, then, you I know, reckon you know, so. Your, your black and gold one with the, with the um, little heart lines, you could use those as the silver one with the silver yes. kit, couldn't you? But these are solid got, uh, sterling silver. Yeah. Should we go even lower, though? There's how many? 80. 80 available opportunities. 19 have already gone well done yeah i don't blame you yeah because you know the sterling silver they're not they're not flimsy they are solid solid sterling silver heart if you were to look at that as a, a separate component entirely 
I, I genuinely think they would be probably about £10. Genuinely, I believe. They'd be lovely to go with your Malachite. In fact, we have got a strand of Malachite hearts oh, um, coming up within your, um, within your Deal of the Day showcase. The clock is in because we are taking these even lower, lovely jewellery makers. So pearls... Pearls and Malachi, just, just gorgeous, gorgeous together, yeah, aren't they? Definitely. I love it. And, and I think there's a Wolf and Badger piece that does that combination as well, which I'll be showing you. Um, here it is. Here it is. Malachi, freshwater pearls with a tassel. Very oh, reminiscent okay. of some of your yeah. jewellery, Hannah. Asymmetric, £430. I can make that. You could definitely make that. How about this? Baroque pearls, but you get the idea. With the green, beautiful, £395. Could you make that? It's yeah. simple beading, even down to the wire guardians. You can see the wire guardians at the yeah, top. Yeah, yeah. It's simple beading. £2.50, I reckon, for the sterling silver heart, yeah. That means that the pearls are, the pearls are £3. <laughs> <laughs> three wow. £3 pounds for cultured pearls, and they are 925 sterling silver hearts as well. I mean, that is just a beautiful strand, isn't it? Isn't it? Perfect for the Malachite showcase. Perfect for those beautiful hearts that we launched only a couple of, uh, I think this week, wasn't it? Wasn't it this week or last week, at the end of last week? At, on the weekend, I, they flew yeah, out the door. Absolutely surprised. flew yeah, out wow. the door. We've got the final remaining quantity available for you this morning if you weren't able to watch then. That's what, uh, right now, do you think this is a fair, uh, a fair sort of guesstimate? Um, you've got four solid 925 sterling silver hearts here. They're not the flimsy ones that are going to buckle. Um, so even if we said £2.50 each, £10 for the sterling silver, two ninety nine then for your cultured pearls. Which is bonkers. Madness, absolute <laughs> madness. Amazing. Amanda, well done. M, um, Gabrielle, Lynn, Elaine, Jane, Angela, Rachel, Michelle, hello to you, Essex, Devon, Andrea, Claire, SJ, Alison, Morag, Sarah, new customers, Jane, Brion, hello to you, Surrey. Uh, Andrea Nottinghamshire, look, oh, it's, it's, it's busy, busy. Have we never brought this to air? Launched in November and we've never brought it to air. I know we did something similar in a metre long strand. Wasn't it? Oh, the one with Jade had hearts, didn't it? But that was £50, wasn't it? £2.99. Not £2.99 for your pearls. Well, I'm saying £10, obviously, for your silver. Twelve ninety nine. How amazing. Lovely in that design, I think. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I think they'd be fab. Oh, my goodness me. Gorgeous. Shall we do a big bundle of spacer beads? Yay. Definitely. I love spacer beads. Oh, and me. And me. Put, put them in everything. <laughs> Do you know what? Not just the clovers now. Absolutely everything is flying. Absolutely flying on pre-order. So, oh my goodness me, that 10 o'clock hour can't come quick <laughs> enough then, can it? Um, go on, gorgeous Dan. Hand them over. There he is. Pass me the lovely spacer beads. Love it. Love it. Look at that. How cool. <laughs> Have you ever tried sliding a drink across a bar? You get it wrong. Yeah. yeah terrible way. Uh, yeah, no success. With no success. <laughs> yeah. No success. No, I don't think I... I, I <laughs> better in the movies I think I'd end up in uh, turning out to be like a you know um, a Del Boy trotter you know it's like at cool Rodney at cool uh. that would be me that would be me um, okay let's do an amazing <laughs> space of bee bundle I've got 40 available you do get five different designs here we go. Um, let me show you all of those. The intricacy of these, they're all diamond cut as well. So you get lovely mirror-like sparkle and shine. Um, if I grab my tweezers for a second, you can see the difference between each and every single one of them. So you've got not only the stardust, but can you see that? Lovely, lovely detailing there. These, I love those. Can you see? You've almost got like a checkerboard effect. Um, then you've got your more traditional just over here. Um, you've got your more traditional stardust beads just at the back here again some more beautiful stardust but with the cutting as well and then these have got little heart little heart embellishment as well so you're getting all of these lovely designs I've got 40 available 50 925 sterling silver um, you get 10 of each yeah they'd be perfect with your kit they really work you know in that in the silver one like that I mean I'd, I've just got little um, seed beads in there but if you've got those beautiful sort of like because it's diamond cut tubes and then you've got the diamond cut spaces it really adds the sparkle doesn't it sparkle, sparkle. gorgeous we're gonna do it in one price crash there's 50 available 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. How many is available? 50 in the bundle, 40 chances. Let's, let's, let's do straight away, pound a space of bead. Yeah? Doing it in one price crash. A pound per spacer, sterling silver. If you're happy there, get involved. Just add it to your basket. You don't need to check out as of yet. If you're happy at a pound per sterling silver component, it's pretty good. It is good. For three and a half grams of precious 925. It's not just, you know, these are diamond cut. That's the thing. You get mirror light luster. Just the smallest addition of precious metal is only going to heighten the value and the perceived value as well of your amazing designs. If you're happy at a pound per spacer, you should, be, should have already dialed through. Accentuate, accelerate your beautiful pieces of jewellery, whether it's the wraparound bracelets, whether it's the malachite. You know before me, actually. I, I, I knew it, Ross. I knew you were pulling my leg. <laughs> I knew it. I was kind of like, he's not saying that like he would normally say it. He's, yeah. Pull him a leg. 24.99, 50p per precious metal bead. That's amazing. Which is diamond cut as yeah, well. Yeah, that is amazing, isn't it? Um, Gillian, Jacqueline, Linda, Cheshire and Kim, well done. You were first in there to make your confirmations. I only had 40, though. Angela, Antoinette, Dawn, Carol, Claire, well done. Essex, new customers. Uh, yeah, it's busy, busy, busy today. If you're, if you're inspired by beautiful Hannah's amazing wraparound bracelets, Aww. then make sure um, you've checked out those kits if they haven't already sold out. But these will be a lovely addition, I think, to that wraparound design. But also, think, and I'm going to be showing you lots of pieces of malachite jewellery. I'm not making comparisons. I'm just showing you how heavily used and favoured it is right now. You know, um, Wolf and Badger just a few moments ago. Imagine actually having these in between your malachite cuts and beads i've got just nine remaining opportunities so again uh, you're going to think about it that might be even multi-buying i mean, stock up on them and i think get it'd the be chance. sensible to multi-buy at that sort of price point wouldn't you i'm fairly sure and i'm i'm fairly sure just the plain ones were were not far off that yeah. price tag anyway back in the day um okay is it are you ready are you ready for the beaded hearts um, we launched them on the weekend, just gone. Um, they absolutely flew. Sorry, I've got to tidy these up. Um, I'm going to start with the yellow gold. So depending on your favourite precious metal colour, start dialing. Sorry, I've got to do this, otherwise I can't show you the hearts. Um, here we are. And they do come, we have still got all three. The silver is the most um, plentiful. They are all available on pre-order, so you can actually shop ahead and guarantee yours. Uh, these was, these absolutely flew on the weekend um, because they're so reminiscent of and actually uh, uh, over the past couple of days you know when you you talk about something and it's almost like big brother i do well they know we know that our phones literally listen to what we talk about yes we yeah. know that um anyway so it's, you talk about something and then all of a sudden these adverts all start popping up i started seeing your astley clarts with this beaded design uh. i started seeing your misoma with this beaded design at the three figures i started seeing your alhambra which is i think really they were the ones that pioneered maybe not the first but um yeah uh, certainly done most, well yeah. one of the most iconic yeah let's say yeah. it that way in their beaded bezel design um Anne and sue did some beautiful jewelry i apologize i haven't got it here in the studio but literally just looping one onto a chain or literally macraming either side they are so popular why are you saying oh dear you see how low we went i know i know and there's a big amount of precious metal there's a big amount of sterling silver on these. Do you know Claire's techniques yesterday as well? They'd be lovely with that. All your kits coming up. You did take them really low, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Six ninety nine, Hannah. Oh my goodness me. Six ninety nine. How lovely would these be in your designs? Uh, honestly, they. I mean, I think they would go beautifully with it. So, I mean, obviously, you match the metals um, to to the um, embellishments, and they just look like they're meant to be. No, I, I can't believe this. Six ninety nine. It is super low. Have we? How many do we have of the, of the gold? Uh, single figures remaining. Well done. Let's do the rose. How about as well having a heart? Does the, does the malachite heart fit inside the beaded heart? Quite probably. Could you, could you wire that in or wire them together? Maybe. 
You could have one sort of sitting on the top so it's got like a sort of a frame around it. Well, there's a graduation, so you could certainly... I am. Almost, almost. It was just it was just a thought. I was thinking it might be quite sweet to have like a sort of a, a big that one does. framework around the little... A heart and a heart. Yeah. That one does. Oh, there you go. There Gorgeous. we go. How amazing would that be? Yeah, beautiful. This has got that wonderful romantic uh, blush pink because it's rose gold. Um, amazing. I've got single figure quantities now. Let's dive into the silver. Um, we always have a bigger quantity. Well, I say always. Hope to have a bigger quantity. Um, we buy a bigger quantity because it is the most popular colour of your precious metal. Having said that, I've only got 70 available opportunities. We're going to give you a 60 second heads up. Um, I'll say it out loud. 70 available. That's it. I don't think these will be on a show again because we launched them on the weekend. I've only got this quantity left. They go under, this goes under five pounds. There you go. Under five pounds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> bye. Yeah, bye, bye, yeah. bye, beautiful little beaded heart. We yeah. won't see you again. That's a real shame. But you know, maybe this should be part of our essentials collection, you know, Ross. I think, because you could, even if you're watching jewelry maker for the very first time and you've never made a single, single piece of jewelry, you could just literally feed a chain through this. Job done. You could even lark's head it onto a bit of leather. Um, I love that Anne and Sue did macrame on one yeah. of these, and that looked little, really little nice. Little wish bracelets. Yeah, with really macrame, beautiful. Yeah. Um, wasn't it with Mark as well? Did Mark have them? Well, I think I'm sure I was with Mark. Um, you know, when he did that twisted cord like uh, technique that he demonstrated. How beautiful would that be with these? Um, but you could absolutely you could you could solder them as well. They could actually be maybe a, a made into an amazing ring. They're under five pounds, or they it is under five pounds. It's not small, seventeen by fifteen millimeters, and you've got a big investment of sterling sell, silver. If we didn't, it'd be quite flimsy. Well over a gram and a quarter of precious nine two five. That is why so many of you said thank you very much, jewelry maker. I'll have ten. Thank you very much, jewelry maker. I'll have five, two, three, four. I'm not surprised at all. That's an absolutely amazing deal. And if you love the inspiration of Alhambra, but haven't got the Alhambra budget like myself, then just stay with me. Firstly, get hold of the hearts because... Because. Because. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, it's very Alhambra-esque. Yes. But again, we have the gemstone or one of the gemstones that um, Van Cleef and Arpels actually incorporate. And we have our version of that cut as well. Um, sold out. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, it is happening. Always one of my favourite gemstones. Always. Um, I, do you, you know, we tend to, it tends to fluctuate, doesn't it, your favourite gems? But for me, malachite is always right up there. Yeah. I love it. I, I'm obsessed with this gem. And it's also one of my, my favourite to actually offer and present to you because the story is, is so wonderful. Steeped in history. We always think that jadeite maybe or amber is the most historic of gemstones. But this dates as far back as well. Um, coming up in a few moments' time, brand new cuts, brand new strands in this amazing showcase. The paradise of green that is malachite. Hi guys, join me for an action-packed weekend. Um, this January we have made a statement that we are going to make this huge. We're bringing all of the new collections, all of the new gemstones, which is really going to set our stall out, set the benchmark high, uh, something for us to really chase into the new year. So on Friday I'm going to be bringing you a brand new collection of what many refer to as the rarest jade on the planet. We are of course talking about red jade. I uh, and this might be the last time you ever get a chance to own this material, Type A. Um, going forward, we're in talks to bring you the Type C dyed material, but this very limited opportunity is for those collectors that want to add that natural, ultra-rare colour to their collection. And then on Saturday, we are bringing you one of my favourite gemstones. We are bringing you what I call Quad A Grade Malsitsit, uh, another incredible gemstone endemic to Myanmar. Um, this is you know, part jadeite in many respects, wonderful striations of colour, incredible mottling, and as we know with what's happening with the jadeite mines, the price on this has skyrocketed and we're very fortunate to have already got this deal over the line before that news broke. Um, so you know, join us for that incredible showcase to own yourself something incredibly rare, a true Burmese treasure.
did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's a new year, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for those New Year resolutions. And it's the perfect time to start a new hobby. Jewellery Maker, Sewing Street and Hobby Maker are here whether you're starting something new or advancing your skills on a current hobby. With all the tools you need to start, as well as expert demonstrations from our great guests. Are you starting a new hobby this January? Share your new makes with us by tagging Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker or Sewing Street using the hashtag New Year New Hobby. And watch us every day from 8am to 1pm on Jewelry Maker. On Hobby Maker, 6 to 8am and 1 to 6pm. And 8am to 1pm on Sewing Street. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. Oh, the obsession. We talk about jadeite fever. I think we've got malachite fever as well. The world, uh, every single jewellery house out there is obsessed with this gem. And if they can't get hold of real malachite, then they'll imitate it. And that's fine, as long as you know that you're buying imitated, you know, imitation malachite. Yeah. Um, obviously not with us. This parcel is so exciting. I, I can't wait to bring it to you because firstly, if you want emeralds, most people will, will, I don't know, possibly suggest it's all in the eye of the beholder, obviously, but maybe you're Colombian. If you want rubies, they'll say, oh, okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's Burmese. If you want, you know, I could go on and on and on. Certain locations, Ratnakiri for your zircon, you know, certain locations, have an air of prestige. Brazil to your tourmaline. That's what Congo is to malachite. It produces some of the best in the world. And like I said, the obsession of malachite is a global one, is across not just the jewelry world, is across the fashion world and the interior design world. But let's read about this. And I could, sp I could lose myself for literally hours preparing a showcase like this. And, and Ross and Wayne absolutely know how much I love selling this <laughs> yes, gemstone. Yeah. Um, because, because I get to talk about it. I get, and I, uh, those opportunities don't come around very often. Um, but, lovely friends, 
it's not just me that's obsessed with this gemstone. Every single one of our, uh, or, or I shouldn't say every single one, but the majority of our audience love it. Absolutely love it. If you can imagine visually one of the most distinctive natural gemstones out there, there's a great paragraph I'm about to read to you in a second, then you'll, you'll imagine Malachi. But the head title, to go back to the title, sorry, Eternal Paradise in Shades of Green. Yeah, that's, it just says it all, doesn't it? It does. It's, it's, yeah. it, it's so poetic and so perfect when we're describing malachite. But I'll read on. Uh, malachite properties. Malachite is a highly distinctive um, with its variegated banding and rich emerald green colour. That colour comes from the copper deposits where malachite is found. In fact, malachite itself is used as a source of copper via process of smelting. Often malachite is found in azurite, a brilliant blue gemstone that also forms in copper rich areas. Concentrically banded malachite, known as peacock's eye, is especially sought after as it is rarer than the linearly banded uh, gemstone. Malachite is rather soft with a most scale hardness between 3.5 and 4 on the, uh, on the scale. Malachite is found all around the world, inclu including USA, uh, Brazil, Australia, Mexico, and, as I've just said, the Congo itself. Now, don't be nervous about that most scale hardness. You know, um, like I said, it pretty much every single jewellery house is including malachite in their designs. Yeah. It is a wearable gemstone. I'll read on. Adorned with an allure of mystery, malachite is a hypnotising stone. Like a, mesmer uh, like a mesmerising beauty, it puts you under a spell the moment you lay eyes on it. In the world of stones, malachite is the outlandish eccentric, the stone you see once but will remember so significant in its appearance. I love that. And I'm not going to read any more from that because it's just, but I will highlight it a little bit later on. But the outlandish eccentric. And, and, and other articles were talking about how Malachi is almost uh, reminiscent of sort of a 70s vibe where you had these big, bold patterns and uses of colour was, you know, uh, really relevant. Um, but that, those words, outlandish eccentric, I thought that, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect for this gemstone. <laughs> Let's move on. Um, the history of this beautiful gemstone, because it's not something new. You know, this obsession, this global obsession of the gemstone has not just come around, I don't know, over the past decade or so. It has literally been thousands of years. The name malachite is believed to come from the Greek word monachitis, referring to the mallow leaf, uh, which is similar in its colour. Malachite has been used in hu uh, in, by humans sorry, since antiquity and was believed to protect one from evil. In ancient Egypt, the colour green was highly symbolic, representing new life and fertility. Ancient Egyptians referred to the eternal paradise they believed awaited them in the afterlife, known as the fields of Malachite. Mm. Uh, they would rarely use. Uh, they would rarely. Uh, they would rarely use malachite as a gemstone in jewellery, but would grind it up to make paint pigments in eyeshadows. And I'm actually going to show you a photo of that a, a little bit later on. I mean, how and why would you grind this beautiful gemstone down? I guess the colour is amazing in its own right. But look, I mean, here's a, 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 this is actually in Mexico City, an ancient funerary mask called the Red Queen displayed in a museum um, in, in Mexico. And that is all made out of beautiful malachite. Amazing. It, it, yeah. it, it's fascinating. And we talk, of, we think jadeite has got this, this um, uh, thousands on thousands of years of history, which of course it does. So does malachite. Not just an, a lapis lazuli, like, yes. for example. Those strong pigments of colour but also used actually uh, um, sort of for, for its decorative purposes. In modern metaphysical practice, malachite symbolizes transformation, abundance and spiritual wisdom. Some people believe that wearing malachite jewellery can alleviate depression and help aid with restoration of balance and positivity. Whatever your beliefs are, malachite is undoubtedly a beautiful stone to add to your collection. I couldn't have say, said it any better. Yeah. You know, if you believe in meta, the metaphysical, uh, metaphysical side of gemstones or not, it's a beautiful gemstone to wear. And a lot of the designers, as I said, are using it. 
So I've found a few. No, not making comparisons here. Just showing you some Malachite beautiful jewellery. You know, these in your plain rounds. Um, £85, it's not a bad price tag, I don't think, although it doesn't mention the size of these beads. So I would suggest they might be quite small. Um, but still, £85, beautiful green. You can see that there. Fine jewellery, no doubt. Netta Porter. Four mil, would we agree? Yeah, that's We're, lovely, isn't it's it? It's lovely. It's really mm -hmm. simple. £480. You've got a gold clasp on there, but you can pick a gold clasp up for best, well, I don't know, 80, what, 80 quid, maybe? Yeah, that's uh, 80. Uh, so, yeah, you can make that, uh, that necklace so, so easily with some simple beading. What about this piece? Again, going back to Stone and May, um, teaming it alongside your tiger's eye and some sterling silver elements. £75. Beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. What about this piece? Tiffany's. It was available on web on um, eBay. Rare Tiffany and Co. Sterling silver green malachite bead necklace, long line necklace, thirty inches, uh, vintage design, um, one thousand three hundred US dollars. Um, it's lovely. It is lovely, but it's it's four figures. It's four figures. And we could so make that, couldn't we? Easily make yeah. that, especially with the components that we've brought you today. Yes. <laughs> Next one. Love this, absolutely love this. So Malachite beaded necklace, £125. You could do that, couldn't you? We bring you the components to make pieces of jewellery like this. But again, it's showing how popular... Oh, sorry, just realised there's a little bit... Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> um, you could do that, just some simple beading. Moving on, Wolf and Badger. Um, Malachite stones with big Baroque pearls. And then you've got what, kind of like a beaded re uh, reticulation design at the front there. £395. Lovely. Again, not hard to achieve. Yeah. We could teach you, or rather Hannah could teach you to make that. Um, this is very you, I think, I, Hannah. Yeah, I think I need to make that. I think you should. I can send you the photograph. Yeah. Malachite down the one side, and then you've got Baroque pearls down the other with that lovely tassel at the bottom. In fact, your 12 o'clock kits would go really well I was well thinking I'd do a pink, yeah. pink and green version of that, really because nice. I could use one of those as the, one of those yeah, as the, the drop. Yeah, yeah perfect. Yeah. What about this? Oh, now this isn't jewellery, but you know it said in the presentation um, that this is a gemstone that forms alongside azurite. Ah. And they form in stalactites, yeah. um, uh, malachite. So you, that's where you get this kind of nodule effect. It's almost like the water, yeah. the copper-rich water actually uh, um, sort of cascading down. Yeah, this is a stalactite where you've got malachite in the core and, and azurite, pure azurite all the way around. Just fascinating, isn't it? Um, Reven Uvnan. There you go. That's me actually in Tucson, obsessed with the malachite. It's pretty cool, isn't it? When you see it like that and, and like yeah. slice through the rough and you can really see it. It's fascinating. Look at this. Beautiful bowls created out of malachite. <laughs> Some more beautiful jewellery. There it is. Lovely jewellery makers. The there is the malachite. A Van Cleef and Arpels Alhambra. 16 motif malachite necklace. £23,000. Now, granted, there is 18 karat gold in that. Yep. Not a lot, but there is um, 23 grand. That's the price of a very nice car yes. at the end of the day. <laughs> um, we're going to bring you that beautiful cut within this showcase today, and it's not going to cost you 23 grand. I can assure you of that. Um, how about this beautiful necklace That's here? I love gorgeous. that. Yeah. I'm actually going to be speaking to Wayne about this because I think we could do... How nice would it be to get that mount... And those little and hearts that you just push in. Oh, I'd like, yeah. How beautiful. lovely would that be that you literally just push in together? Six and a half thousand pounds for that necklace. Um, I think we could take a bit of inspiration from that in some way, shape or form if we scale it down, maybe. Uh, moving on. I love these beautiful, beautiful tulip wow. drop earrings. I'm saying earrings because there is a photograph that follows of them on earrings, but they can easily be a pendant as yeah, well. They could be. They've oh, got a little no. pearl in the centre because they're detachable. Oh, really Just cool. lovely, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Um, again, look at the prices though. Misoma, um, four hundred. Well, how much was it? Ninety. That's. £1,500, let's say. £98 for a simple slice here from Misoma. The next one, let's have a little look. Misoma again, love that. Absolutely love it. £159, which I didn't think was that bad. No, I, I think that's a really cool piece, actually. I, I, I love, love the whole the, thing. Yeah, I love the actual... The graduation from one yeah. side to the other and then the big statement class. Gorgeous. Yep, that's another one we need to put in front of people. And Absolutely, go, I totally agree. And then this. Wow. Now, that is... Um, 
a mine no longer in use, basically, but you can see the azurite, you can see the malachite colours, can't wow, you? That's it? totally natural. How cool is that? That's so day? cool. I it love, is. I love things like that. But the obsession, and I will get into these opportunities sure, uh, soon, you can shop ahead on these as well, but the obsession of malachite is not just in your jewellery. Malachite is used in interior designs as well. There's one, of, you know, we said uh, ancient Egypt mm -hmm. used to ground, grind it down to use the pigment itself. This is actually a malachite painting. Um, so not inlaid, it's not like a mosaic, it's literally actual the pigment, painting. yeah, an actual oh. painting of it. Um, and here it is, sorry. Here's the interior designs. Now these are steeped in history. I think most of you will be familiar with uh, um, malachite being used It's in St. Petersburg, but also the, the modern influence of this gemstone as well. So if we flick forward, here we go, uh, just incredible. So you can see that print. I don't know if it's genuine malachite or not. You can see it in the, in the actual, the, um, the columns, yes. I think that's like a wallpaper. Yeah. You can see it in the lampshade as well. I love this. I mean, yeah. if, if you had copious amounts of money, can you imagine, can you imagine a bathroom like that? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness me. Fabulous. How beautiful <laughs> is it? And obviously it's not genuine malachite, it's literally a print. So um, as maybe done on, on, on some form of yeah. tiles. Even in your soft furnishings. Oh, yeah. So um, look at that malachite printed sofa. Yeah. Beautiful. In your curtains. Wow. Amazing. Statement curtains. Loving those. Oh. There's that. Another bathroom. It oh so God. works in the bathroom, doesn't it? It really does. But we love, we are obsessed with the patterns that occurs within this amazing gemstone. And likewise here at Jewelry Maker, Whenever we bring showcases of this gem, it sells out. Yeah, it's stunning. Shall we do it? Go on, let's do it. We are going to start with... They're so... The Alhambra-inspired, beautiful, beautiful... Oh, my goodness me. There was 99 originally. 27 have already gone on pre-order. Um, Ross made a really good point. When we did the clover design in, uh, um, in, in your... Malachi, um, it was a bit softer. It wasn't. It wasn't quite as precise a ninety degree angle, if you like. Yeah. You know when sometimes we bring you hearts and they are more pairs. It yeah. was a little bit more of a gentle clover leaf they were design. All, they were also thinner slices as well, True. weren't they? The ones that we had with the these the aren't settings. thin at all. Yeah. These are. Chunks. Look at that Lovely quality chunks. of Malachi, everybody. The obsession with the Alhambra um, has been around, what, since the 1960s, I think it was? It was 1968, the history of the Alhambra, when it was first actually designed. So many um, celebrities are pictured wearing Alhambras. Um, you've got here uh, Romy Schneider, there we go, um, in 1973 wearing one Alhambra. Francois Hardy wearing two Alhambras. Um, you have, of course, Her Royal Highness, Princess Grace of Monaco, and she's actually, they're still in the family, so she's actually handed them down to her beautiful daughter as well. Amazing. Um, and she was at a Van Cleef then, I just noticed behind her. Did you see that? It actually said, you could see the Cleef. Um, yeah, Cleef and yeah. Arpels, there we are. Alex Scott wearing the Alhambra as well. Uh, Naomi Watts. She's also at the Van Cleef and Arpels, or maybe they were one of the sponsors. There you go, wearing her Alhambra. Her Royal Highness, the Princess of Wales, wearing her Alhambras um, in Mother of Pearl. Absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Mariah Carey, of course. She's all decked out in her Alhambra. More recently, Adele. And, and of course, wrap bracelet there as well. the lady I think wears it best. Well, I don't say Reece. best. I just think she rocks it, yeah. rocks it. Uh, every day, she doesn't need to dress it up, is Reese with a, uh, with a spoon. Um, beautiful, just in a casual sheet, just throwing it over the top of like a vest. Best love stops. it, yeah. absolutely four, love in fact, it. Four different outfits. Four different outfits. And it's the shades and the, and the, uh, the necklace, isn't it? Malhambra it just makes necklace. the outfit. Amazing. Fabulous. Now, I don't know about you, but I haven't got the £23,000 to buy a Malachite um, uh, Alhambra necklace. No. But I possibly could afford jewelry maker prices Yay! and we could possibly <laughs> we could possibly take inspiration from those amazing designs um that amazing collection um and van cleef and arpels say luck 
To be lucky, you must believe in luck, as Jax Arpel's nephew of Estelle Arpel's liked to say. An avid collector, he would pick four-leaf clovers in the backyard of his house in Germany, offering them to his employees along with the English poem, Don't And I quit. love that poem as well. There you go. Yeah. I'll have to get a copy of that to read it out the next time that we I'll do. I'll cry if you do that. It's oh, really? so, it's, so, it's such a good poem. It's, just, it's all about not, not giving up like when everything seems awful. You know, just keep going. Don't quit. Oh. You can do it. And then, and and these, absolutely, like it's the the epitome of, of good luck, isn't so, it? I mean, so, everything, so many people need this. Everything yeah. that, that, that you know, I didn't realise that about it. So thank you, Hannah. Yeah. I've just learnt that. I'm going to read it when I come off yeah. air. To be lucky, you have to believe in luck. Um, so that's really what the Alhambra, you know, personifies. You've got that beautiful graduation in this as well. We had a hundred, did you say? Ninety-nine. Thirty have now gone. We're going to give you a minute clock. It, it, the quality of this Malachi, and it's not dyed, it's not reconstituted, it's not imitation. Please be mindful of imitation Malachi out there. Every Malachite that we have within our vault is in today's show. It's so difficult to get hold of right now because, I mean, I've, I've, I've missed out Piaget. I've missed out Lola Rose. I've missed out Chopard. I've missed out Tiffany's. They're all using Malachite, all using this gemstone. So we've got to compete against those brands to actually acquire this gemstone. And what you've got to realise as well, they'll get a sliver. You yeah. get a sliver yeah. in an Alhambra, you know, it, it, probably half, half the thickness. Um, it shows you here. There we go. You get a little slice of your malachite. You're getting, look at the thickness here, probably about five millimetres. Yeah. Are you ready? You watch how quickly this sells out. The most accurate Alhambra four-leaf clover that I've ever seen here at Jewelry Maker. Does that make sense to you? Because it has got that definitive edge, if you like, um, much like that. The maison, as they call themselves. The graphics are live. Go, 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 go. I've got the different cuts. We've got the hearts, the cubes, these beautiful droplet shapes, rectangles all coming up. All the malachite that we have within our vault is available for you today, lovely jewelry makers. This We had to start. We had to start with um, the clover design, that symbol of good luck. I didn't realise that that, uh, that yeah, poem. Yeah, you need to find that poem. Yeah. Uh, I think I think so because we yeah. can all probably do with reminding ourselves that from yeah. time to time. Um, beautiful. Plus, it's from the world's most premium location of source, um, and that is the Congo itself. You're getting 62 carats. It's graduated to perfection. So, if you wanted to recreate the Van Cleef design, notice how. I say recreate, be inspired by, let's say that. Yes. They've got the different sizes, haven't they, of the four-leaf clover. So this strand would be absolutely perfect. Even if we were to hold it here at 199, let's be honest, that's 23 grand. <gasps> Woo. My car doesn't cost 23 <laughs> grand. No, neither did mine. No, you know. <laughs> I'm still paying for it for five years. Yeah, though. exactly. <laughs> it wasn't that much. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's a different world, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but take inspiration. Take inspiration from these amazing design houses. At £199, the quality of the malachite that you are sourcing today, lovely jewellery makers, is incredible. Jackie, Anne, Linda in Essex, Linda in London, Sandra, Marion, Maria, uh, hello to you, Simon, hello to you, Caroline, Patricia, Devon, multi buying, Jenny, multi buying, another Lynn, hello to you in Devon, Jackie in London, Catherine, Christine, Debbie, new customer, Channel Isles, Jackie, Anne, Karen, half the stock has gone, Julian, Kafili, Cheshire, you're there as well. For natural malachite from the Congo, two, four, six, eight, nine individual solitaires under 100 pounds, 79 pounds and 99 pence. We always talk about the complexity of, carve, of cutting a heart gemstone, don't we? We always talk about that because the cleft, you know, can potentially split the gemstone, that cleavage, if you like. You've got that cleavage four times over. Yep. So to actually cutting a, a malachite, into this kind of shape must be incredibly incredibly challenging definitely it's a it's a real skill and it's and it's i mean not to be sniffed at it's one of those things that you could very easily damage the stone yeah uh, you know it's it's something that it's it's a work of art each one is a work of art do you think sometimes 
It's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time, I've done. that's my expression usually. Do you, do, think, do you think that's our deal of the day? Is that not the deal of the well, day? Well, it is the deal of the day. But do you think that's our deal of the day price? I thought it was. Me too. No. What? Over half the stock has gone, Han. Really? That's not the deal? That's not the deal of the day price. We're over allocated. <gasps> well done to each and every single one of you. Everybody pays. Look at the quality of these. Everybody pays the final low price. Look, Look at that. And I just love those markings. Yeah, it's amazing. It's not and your deal. They're so dealer. chunky, aren't they? Hand carved. These are all individually hand carved. It's not stopping at 17 to, uh, 79 pounds. Those of you that have already made your confirmation, sit back and enjoy. We're going to put some money back into your pockets effectively. Christine, Yvette, Claire, well done. Warwickshire, Amanda, Angela, Lorraine, I can't keep up with you. There was literally just under 100 of these available. Again, little sections of chain, whether you go for the gold plated or you go the silver replicating, I don't know, uh, sort of platinum or an 18 karat white gold at 49.99. Ross, that's so much lower than I was expecting expecting just doesn't seem right wow doesn't seem right at all that's fabulous isn't it isn't it amazing and we have got so many different special cuts for you today say that again so difficult to get hold of Malachi. Absolutely. You know, and I will. I will approach Wayne. I, um, he wasn't in this morning prior to um, me coming on air. I will speak to Wayne about this design. Yeah, and you've got to remember, though, I love this look, but that's easier to cut than what I have on the back of my hand. Yeah. It's easier yeah. to cut because, because it's, it's just the one. It's the one cleft. It's the one cleft. And then you literally almost piece it together like a beautiful puzzle. I love that. And I think maybe we could do something um, uh, inspired like by. A, yeah. Something. Even if you had interchangeable gemstones in there as I well. I mean, idea. how cool yeah. would that be? I don't know. Um, but that's easier. That's easier to carve than what is actually on the back of my hand right now. 49.99. We had 99 opportunities and there are multi-buyers getting involved as well. Um, there was over 100 of you with it in your baskets. Over 100 of you. Start checking them out. Otherwise, you're going to miss out on this opportunity. There are left... Oh, less than 30. And we had that spool of um, sterling chain. silver chain earlier. So that and some sterling silver head pins and two of those strands. And you were literally replicating or making your version of the Van Cleef, which was 23,000, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, that's just, you can uh, get them cheaper. You, I mean, you can get one motif for yeah. about five grand. But... Oh, <laughs> Sure, I'll have three. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. I know. I've, I like, like. So I was like, oh look, Elle, here's one. Look, there's this like four thousand. I was like, it's still thousands though, isn't it? You're still saying thousands <laughs> in that sentence. Um, I've got twenty nine chances remaining. You've got to check them out. Amanda, good luck to you in Essex. Angela, good luck to you. Maker Who Wants Five, good luck to you. Catherine, good luck to you. Debbie, good luck to you. Channel Arts, good luck to you. Anne in Manchester, what did you just say? Karen in Lincolnshire, you've got, oh my goodness me, we're going lower. We're going lower. I thought this was a clock. I was reading your names out just then. I thought this was a clock to end the auction. It's, yeah, it's, it's not. It's purple though, it's not a red one. Oh, how quickly is this going to sell out? Oh my goodness me. <laughs> how quickly we learn mm. how quickly we learn that the red clock is to close the auction the purple yes. clock is because we're dropping the price yeah i assume anyway sorry ross i mean it was going to sell out anyway it was going to sell out anyway we've got what 29 left we're going even lower this is ridiculous this don't miss out it's so difficult to wow. get hold of malachi and you've got to remember we are competing with some of the most you know jewelry houses that haven't got so much of a budget as we do and when we when we say we do um i don't mean gemporia gemporia is a company it can afford to spend money on on, on high-end gemstones but we try we try to get a great deal so we can pass you the great deal we don't want to charge thousands upon thousands of pounds for gemstones no. because then that's they're not accessible to you and i this is crazy we shouldn't be going any lower we are going lower for that same beautiful gemstone that is favoured by all those big designer houses, inspiring wow. also the interior design world, 
£39.99. pence. Tracy in Norfolk says, I'll have five. Thank you very much. Maker in Wiltshire's multi-bought, Amanda's multi-bought, Hilma, Ayrshire, Margaret, Joy. Hello to you, Susan and Brian. Channel Isle says, I'll have two. Kathleen in my home county of Mon Monmouthshire, well done. Devon's got two. Surrey's got two. Uh, absolutely amazing. This is, by the way, the only clover cut that we have. Yes. The only clover cut. That, um, and... Uh, and all the other malachite that we have in the entire vault is in this hour. So you can shop ahead, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. We've got some really exciting shapes, shapes that we've never seen before. But malachite fever, it's got to be a thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely. It's got to be a thing. It's taking over the world. Look at Shopard. Look at Lola oh. Rose. I really like the watch. That I, I want to treat myself to that at some point. So they've got... Um, and they've, they've done a watch with a black strap, just a rectangular shape, like it's got a gold-plated, just really simple case. Uh, it's probably and not malachite, but it's like a malachite print on the dial at the back. On the face. Oh, my God. It's about £120, yeah. I think, that watch or something like that. Cool, but right, it's it? beautiful. It's <laughs> absolutely beautiful. Um, it's not 23 grand, yeah, which, is, no. which is good. No. Which is good. Uh, £39.99 pence only. We are down to the final few of these as well. Gloria, well done. This is the live quantity. 10. From 100, we have 10 left. And we've got way more than that of you with it in your baskets. Liz, well done. Uh, I'm saying well done. Liz, good luck in East, uh, West yeah. Lothian, sorry. April, good luck. Anne in Hampshire, good luck. Maya in Powers, good luck. Uh, Christine in London, good luck. Karen in Manchester. I think all of a sudden it's dawned on people that this is going to sell out today. Uh, Jessica in Worcestershire, good luck. Amanda in Essex, good luck. You get the idea. This is going to be gone in one auction's time. Um, well, in a matter of minutes, actually, yeah. probably more realistically. Absolutely beautiful. The graduation, the quality of the stones, that distinctive, remember, that eternal ta uh, paradise in shades of green. Oh! Positively poetic. And then fields of malachite. Fields of malachite, yes. That are, uh, yeah, yeah, um, Literally be their, their afterlife, their heaven. Was it the Egyptians that the believed Egyptians, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that believed their afterlife was, was, was fields of malachite. I yeah. mean, how amazing is that? That I mean, you, like, you can see it, can't you? You can yeah. visualise like, walking through and everything's that kind of beautiful, beautiful colour. Beautiful green. Yeah. Amazing. Four left. Well done, Tina. You've got two. And Liz, you've got yours as well. Um, I've still got Jean, Karen, Liz, April. April, Christine, Jessica, Amanda, Angela, Catherine, and, and those are just the names I can see on the call screen. Um, so, yeah, not everybody will be successful. I'm ever so sorry about that. Certified, completely natural. How many? There's 156 Ooh. people with it in their basket for the final three. I'm rubbish at maths. Completely useless at maths. But that's definitely not going to fit, is it? Oh. Mm. <laughs> well done. Well done, well done, well done. And by the way, the, the malachite obsessed person that I am, if there's any available come the end of the show, I'll be getting them as well. I'm having the cubes. Yeah, they're beautiful. I will need them. <laughs> I've got four other strands to bring you. And that's it. That's all we have in the entire business. But I'm not going to bring you a strand next. Oh. I have it here. It was actually, Anne and Sue used it in a piece of jewellery. I'm going to bring you a malachite slider bracelet. Five millimetre malachite rounds. Oh, my goodness me. On the sterling silver. So any of the strands, any of the cuts that you choose, the cubes or the hearts or the, or, or the clovers yeah. or the rectangles, or maybe an alternative gemstone. Imagine completing it with... Genuine malachite. That's amazing, isn't it? Oh, you can see why Dolce and Gabbana made a jewelry box with a perspex, a print of malachite. It was perspex. You can get glass malachite table lamps. They're not actually malachite, it's a print, but it's just visually beautiful. This is the only slider bracelet that we have in this amazing gem. How many do we have, Ross? I didn't think there was many. I didn't think so. 
to complete your beautiful malachite piece of jewellery. You know, remember what we were saying when we launched that slider bracelet deal of the day not that long ago? And we were talking about it's not just about how beautiful the piece of jewellery is. It's about the finishing touches. It's about the fastenings as well. I mean, I want, if I can, if I can get hold of gem-encrusted malachite uh, fastenings, be that class or be that slider bracelets in this case, then I'll absolutely go with that. All that sterling silver, the simplicity of a slider bracelet as well, just to talk you through, and I'll show you in Anne and, uh, Anne and Sue's amazing design. Um, all you need to do literally is what? A bit of beading thread in this case, and they've just crimped it either side. You could also knot directly onto this hand, can't you? Yeah, um, I mean, absolutely. It's, because you've got the loops, you can attach anything you want to. So like, you can either do a, a little double-ended eye pin, you could do, nice. like, as you say, with the crimp beads, you could sew into that. Um, jump ring? You can do jump rings into there. Yeah, I mean, anything, literally anything. There's 60 available, though. Well, they're not going to last, are they? <laughs> what about wearing it like this as well? What about wearing it... Other way around? As a necklace? Yeah, if you would just add a bit more chain and have that at the front as your, as your slider... Well, I'm just thinking about Hannah. You know that necklace that you fancied from Wolf and Badger? Yeah. The way you said, I'm going to literally make that. Oh, I see what you How mean. How about... Have that as the tassel at the bottom. Have this as the tassel as, at the oh, bottom. Oh, my gosh, that would be fabulous. This... Oh, that so. one. How about, if you haven't got a tassel, how about using this at the bottom? That would be And you fabulous. take the malachite at one side and the pearls, the pearls at, the, at other. the other. Yeah. How beautiful would that be? Gorgeous. It's not going to cost you £430 either. I'm very glad about that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. All that 925 sterling silver with your beautiful, natural, genuine malachites, five millimetres in their size. You get two of those, obviously. It comes complete. All you need to do is, if you like, uh, I suppose, finish the slider, bracelet, stroke, necklace, whichever way you choose to actually um, complete yeah, it. A £24.99. Yeah. That's brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. It's so good. It's so good. For the slider on its own, that's an amazing deal. Pardon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, all that sterling silver. And now we're starting, I think the first of the gemstones that we included in your slider bracelets, wasn't it, wasn't it Amber? I think Amber was the first one. I think it was. I think it was Amber. Um, and, then, and then we started going into the world of Grandidurite. And uh, um, what else have we done recently? We had... We've done jade. Jade. Did we have a selection of South sapphires? South Sea Pearls. Sapphires, I think yeah. so as well. Now we're including one of the most in-demand gemstones in the world, Malachite. Fabulous. 60 seconds onto your screen. I'm going to say it out loud and literally it's first come, first serve. Um, this is going to be a race for the Malachite. So under £20. There are only 60 available, though. Christine, Tina, Sue, Linda and Carol, well done for shopping ahead nice and early. Multi-buyers here. It can't... Well, in fact, we know. It's, I was about to say, it's not just me that's obsessed with this gemstone. The globe is. All the big designers. Um, all the interior designers now. I mean, how beautiful was that bathroom? Oh, stunning. Oh, Absolutely. Just light a candle and just... Drift away. Wallow yeah. in your paradise <laughs> in your shades. Yeah, look. Wallow. Maybe could have chosen a better word, couldn't I? Wallow. Um, but but lose yourself in those shades of green, that eternal paradise. Yeah. Oh. Yes, please. That sounds and lovely. Breathe. And breathe. Yeah. Who wants a genuine 925 sterling silver slider bracelet, including your wonderful, wonderful malachite, under £20 today? Me. Only because it's part of the Malachite showcase, though. With change. Oh, oh I love it when he does that. <laughs> Paul is a man of few words, isn't he? He doesn't say a lot. Doesn't no. say a lot. Paul's directing at the moment. And even he went, ooh, heck. <laughs> That's a lot for Paul. It is. Yeah. Two words. Punchy, though, aren't they? Yes. To the point. Heck. <laughs> $14.99 to get oh my goodness me half the stock's gone it's so pretty it is so pretty and listen a plain sterling silver slider bracelet is lovely it is it's always going to be beautiful you're going to have that lovely movement you've got the adjustability much easier to put on I could go into all of those things um, but having those little, just two little solitaires literally cascading whether you, uh, whether you wear it in a necklace or whether you wear it around the wrist just wonderful 
a lot of you there. Um, I think this could be an entire sellout showcase, you know, Ross. Yeah, I think I don't think we're going to have a single Malachi opportunity remaining. If you look, uh, um, Ross is actually looking at the pre-orders right now, um, and it's flying out the door. So please don't hesitate. If you're watching right now and you've got the same obsession that so many of us do with this beautiful gemstone, I get it. I totally get it. Um, it's so difficult to get hold of, though. Have you noticed how Malachi is in a showcase? Then it's gone. Um, we don't ha it's not one of those reoccurring stones on the shows. Um, and by the way, our showcase today is literally five strands. That's it. That's all we could get hold of as well. It, it was a bit of a, um, it became a bit of a running joke when we were over in Tucson last year and the team were about to go again this year in a few days. Um, if, if they lost me, they're like, where's Al? Where's Al? You've got to remember I'm in a city in the middle of the desert, I suppose, you know, so try to keep together. Hey, where's Al? Find the Malachite and you'll find we'll Al. I was them. always yeah. hovering around the Malachite. <laughs> it is, it's just, it's just fascinating, this gemstone. Um, well done. And I know you, I can clearly see you love it as much as I do. Dawn, Yvette, Gabrielle, Julie, Alan, Joy, Tracy, Sue, Debbie, Claire, Angela, Valerie, Valerie, Patricia, April, new customers, Mervat, Yorkshire, well done. <gasps> I'm so excited for this next strand. I had 90. Oh, how many? Okay, I thought, I thought, okay, that's all right. 39 have gone on pre-order though. I was expecting you to say it's almost sold out. I don't think it'll take long to. Seriously. Look at how perfect they're this so is. Huge, aren't they? Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? That is beautiful. Look at the quality. Those distinctive, beautiful bands, those nodules those amazing patterns that occur within this fascinating stone. Uh, it's, it's the, I, I, this will sell out, I think, in probably a matter of minutes. The quality is impeccable, isn't it? And you know, I was saying a few moments ago um, about that, that clover design, but where it was just literally made up of, of, of hearts. You could do that. Yeah, absolutely stunning, isn't it? You could do that. You don't need to have the bezel, do you? You can set create that, it set yourself. That as a clover, couldn't you? Yeah. The quality of this strand, I just think, is, is stunning. Absolutely amazing quality because you can really see the distinctions between those bands. And that's what this gemstone, why we're so besotted with it, is because you have those wonderful layers. You know, we showcase that. There are 90 chances available. 39 have already gone on your pre-order. The auction is open. Oh, they are, if I hold it alongside one another, um, the same size. So you could literally, if you wanted to, th if you think about earrings, for example, um, on opposites, if does that make sense? So they graduate together. Um, we had just under 100. They're flying out the door. Everybody loves hearts, don't they? But Malachite hearts. Remember, this is a gemstone that historically people believed protects you from evil. Um, yeah, so it's symbolic of rebirth. Absolutely, yeah. It's got. I mean, it's got. It's got a lot of sort of connotations, hasn't it? So luck being the main one. Yeah. I mean, fertility and new life and just rebirth, all sorts of things like that. So, it's got everything you kind of want for the future. Absolutely. Like, it's an aspirational kind of gemstone, isn't it? Absolutely, and it makes sense that that, that Van Cleef would choose it. Yes. It does make complete sense. It's like their choice of, uh, of turquoise. It makes sense. I love turquoise as well. Yeah, yeah. but they're got, two very, very, very taste, I don't they? know, positive, uh, you know, historically positively considered gemstones. We're under £100, but I can tell you I've already got two rows of names. It is very popular. I, I, we are on strand two of the five. We're going to do what? Are we? Should I just say it in one? <laughs> Let's just say it fast. I think this will sell out in a heartbeat. Everybody loves hearts, don't they? Yeah. In a heartbeat, no uh -huh. pun intended. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're going to match the price of the clovers. 
matching the price of the closers. We have got a smaller quantity. Crazy. I guess, I don't know, commercially, people do gravitate towards heart as well because of the meaning, the emotion, yes. uh, the emotions and the sentiments that are attached to your hearts. Um, I don't know, it's hard to say because definitely clovers are as well. You could use the two together, couldn't you? Well, yeah. Why not? Yeah. They're dr through drilled, so if you wanted to maybe substitute one of your four-leaf clovers and put a heart in Hearts there instead, instead and alternate, how lovely would that be? I've said it out loud, we're going to match the price of the clovers. You've got Valentine's Day not that long ago. Uh, long ago, long way, two rather. Days, yeah. uh, long, what's that, a few weeks? Two yeah. weeks. There you go. So by the time you get this home, you can be making your piece of jewellery to gift on Valentine's Day. And I don't think it should just be our partners, our spouses, that we gift. You do Valentine's um, for everyone. I do, mm. definitely. Mm, nice. Day of love, not just, you know, my, not just my husband. You know, the girls will get a little treat yeah. and everything. And my family and my friends will get a little treat. Only something small. That's something nice, very, though, very small. It? I mean, you could literally give them a Malachi on a sterling silver chain. It's not going to break the bank, especially as we're not stopping at £99. <laughs> so there it is you know can you imagine just uh, again this is congo malachite that is why is that that is why it's as beautiful as it is you can see the quality that comes from this location of source um how many have you got in a strand two four six eight yeah ten 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 individual you know even if you just did, did little rap loops and they turned into malachite charms well i mean you've got pairs really haven't you so it's, it's graduated earrings or it's individual yeah. earrings yeah. Or you could have like little cufflinks even. Please be Quite careful cute. though, because I showed, I've shown you in the past, there was a, um, a heart, it was actually a heart pendant, and it was saying Malachite heart. And immediately I was like, that's not Malachite. That was definitely not Malachite. It was another gemstone that was literally painted and it looked hideous, but they were selling it as Malachite, which, I, which is obviously very unfair. This is a genuine certified natural Malachite opportunity. Now, this I've got three strands to bring you. I've got 33 remaining within our vault right now. Time is ticking away. And I want to be able to bring you every single one of these. These strands are absolutely beautiful. Plus, I would like to be able to go back to Wayne, who has sourced these and done an amazing job at sourcing them because it's so difficult to get hold of right now, and say, Wayne, it was an entire sellout showcase. Maybe you can get some more. You know, are you lucky enough to have Malachi in your, in your stash already? If that means taking the price a little bit lower, going as lit, down to the final penny, then we will do that. It's no good it being in our vault. We want to be seeing the jewellery that you're creating. We will go lower, but it has to be a sellout for that. Ten beautifully carved, genuine, natural Congo Malachite hearts. That's crazy, because we're, we're, we're at, what, three quid each, aren't we? Yeah, three ninety-nine each. That seems crazy. For a carved Malachite. <laughs> three ninety-nine. But we're going even lower. Definitely mega value, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. It's not 23 grand, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> and I know there's gold, and I know it's Van Cleef and Arpels and all that, but 26,000 pounds. Oh, wow. That's got to be one of the best prices we've done on Malachite, I have to say. Because it's one of those gemstones that you, yeah, you, we expect Malachite to be more expensive, don't yeah. we? Yeah, It's definitely. like Sharite. We expect Sharite to be more expensive. Plus this, uh, this quality. Um, we expect, I don't know, diamonds, sapphires, rubies, emeralds, jadeite. We've got that perceived value of yes. those gemstones. Yeah. Malachi, I absolutely believe, kind of slots itself into um, that kind of price bracket, yeah. I suppose. Here we are, not locking into that price bracket, bringing it to you at an affordable £29.99 for beautifully carved, for, for, for top grade. And the reality is, we wouldn't carve hearts into lesser quality. No. Um, because, yeah, what's the point? There's well, no it, point. It, it probably wouldn't hold the, the carving either, would exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. 
Exactly. Make sure you check these out again. Lots of multi buyers. Well done, everybody. Helen, you've got yours. Sue in Somerset. Tina multi buying. Julie Tracy multi buying. Marion Carol multi buying. Gabrielle multi buying. Vivian Lorraine Simone Susan Michelle Jackie Westman and Tracy Helen Maker Maker Linda Kent. It's super super busy today. Um, yeah, the global fever of malachite. Absolutely <laughs> love it. I love it. It's beautiful. It complements so many different stones out there uh, um fyi by the way it, yeah. this is coming up in um in hannah's 12 o'clock kit it's a beautiful strand of pearls and is that what i think it is do you know what? i'm not sure I... anyway it, uh, yeah I don't well, want to say in case I'm wrong. <laughs> no, but how lovely would this go? It would look fabulous, wouldn't it? With with these components that are coming up with my, uh, with Hannah's masterclass. How beautiful would they be? They're coming up in the next hour. Keep on dialing through everyone. Cuz let's do now the cushions. Ah. Oh. 3 of 5 strands still remaining. Malachite forms in lots of different ways as well. It's not just all in stalactites like, say, a rhodochrosite would be. It forms um, on the side of uh, sort of uh, uh, caves. It obviously can be under, under the ground and it can form those amazing, very impressive stalactites. But ideally what you're looking for, look at that, wow, are these beautiful progressions. It's almost like pages within a book in this amazing natural stone. Look at that all natural they could be cabochons it could be individual cabochons or you could be using them in your beaded necklaces this is 70 carats of your gentle curved pillows again remember the words that we said at the beginning of that presentation this amazing gemstone has this distinctive beauty uh, highly distinctive with variegating banding and rich emerald green colour. Concentrically banded malachite known as peacock's eye uh, is especially sought after. So we are talking about this. Can you see how you've got those sort of circular like shapes? And these would have been part of those sort of circular like shapes. That's what I have on the back of my hand right now. Just beautiful, beautiful quality. This is the only rectangular shape. I'm going to give you a quick, uh, a quick sort of flash, if you like, of the other shapes of malachite. That one as well. Yeah, me yeah. too. It's amazing, isn't it? Um, so I've got this one still to come, and I've got those beautiful cubes. These are the three. That's it. That's it. We'll do the cubes next, and then we'll finish on um, your drop light shapes. We're opening up the auction at 49.99, but really we should be closing there because we uh, did what we did on the last auction. It's had like a little knock-on effect. It doesn't have to have a knock-on effect, you know. At the end of the day, just if I go if I go into a jeweler's and say, "Oh, how much is that diamond ring right there?" and they say, "I don't know, it's X amount." And I go, "How much is that one?" Oh, because I've told you that one's X amount, you can have that one for X amount. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't have to be that no, way. No. It doesn't have to be that way. But we are going to go lower, especially when there's a big carrot weight, which is what we're looking at right now. Yeah. Jumped up in carrot weight. Think, think about maybe your bezel strips. I was going to say may, maybe gallery wire or something like oh, that. Lovely. So really, really make a sort of a feature of just one of them as a as a pendant or as a central part of a of like a, a multi strand like pearl lovely. necklace, and then one of those that's been em embellished somehow, and then like maybe a tassel as well. I don't know. Just, well, I mean, there's there's so many options, but I think you really do need to make that stone the feature. Totally, a bit like gorgeous. Uh, As was it Ashley Clark? One single rectangular piece. Yes. On a chain. On a chain. Yeah. Ninety-eight pounds. There. Good memory. Lucy Williams Look square malachite necklace. Beautiful. Stunning. It's celebrating the gemstone. It is. And I'm not criticising that price point. It's actually no. really good. It's, it's, it's actually good. a really good deal. Um, Ninety-eight pounds. But it's one single slice of malachite, yep. and I can't gauge the size of it either. We've just dropped this down to £24.99. pence. Malachi, it's probably like a semi-annual gemstone that we'll be able to bring to you, and that's probably me being entirely complacent. We'll, we'll be lucky if we see another malachite showcase 
We'll be lucky if we get one, another one in this year. We'll be very, very, very lucky. It's, we have more. The reality is we've got more grandidurite than we have malachite. Mm -hmm. We've probably got more paraba than we have malachite. We've got more alexandrite than we have malachite. Um, that's the reality. We rarely ever get hold of it. And it's not because... It's a very shallow forming gemstone, uh, much like turquoise. But it, it, it's not because it's mined out. It's not mined out. Little mines pop up every so often. It changes the history of it because it is so shallow forming. But it's because of the demand for this amazing gemstone, as I said, uh, a demand from, from all the design houses out there. Um, $24.99, that's what we're up against. That's what our team are embarking on doing when they go over to the likes of Tucson. And, um, and it's in a few days, I think. I think they go in a few days. Very, very, very soon. You know, they'll try and buy Malachite when they're over in Tucson. And I can remember someone actually saying to me on the when I came back last year, saying, you know, um, really what you couldn't get... It was, well, I think it was a jet conversation, but it also carried on with the Malachite conversation, what you couldn't buy any. So look, there was Malachite there. There wasn't any jet, by the way. There generally wasn't any jet. There was Malachite there, but not in strands. I could only buy the carvings. Yeah. And why do you think it wasn't available in strands? Because of pieces like that, they'll go to the big jewellers. That's what. Yeah, the big, yeah, big house, isn't it? Like names will take it. Oh. Penultimate strand. I want this one. You've had your eye on this one. I Hannah. want this one. <laughs> I hope you've got your phone then, Hannah. Mm. <laughs> Can you imagine? Never mind, the, never mind Van Cleef. Imagine this with the sections of chain. In yeah, gorgeous. <laughs> oh. But look at this quality. Graduated cubes. I believe, Hannah, this is probably going to be one of the fastest selling. Do you think so? It's just so cool, isn't it? I really, really like cubes like that. Modern. It's, it's, it's taking this gemstone steeped in history that has been mined for 5,000 years um, and giving it that wonderful kind of modern twist. Look at that. Again, that peacock side. Let's focus on this yeah, there. You can see a, a little tiny peacock side just there. All those beautiful concentric bands. Look at this one here. They call that flowering as well, where you get that lovely um, sort of, yeah, almost like, like, like well, petals, like the, I suppose. These retro designs that sort exactly. of based on it, aren't they? Exactly. Yeah. What was it, that, that eccentric? What did it say? It had an eccentric personality. Yes. Oh. I love that paragraph, that's all, those words, I think just rung so true and aptly when it comes to this gemstone. There we go. Um, adorned, uh, yeah, Outlander. adorned with an allure of mystery, malachite is a hypnotising stone, like a mesmerising beauty. It puts you under a spell the moment you lay eyes on it. In a world of stones, malachite is the outlandish eccentric. Yeah. I love it. Fabulous. And it's so perfectly describing. Even if we were to stop here at £99, the biggest carrot weight of the showcase, your penultimate malachite. We should, pardon? Absolutely, we should match the price of the clovers, yeah. I'd be putting it with that kit. Nice. That I'd switch out the silver spaces that it's on and then just go with the black and the gold and, the, and then the malachite. You did as say well. that, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I, I think that would look fabulous. Really nice. Do you know what we're going to do? Whoa, look. We're actually going to match the lowest price point of the Malachite showcase. Yeah, it shouldn't happen. It's the biggest carrot weight on this strand. I, I, I'm going to say it as it is. It's probably easier to cut a cube than it is actually maybe a heart. In fact, it definitely is. Or, or, or a clover. Or maybe these wonderful, the finale strand. It is probably easier because you've kind of basically got flat sides that you can do literally direct on your diamond cutting wheel. However, it's a massive carrot weight, so you've still got to pay for that carrot weight itself. We are going to match the lowest price point of the showcase on the highest price point of this Malachite strand. Straight away, uh, there's a reaction on the web and on the phone lines. Well, the Nile of White snapping up four. Kathleen, Channel Isles, you've got yours. Um, make use of this time wisely. You've got, what, 12 seconds before we draw. It's already amazing at 39 99 fabulous. I had a yeah. conversation with Wayne only yesterday. We, uh, we literally have like a... Um, we have a meeting every week um, where we discuss things like performance. Um, <laughs> and he talks about sort of gemstones and whatnot that you know that, that, that we can bring or ideas and all those ide uh, things. And he actually said to me, you know, L, 
turquoise it was 150 pounds how often do i say that to you um that's just amazing buying and also i think that us being a little bit ruthless with that price point please know that malachi is not 24 pounds 99 outside these four walls it has a high price point yeah, and does. we always knew that so that's why i quite passionately sort of disagree when people say oh, the prices are going up at jewelry maker quite the opposite they're going then completely the other way we bring you a bigger spectrum of gemstones yeah. now yeah but malachite would have been probably 30 40 50 pounds yeah absolutely i mean it's one of those things isn't it like the only reason we can do the the, the deals that we do is because of the the quantity that we buy yeah. Um, and then the only reason we can buy the quantity is because of the relationships that we've got with the, the, the suppliers. No, don't. You know? Yes. Yes, oh Hannah. My God, yes. Don't, Ross. I don't think doing? we need to. No. Oh. No. It just dawned on me that conversation with Wayne last yesterday after the show. <laughs> so, you know, Al, we used to do gemstones. I know, I know. Listen. I know that. We're all about giving the best possible deals, but he's basically saying we're making his job really hard. It's the biggest carrot weight of the show. Who wants this? I do. <laughs> you better have your phone handy. <laughs> We're going to take it under £20. Oh Close out deal. God. That's it, though. We, oh, yeah, completely spontaneous, completely unplanned. Can we even buy it for that, though, Ross? Because, you, you know, do you reckon I can pop along and get Burmese Ruby for 20 quid? I mean, this is, and I'm not making the comparisons with the gemstones, but this is the best location in the world, considered to be the best location in the world. Malachite nuggets, maybe, 20 quid. Not malachite cubes. The biggest carrot weight. 19 99 It is incredible mm. value. Incredible value. Um, I, I, I don't know, knot it with your pills. I haven't moved that strand, have I? Um, amazing with Hannah's kits coming up in the, nine, uh, in the 12 o'clock hour, sorry. How beautiful alongside that, in that wraparound design. I think that would be absolutely yeah. amazing as well. It's just simple sterling silver editions. There is a slight queue on the phone lines, but it is so worth the wait. That has to be one of the best prices that we've ever done in this beautiful gemstone. Um, so significant in its appearance that you, you only have to see it once and you will remember. Yeah. It's true. It's so, so, so true. And the obsession is not just now. The obsession dates back 5,000 years. It's fields of malachite. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously an enduring thing, isn't it? It's, it's lasted for hundreds of lifetimes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. The fact that, you know, that ancient Egyptians considered that in your afterlife, you'd be graced with fields of this very gemstone. How amazing is that? They didn't choose any other. They spoke about fields of malachite. These green. It, it is that beautiful green. Mm. Um, totally natural from the Congo, which is that premium location of source. These will sell out. Well done, right? Are you ready for a finale? Okay. Let's do a little bit of warming up. Get yourself ready if you need to. If you need to go get a phone, if you need to get your laptop or your tablet or you need to, whatever you need to do to position yourself so that you won't miss out on this opportunity, do it now. Um, we don't often see malachite, firstly. We definitely, definitely, definitely don't see malachite. And I can tell you as well, the fact that we haven't got jewellery in this strand speaks volumes to me because... It was exclusive, yeah. so we're not going to then try not to use break too much up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, how often do you see malachite in drops? Just never. Never. When we're not going to we're not going to mess around on this one. We are literally going to do it in one price drop. I love this strand. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Do you call them kites? Oh, there's 40 in the world. Oh, my gosh. They are quite kite-like. Stay with that, make some earrings. Don't yes, they? Hannah, yeah. they'd be beautiful with those. <laughs> they'd be absolutely amazing. They'd look fab. Wouldn't they? I, on the bottom of tassels. I thought so. By the way, do you know, you know yeah, this? Yeah, I, I didn't want to say because I wasn't sure if it was that or emerald. So. Um, but they look... Perfect, don't they? That's grand, did you right? So can you imagine that as a sweet? Uh, uh, they are faceted, grand, did you right? Yeah, it is. It is crazy. 
Faceted grandi dry, genuine pearls. Can you imagine it alongside those beautiful, beautiful, Absolutely stunning, um, fancy shapes? I don't know, kites, whichever yeah, way you want to describe kite -shaped, it. Aren't they? These are coming up in the twelve o'clock hour, by the way. So you haven't got too long to wait for those. There was only forty available opportunities. Um, but I, I don't know what it is about this strand. I think because of the shape, it, it, it allows you, perhaps because it's slightly more elongated, it really allows you to appreciate those distinctive bands. We're gonna. Oh, yeah, you did say that, Ross. Do it in one price class. <laughs> 19.99. We haven't messed around purely Crazy. because of the quantity. Gone straight down to it. Linda, Kathy, Yvette, hello to you. Ayrshire, Manchester, uh, Simon, Claire, Kathleen, another Linda, Sue, Alan, you've got yours as well. We only had 40. Oh, so Anne all, there. Is it, where's it? Oh, there's yeah. a, Anne. You've got to be quick then, lovely. You know this. You know this. And by the way, I will return that pearl necklace to you um, at the end of the show. <laughs> um, just, so you, just so you know um, but be quick checking out everybody this is there's only 40 available opportunities Wiltshire Renfusha Linda snapped up too well done Devon snapped up too well done uh, I can't keep up I literally can't keep up every time I say her name it literally jumps down the core screen well over half the stock has gone as well um, just before we dive into a break that's it by the way You've got cabochons, have you? Oh, they, they're gorgeous. That's perfect additions. Are we doing it now? Let's do it. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to borrow this white piece of paper for a second. Thank you, Dan. Which one? The rounds first and then the ovals. Oh, my goodness me. Does it, th that is perfection right there. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, they're so lustrous. I'm just going to do that a second. Oops, Ooh. hang on. <laughs> really difficult to hold rounds like this. There we are. Yeah. Oh my goodness me. We're gonna match for a trio of natural Congo Malachite. In terms of the sizes, you've got seven, 10 and 16 carats. Um, you've got 12, 14 and 16 millimeters. So if you do your calibrations, um, oh my God. Do, do you know what I'm thinking now? Do you remember cast that came in the other yes. day? Can you imagine creating your own mount? And then setting with that. your car. I loved those guys. I thought they were absolutely awesome. <laughs> um, and then create it to secure your, she, she, she was beautiful. Um, create it <laughs> to put your Malachite inside. How awesome would that be? But again, in terms of the quality, I can't give you anything that's better than what's on your screens right now. This is it. This is as good as it gets. It's fab, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. And uh, you, you could do like, well, I mean, you could, each one could be a ring, couldn't they? Or, or yeah. they could be a pendant or you could be a graduated pendant. You know, this with is three, a, three different drops. This is a bigger carrot weight than that Misoma necklace that we were looking at yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. And I genuinely, if I was to critique this and to try and find an element where, of, of improvement, there isn't any. The quality of this Malachite is equal to that of Masuma, is equal to those tulips, and we've taken it under... When did you do that? Under £10! <laughs> for three of them as well. How many do we have, oh. Ross? Really? Um, there's 80 available opportunities. I'm going to literally bring you back-to-back close-out Malachite deals. Why? I don't know. Um, do, do, do gems do malachite showcases very often? I don't think they do, do they? We never did when I was on there. Very rare to actually uh, uh, to see malachite. I love it. I, I know they do use it, but not a huge amount is my actual point. Close out deal opportunities. Again, if you were to ask my uh, opinion, say, Elle, is there anything that could be improved? You know, is it maybe the luster that's lacking? No. Nope. Um, what about the, uh, sort of the layers that you see within your malachites? Um, are they, oops, here we go, um, are they slightly lesser grade? No, it's perfect. It literally is perfect, and you'll agree with me when you get those home. Let's do another closeout deal. This is all about the ovals. Come on, you don't want to go back in the box, do you? And do you know what I'm going to do, Hannah? Go on. Can I borrow your overhead? Yeah. Just because then, if you look at it from a bird's eye view... Like that. Get rid of... Does that work? Can you get up close? Get rid of that bit. Look it was a bit that. dark. Perfect. You can't. Yeah, you can. You can see, can't you? Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. This two pound fifty per malachite. Seems crazy. They're so lustrous, aren't they? Really, it's like 
you know, the, you know how um, good jade looks like it's wet. Yeah. It, like this is similar. Yeah. It's amazing. It is, yeah. L lesser quality, lesser. If it hadn't been carved and polished to, um, and it, of course it wasn't the quality of the gemstone as well. Then it, yeah, it wouldn't have yeah. that sort of yeah. metal like luster as well. Two pound fifty each. I generally don't know anywhere else that can offer you Congo malachite at that kind of price tag. You know, the sizes you've got 5, 10, 12, and 17 carats. Um, I'll bring it over here as well, just so you can see it under different light yeah. sources as well. You've got, in terms of sizes, 14 by 10, 16 by 12, 18 by 13, and uh, 20 by 15 as well. I'm obviously not going to be able to hold them. Oh, I'll try. Let's try. Come on, have a go. It's just, they, they're, they're, they're naughty little gemstones, and they keep sort of falling off my hands or out of the tweezers. Look at that amazing quality though. You get the general gist. You are getting four impeccable malachites at closeout deals. Well done, everybody. Again, think back to yesterday's show with lovely Claire, where she had the bezel string yeah. or your gallery wire, etc. cetera. Um, we've still got loads to bring. You've got the most awesome, awesome uh, um, masterclass with our lovely Hannah, beautiful jewelry as always. Um, we've also got talking about pinnacle locations in the world of of Peridot, it's Kashmir. And I have a strand of Kashmir Peridot coming up in a few moments' time. Plus, we have the most incredible um, piano black, imperial black jadeite as well. So don't go anywhere. Hannah and I will turn after this. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hi guys, join me for an action-packed weekend. Um, this January we have made a statement that we are going to make this huge. We're bringing all of the new collections, all of the new gemstones, which is really going to set our stall out, set the benchmark high, uh, something for us to really chase into the new year. So on Friday I'm going to be bringing you a brand new collection of what many refer to as the rarest jade on the planet. We are of course talking about red jade. I uh, and this might be the last time you ever get a chance to own this material, Type A. Um, going forward, we're in talks to bring you the Type C dyed material, but this very limited opportunity is for those collectors that want to add that natural, ultra-rare colour to their collection. And then on Saturday, we are bringing you one of my favourite gemstones. We are bringing you what I call Quad A Grade Mausitsit, uh, another incredible gemstone endemic to Myanmar. Um, this is you know, part jadeite in many respects, wonderful striations of colour, incredible mottling, and as we know with what's happening with the jadeite mines, the price on this has skyrocketed and we're very fortunate to have already got this deal over the line before that news broke. Um, so you know, join us for that incredible showcase to own yourself something incredibly rare, a true Burmese treasure. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. It's a new year, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for those New Year resolutions. And it's the perfect time to start a new hobby. Jewellery Maker, Sewing Street and Hobby Maker are here whether you're starting something new or advancing your skills on a current hobby. With all the tools you need to start as well as expert demonstrations from our great guests. Are you starting a new hobby this January? 
Share your new makes with us by tagging jewellery maker, hobby maker or sewing street using the hashtag New Year New Hobby. And watch us every day from 8am to 1pm on Jewellery Maker. On Hobby Maker, 6 to 8am and 1 to 6pm. And 8am to 1pm on Sewing Street. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, lovely jewelry makers. How are you all on this Thursday morning? Oh, we have got a. It's been such a lovely morning so far. We've had so many lovely things, haven't we? Really lovely. Hands up, who's shopping? <laughs> yeah, I know. And there's still so much more coming up. Your masterclass. These amazing bejeweled drop, very Suru inspired components with the most beautiful strand of tourmaline that amazing grand digerite and pearl uh strand with those elements oh there he is i thought i'd lost one then um Not and the then those gorgeous clip-on earrings I mean, yeah for how long have you been asking us to do clip-on earrings we've got them in the 12 o'clock hour but coming up between now and then we've still got loads there they are there's a the clip-on earrings and that doesn't matter if you've got your ears pierced i've got my ears pierced but i still yeah, can wear clip-on earrings you can still wear clip-ons yeah What's that? That's, those are Amazonites. So those little pear. And that's kyanite at the yeah, top. I'm, I'm ever so sorry, but I was, I was not expecting you to say that they were a gemstone. Oh. oh I well. thought that it was like an element that you then. No, no, so like it's an encrusted um, gemstone. So, so there's gemstones with, with other things around them. Oh, <laughs> they're those earrings are gorgeous, Hannah. Thanks. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Coming up in the next hour. What are the other stones then? I assume kyanite. Yeah, and then and, and then I've got seed beads around the the base, and then I think it's got rhinestones on the on edges. the on the edges. Yeah. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely beautiful. I love those. They're fab, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, absolutely love those. Um, okay, so there's still loads to bring you. Also, let me just give you a little sneaky peek um, for on your amazing black jade that's coming up within this hour. This is light gold dust, quite literally. Uh, um, whenever we bring black jade to screens, it literally flies out the door. And um, we've been talking about the most prestigious and most considered or sought after areas of varieties of gemstones. Um, this is Kashmir Peridot. And I have a little story that I can share with you about Kashmir Peridot. I can only, always only ever sort of share my own personal experiences. Um, I, I'll save that for when we actually bring that yeah. uh, that strand to air. But we really ever get it. You know, it's always a location that we wanted to get hold of, Kashmir Peridot. But um, it's only over the past couple of years that we've actually been able to acquire any. So these are coming up within this hour. Not too long to wait for those. Um, I do promise. Are we able to pre-order on these though, Ross? These. Pardon, I can't hear you. Starting with the cashmere, are we able to pre-order on? Yes, gonna be able to pre-order on these. Now, so 
Cashmere Peridot. Peridot is uh, firstly a fascinating gemstone. It's actually, we say zircon is the oldest gem in the world, um, which it is of our planet, 4.4 billion years. But Peridot has actually been discovered to, um, and found uh, in remnants of our solar system. So this is actually the oldest gemstone in the solar system. That's How cool, cool yeah. is that? Very cool. So cool. So even before our planet, this technically is older than, uh, than that of your Peridot. Sorry, I've got an itchy nose. Um, anyway, but... Most, many gemstones, well, they form at different depths, don't they? Peridot um, is, is a gemstone that forms at some of the greatest depths and it actually forces its way up through what we call uh, kimberlite pipes. That's incredible, absolutely incredible. Sorry, it's interrupted me mid-conversation. Look at that. Oh my goodness me, that's what you're going to get the chance to own. Um, so this has literally travelled over 50 miles to the Earth's surface from within the hot bit of our 50 planet. Fifty miles. Fifty miles. That's quite something, isn't so it? So you know when we were talking about Tanzanite and um, I always struggle to pronounce it, what's it called? The Quadlifa, is it? The Tanzanite, I can't say it. The tallest building in the world? Burj, Burj, Burj Khalifa, sorry, thank you. Um, yeah, so we were talking about that distance. Yes. Which is like thousands of metres. This is 50 miles, My just gosh. to put that into perspective. Miles. Miles yes. into the Earth's, uh, into the Earth's uh, sort of mantle itself. So think, imagine all the pressures, the, uh, uh, the intensities, the heat that this gemstone has actually physically withstood. Anyway, so it, forms, it, it forces its way to the, towards the crust through what we call kimberlite pipes. And that can be found in lots of different places, uh, locations around the world. You can get peridot in China. You can get peridot um, in, in uh, Pakistan. You can get peridot in, uh, in Kashmir. But Kashmir is, is, uh, is thought of to be the best. Here we go. We can actually talk about the, the distances. And this photograph is kind of, you go, oh, it's not that far below the Earth's crust. No, it is. It's 55 miles. <laughs> um, diamonds and peridot, uh, peridot literally um, the magma and the molten and the crust of the, uh, towards the core. Um, if you look at the difference, uh, difference between the malachite and the opal, for example, um, you can it's see, mad, you isn't get it? it yeah, yeah it, it, you get some perspective so here as well. Um, and that's not really an accurate drawing because Tanzanite is not quite towards that far towards the Earth's mantle. Um, anyway, so I, I slightly digress. But a friend of mine some time ago actually um, approached me about his wife who was turning 50 and she sa he said, I want to get her, um, I want to get her a, a ring and um, Peridot is her birthstone, as an August birthstone. Uh, what location would you suggest? And also, can you get hold of a stone for her? And I said, yes, absolutely. Definitely Kashmir. Um, so spoke to Jake. Jake was involved in this as well, and we sourced the most amazing, amazing Kashmir peridot. One single stone. He designed a piece of jewellery. Um, it got it got made over with our team over in India. I know that you've done this as well, Hannah, for some of your friends too. Yeah. Um, in different gemstones. Um, and it came back, and it turned up, and it was oh my goodness, jaw droppingly beautiful. Well, anyway, I, I'm going to tell you the price that we sourced for him with i'm not going to say because obviously it's it's private but um the price that we sourced for him was unbelievable literally i'm talking hundreds of pounds for yeah. this stone um when it was valued a cashmere peridot just a couple of little melee diamonds on the side they were more baguette tapered on the yeah. side in platinum and it was a big ring granted it was valued at over eight thousand pounds cashmere peridot is astonishingly expensive ordinarily Ordinarily. This star by opportunity is one that I know we probably, um, and I'm, I'm, I can't hear what's going on in the vault at the moment because my talk back's just cut out, okay. but I'm going to guess we haven't got any more of. Can you confirm, yes or no? Is there Can any we, more in the vault? Is there any more Kashmir Peridot available in the vault? Four strands that are in the vault, we might play them if we're able to. Okay. There's four strands. That's it. In the whole vault. So that's the whole company, not oh. just us. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Four. That's it. Yeah. Why Kashmir Peridot? Why is this location um, considered to be the best? It's because, do you notice the difference in the colour of the green? It's stunning, isn't it? Peridot is completely yeah. natural. You can get... 
uh, peridot, which is, has more of a yellowish tone, and you can have peridot, which is a little bit more brownish. What you are looking for, if you think about your spring and summer months when you cut your grass and you have, you literally reveal the little fresh shoots. The new shoots. The new yeah. shoots at the bottom. That's, you know, the really vibrant, green, young, fresh shoots of grass. That's what you're looking for in terms of colour saturation with this gemstone. Not too dark, not murky, not yellowish either. You want it to be the perfect chartreuse, fresh cut grass green. And that is the quality that you can expect from Kashmir. The gem of the sun, uh, a bit of history on this gemstone. Um, uh, Peridot is a stone that has a rich history, described by ancient Egyptians as the gem of the sun and thought to protect the wearer from harm and evil. So how perfect nice. would that be with the yeah. Amalekite as well? Uh, the crystal was coveted by many. Folklore indicates the ancient Egyptians mined the precious green stone um, from snake-infested islands located within the Red Sea. Uh, the island was known as Topazios, uh, but is now more likely to be recognized as St. John's. It seems that Egyptians had uh, a penchant for the yellow green stone uh, and some historians believe the stash of emeralds held by Cleopatra weren't emeralds at all but peridot themselves. It's understandable to, uh, to, 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 to recognize the obsession. I agree with you. I agree with you. Ross has just said that's some of the best I've ever, ever seen. It's just glowing, isn't it? And that's completely natural. Normally when we see a gemstone which has got this, in, I don't know, this almost, you know, like Swiss blue topaz, for example, it's got this neon uh, yes. presence about it. You would Vibacity. assume, <laughs> totally, yeah. perfect. You would assume it had been treated in some way, shape or form. No, no treatment whatsoever. No treatment whatsoever. I'm looking at jewelry edges. The vibrant green hues of peridots are making a comeback, I should say, and rightfully so. I mean, if you want a gemstone to be noticed from distances away, look no further than, than, than your cashmere peridot. August has several birthstone, but the most well-known is Peridot. This beautiful green gemstone comes in a range of hues from yellow green to deep green and lends itself to classic uh, stone-focused jewellery, as well as accents to other stone uh, uh, stones and colours. Today's designers feature Peridot in gorgeous pieces, ranging from statement necklaces to nature-inspired rings. Scroll down for the most beautiful Peridot uh, birthstone jewellery. And you can see here on the Forbes, that's one big, beautiful, Look at the colour, absorb that lovely colour. Photographed within Forbes magazine itself. Do you notice it's that fresh shoot of grass green colour and it's all completely natural. To get cashmere peridot at anywhere near a double figure price tag is astonishing. We are under 50 pounds. We're gonna do it in two price crashes. Two. So you're going lower than 49.99? Oh my gosh. That concerns me when Ross says much lower. 30 okay. carats of amazing <laughs> eye clean <laughs> certified cashmere. I can't. <gasps> £19.99. And it was a friend of mine that literally bought this location one solitaire. Beautiful stone. Amazing, amazing stone. And it had just a couple of baguette diamonds on the shoulder. He chose platinum because there were engagement rings in platinum as well. And it was valued over £8,000. One single stone. It wasn't a 30 carat solitaire, of course. Um, but it's cashmere. That's the location that, we, uh, that, 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 that I recommended because of this colour, this beautiful intensity of colour. Claire, Christine, Kath, Laurel, uh, Lynn, Megan, Sue, Maker, new customers, Patricia, Sonia, uh, Maker, Saima, Hello to Janice, Eileen, Mandy, Bernard, Jan, Megan, you're all there. A lot of multi buyers there. It's just beautiful. And we don't see, how often do we see Peridot as well? We don't see Not a lot often, of Peridot. No. Just generally, but when we do, we bring you the best location of source. At under £20, we only have 30 opportunities. This may well be a sellout, Ross, on screen. It is, it's, it, it's rapidly approaching that. There's a bit of a queue on the phone lines. Jeannie's just got four. Susan's just got two. Sue's just got two. Uh, Kim's just got two. Mandy's just got two. 
Um, I can't remember the last time I did a Peridot showcase. L never mind Cashmere. You know, if we see Cashmere Peridot, it does tend to be in your single, maybe Lurique pieces, I would say, like one of a kind. Yes, yeah. It, we don't get it in a showcase. Well, we've well, got no. four strands. In the whole business. In the whole, yeah, in the whole vault. So that's, yeah, it just speaks volumes, doesn't it? And also, why why only four strands? Look, because it's not run out. Cashmere Peridot hasn't run out. But I'll tell you why. They, w they won't want to put it on a strand. Because by drilling through the centre, they're cutting out carrot weight, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Um, and hence, potential profit. £19.99 pence only. Well over half the stock's gone. I can see you all there. There's less than 20 remaining. Tracy, I promise you, you will be answered. Maya, Megan, hello to you. Merseyside, Hilma, Patricia, Erica in USA. Uh, Marion, Lincolnshire, Fiona, Sonia, Lee, Devon, Tracy, Gloria, Bernadette, Jan. I can't keep up with you all. Make sure you do check out those baskets though we're going to bring you the cashmere rondelles next <laughs> so i'm just looking at that necklace and i know you could almost have i'm not saying they're exactly the same cut obviously but you could use maybe one of these as a pendant and you could almost use the rondelles to replicate that yes sort of the double bejeweled, the double bejeweled oh. sort of um collar almost if you imagine treasure it's just like my you know my girls actually reminded me of this the other day when we talk about gemstones or, or we look at gemstones. That's so beautiful. <laughs> and I actually, it is unbelievable, this. Mm -hmm. And you actually say to them, oh, I, I, like I test Willow, what's that? What gemstone's that? And she's pretty good, to be fair. And literally, Tiggy, who's two, went, treasure. Treasure. Oh. It's so cute, but it's so true, isn't it? Out of the mouths of babes, literally, look at this colour. It is treasure. It is beautiful. It really is. From the core, pretty much, almost the core of our planet, this gemstone is formed. So cool. The fact that even before it reaches the surface, it has seen over 50 miles of our planet. Yeah, that's bonkers. Areas isn't it, that you think about will that. never know about. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Have you ever seen such incredible colour in a natural stone? They don't class Peridot as an evening gem. I think they should. Because if you see this gem, if, if you are lucky enough to have this and maybe use it in a, I don't know, slider bracelet, whatever you, whatever you choose. In between pearls is beautiful as well when it comes to cashmere. Um, you'll notice it from distances away and you see it in candlelight, it glows as much as it does in sunlight. You cannot inhibit this gemstone. It is always, well, out there showing off in its wonderful natural beauty. 30 carats, this is strand two of the four that the jewelry maker actually own. I don't know how many we have of this though. 50, okay, so it's always gonna be limited, I suppose. Personally, Hannah, I'm thinking of teaming this with something like your South Sea Pearls. Oh, stunning. Or your Akoya. I was, was gonna say that we, we saw some Akoya Pearls the other day, yeah. didn't we? And I was thinking they would be a lovely combination. It's that ilk though, isn't it? Yeah. It's that ilk of, yeah. uh, of rarity and preciousness. Um, as I've literally got it lay across the back of my hand, look at the colour even for metres away, you can see that quality. It's natural. Remember, Peridot should look, and this is, it's, it's difficult to describe. I once upon a time used to say, like, okay, imagine 50% green, 50% yellow, that's the perfect Peridot colour. I don't say that so much now because it's actually maybe a little bit too light. Um, now I just go, okay, just imagine you've just cut your grass, you've got a nice healthy lawn, which I don't, but imagine no. you've just cut the grass and those really beautiful, fresh, vibrant green shoots that come uh, from the ground. That's what your Peridot should look like. And that's absolutely what I see on the back of my hand right now. At £79.99, pence, we've got only 50, only 50 available opportunities. You're sourcing cashmere. Can you imagine if you were sourcing cashmere sapphire? Which obviously we can't. But well, you can. But you have to have very deep pockets. <laughs> very, very, very deep pockets. The mind is mined out. You are sourcing that same location of Peridot right now. It is fabulous, isn't it? And it's costing as little as double figures. We're going to do another price crash. Oh my gosh. I love this strand. I've I might have to get this. I say I've, I've actually got, my sister bought me um, 
a, a, a single uh, oval ring and a, like a tennis bracelet. In or, cashmere? From, from here, I don't think it was cashmere. Don't, I don't think so anyway, but it was a few years ago and it was one of those Christmas presents that when you open it and it makes you cry because wow. it's just kind of like, wow, like what an incredible gift. But it's one of those things that every time you wear it, people will talk to you about it. Of course it they will. Yeah. Because it's, you... so, it's so like distinctive. We said about malachite being that eccentric mm. yeah, yeah. gemstone. This is the one that's the life and the soul of the party. Everybody literally will look at it's you. It's vibrant. You yeah, isn't it, it is. Yeah. How beautiful is it with your type A black jadeite as amazing. well? How amazing is that amazing. combination? Are you ready, says Ross? I'm ready. Are you ready at home? How many do we have, do you say? F 50. Just less, left. Oh, well, rather, we had 50. £29.99 pence only. A very good friend of mine literally sourced this location of Peridot. Wow. It's a few years ago, a couple of years maybe. No, it was pre-COVID. Maybe three years, I suppose. Um, one single stone. Chose to, chose the design. Very simple, all about the, the cashmere Peridot. Valued at over £8,000. And I can tell you, it, cost, it didn't cost him thousands upon thousands of pounds to buy that stone. No way near. It was just the quality that jewellery maker and ultimately Gemporia were able to, able to source for him. It is incredible. We shouldn't be able to get hold of Cashmere Peridot for $29.99. You know, that is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Laurel, Kath, Maker in Cheshire, uh, Rutland, hello to you. Susan, Devon, Multibuying, Claire in Essex, Eileen, Sharon, Joanna, well done. Lots of you getting involved. And if this is your birthstone, if you are an August baby and you're thinking, right, okay, where's the best? It's Cashmere all the way. All the way. I'm not saying you don't get beautiful quali uh, qualities elsewhere. You do. Yeah. But I in terms of, it's like if people say, what's the best emerald? You say Columbia, don't you? It, 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 it just rolls off the tongue. Um, you can get beautiful qualities from other places as well. $29.99. Make sure you do check them out. I've only got two more cashmere strands to bring you. They are very limited, though. And they're very different. Let me show you them both. If you've got those and you're thinking bracelet, necklace, can you imagine these in the big, beautiful chandelier? Fabulous. Oh, I love like, like chandelier style ears. Oh, me. Things where they, they move and they catch the light. and Especially with big, bold colours yes. as well. Yeah. Oh, hello, look at those. They're lovely, aren't they? They really are. Clean, absolutely intense, vibrant. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, I've just been captivated by the recording. That's <gasps> I love Peridot. And yet we've been starved of it so recently. Uh, yeah, we? I mean, I, I suppose it's one of those things, isn't it? It's like you, you have to um, take what you can get when you can get it. Oh, no, as is not the see it again. As you know? is the gemstone world. Yeah. You know, we, we, we're lucky to be in um, an opportunity where we can, we can indulge in jadeite right now. But <laughs> that indulgence won't last forever, you know? Um, once upon a time, we were able to indulge in Malachite. We can't anymore. You, can, you have a few individual opportunities here and there. 30 carats of rich and intense, beautiful, natural Peridot. We're going to do it in two price crashes for you. Again, quantity will be limited. I can say that as an assumption. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, very, very limited, but at less than 50. Um, they're completely jam-packed onto that strand as well. And they're individual solitaires. If you choose to gemstone set these, if you choose to actually strand them and create in the really beautiful like waterfall, what we call waterfall style pairs of earrings, I think that would be absolutely amazing. Certainly if you were to put them on, I don't know, a precious metal, a couple of little wrap loop te techniques, that's all you need, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, you could use them like as the fringe at the bottom of sort of a seed bead um, oh. collar necklace or something like that, couldn't you? And we have the chain earlier on in the spool, so oh, you, yes. to, yeah, to, yeah. to actually create that, create that cascade. Two price crashes. This is your penultimate cashmere peridot opportunity. Twenty-four ninety-nine. Goodness me! It's only just dawned on me, really, how long it's been since I've discussed this gemstone. It's it, it has Quite literally just dawned on me. I firstly, firstly, peridot. Uh, I got even even yeah. even your Chiang Mai Peridot I haven't spoken about in a very very long time, which we had at one point we had quantity of cashmere. Years maybe has it been years, Ross? 
April last year was the last time that we actually had, so almost a year then. How amazing is this? It feels longer, doesn't it? It, it does, does feel much yeah. longer, absolutely. But even then, we only had four strands. Yeah. Only yeah. four strands. $24.99. Let me just do a quick count a second, because two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. You're talking about just over a pound each. I'm just thinking, you know what I said about the seed beads? Is that a Monica piece there? I think so. so that, that would be fab with, with those in. Yeah, to create that kind of uh, um, quite regal-like look so it kind of stretches across the front of the decolletage. Yeah, just yeah beautiful. That kind of thing. <laughs> Love it, Hannah. Yeah, that would be absolutely amazing. But with peridot. But with actual cashmere yeah. peridot. How unbelievable would that piece be? Oh, my goodness. Twenty four ninety nine. Well done. The amazing. final opportunity uh, before we dive into your black jadeite opportunity. Amazing. Amazing. That's all right. <laughs> Don't worry. We can leave it there for now. Um, right. right. These are, oh, beautiful little squares, but faceted squares. Colour, that colour is absolutely mind blowing. Natural. Less than 50 of these are available. We're going to do it in two price crashes. Um, as we have done with each and every single one of these cashmere peridot parcels. Um, how amazing is that? Over 50 miles below the Earth's surface, that's where this gemstone actually formed, under some of the most intense heats and pressures, forced to the surface, along with diamonds, peridot's best friend, through what we call kimberlite pipes, through sort of volcanic uh, tunnels. This gemstone, yeah, like I said, is... is has been found in remnants of our solar system. So this is, if, if, if Zircon's the oldest on our, of our planet, this is the oldest of our solar system. Solar system. Ah, that's so cool. It's been discovered in places like Mars by NASA themselves. And in the world of Peridot, it's cashmere that we should be aspiring to. Goodness me, I'm absolutely floored by £24.99. pence. Uh, maybe one as a solitaire. I think that would be a great deal. You know, when, again, when we go over, uh, when we go, our team go over to Tucson, which they are going to be doing in mm -hmm. just a few days, they will see cashmere sapphires. Um, and it is, you know, quite, uh, it's humbling when you go over to places like that. And that's ultimately why the management actually allow us to do it, is so that we learn and experience, really, and don't become complacent of the prices of the gems that we offer our audience. You know, 30 carats of cashmere peridot is not 24 99 anywhere else. No. Anywhere else. Fabulous. Make Absolutely. the most of it. Check out your baskets. Well done, Victoria. Well done, Maureen. Well done, Claire. Well done, Janet. Well done, Sonia. Well done, Chu Simon. I can see you on the phone lines that it is quite busy today um so please do bear with our call center they will get to you as soon as you can there's a load of you there amazing now um we are very 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 limited have we got a bangle i've never seen this this is the first time i've seen it is there one? Oh, the one and only it's the oh it's gorgeous i'm so jealous whoever gets this it's so beautiful Oh, I don't think I've seen that one actually. I didn't, I've never seen a black jadeite. No, a solid black jadeite bangle. Now, black jadeite in all its rarity, it's the oldest color in the jadeite world. It has literally transitioned through every single color. Um, so this once upon a time was imperial green. Because actually, when you look at black jadeite under a light source, in fact, you can see it perfectly here. Oh. It's actually like an inky, greeny color. That's cool. I it's, like that. And it yeah. takes millions of years longer to form. Um, do you have that information there? Because I've read it out under black jadeite. So yes, the, the, the actual process, it can't be replicated. It can't be uh, um, hurried, if you like, by some laboratory. Yeah. It has to be Mother Nature herself. That's Dave's, I think. Uh, but yes, it has transitioned through, transitioned beyond imperial green. There it is. Uh, it's this beautiful, deep, dark, inky black. There is one of these available in the world. Um, so what makes dark jade highly valuable? The reason dark jade is very rare is because it requires a long time and special conditions to form. 
uh, due to its natural chemical structure. We need to know the color here is not, uh, not black, nor is it charcoal or gray. Dark ink color is not a natural base color in the universe. It takes a long time to grow from emerald green to deep blacks under the influence of cosmic rays. I don't really understand that sentence, to be honest. But it still carries the nature of dark green under strong lights. So technically speaking, a piece of truly authentic black jade requires billions of years to form. Wow. From green to dark green, finally to that dark ink color. Three times longer than all other jade colors in the world, and it cannot be replicated by hand. And I know within this PowerPoint, well, I've, I've, I've got pieces of black jade, haven't I? Um, uh, that, yeah, here we go, here we go. Pieces like this, um, you know, where you've got that, rich black that will be photoshopped like you wouldn't believe because no black jade as we've just discussed yeah. is actually jet like that. black like yeah. that um in the next carving you can actually see that a little bit more accurately um how beautiful so they, are, they look like rubelites and diamonds obviously but black jadeite takes the uh, takes the center stage any more here we go how about this one from cartier themselves you can buy a single cabochon of black jadeite um, in this lovely ring for £35,000. You know, it, it is astonishingly expensive. This is the only type A black jadeite bangle we have within the, vis in the business. There is only one available. Um, you know, this is a work of art in its own individual right. We know that when we buy a bangle of whatever colour of jadeite, you have to usually pay for the loss as well. Um, and it's, it's expensive. It is expensive. We're at £299 for something that's significantly harder to carve than, say, something like this, the pendant with the dragons. I, I can't decipher where that dragon is, by the way. But look, reduced to $830. $1,552. We've got that, is it the rounded shape as well? Isn't yeah. It? This is, in yeah. terms of jade jewellery, mm -hmm. the bangle is considered the pinnacle. Because of the waste. Because yeah. of the waste. You can, there, you can see why, though, because the amount they'd have to cut away. There is one mm. chance. You have here that beautiful texture that Dave has discussed, that deep, dark. It should literally be intense in colour and should feel like silk. I can assure you it does. There are seven of you there in for that one bangle. Again, heads up. It's an hour and 12 minutes. If that's still available, come the end of the show, I'll be getting it. Yes. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Just sit there for now. I'll say, I, um, I think you should wear it. Oh, so it's just cute. incredible. Um, just while I do, I bring you the black jade eye. Now, I've got one archer ring opportunity. It's not just any archer ring either. This is actually faceted. There is nine left. First one has actually gone. I can't believe we've even, I can't believe we've actually able to bring this. Faceted, genuine, type A black jade eye. Um, um, Sotheby's, what's this here? Uh, for hundreds of years, jade art has been a symbol of supreme status and extreme wealth. Yet within this world of jewels and superlatives, jade art has, uh, has a certain understated charisma. When light passes through the stone, the effect of its muted enigmatic glow um, that is both indescribable and can fill volumes. This allure has inspired mythologies and culture, uh, cultural reverences, uh, particularly in China, that stretches back centuries. The archer ring, by the way, was literally named as such because um, in history, in history, uh, uh, archers used to wear them to protect from rubbing. Right. Protect right. from rubbing. They used to wear it on their thumbs. They used to actually ah, wear them on their thumbs. So, so they didn't get blisters the, uh, on the inside of their hands. It's beautiful. Friction, yeah. Absolutely beautiful. And you have one which is literally faceted so perfectly. Look how the light dances across the surface. We had nine, seven now. Let's do it in one price crash. Look how nice that is together. One price crash. The bangle's gone. Well done. Well done to whoever managed to get hold of that. 99.99 for 11 carats. And it's faceted continually all the way around. Again, we talk about the bangle being tricky. Can you imagine carving something like this? And that is done literally by hand. Yep, it's amazing. It's gorgeous. You can see that wonderful light performance. You would, it'd be difficult to imagine how you could make 
um, Jade, I, I don't know, I, to give you like a paparazzi flash, I suppose, you fast it like so, but that does come at a cost. There's only a limited quantity. Jeannie, well done. London, well done to you. Sharon in County Durham, congratulations to you. Because this is... Uh, um, literally 360 you're always going to be seeing that wonderful performance uh dave always says whenever he brings jadeite to if that's not your size don't worry you find it you either move it to another finger um or you wear it around the neckline it's about owning it's about owning yeah. the jadeite carving itself rather than the actual you know where you're going to wear it i guess make sure you do check out the final few of these available and it is completely and utterly natural as well um amazing i've only got a couple of black jadeite opportunities remaining um the strand of rounds and we've got rondelles I've never seen rondelles. Have you? Have I brought these? I don't think I have. It was Lindsay. I must have been off. I thought so. Remember who's mentioned the onphosite? Yeah. This is the onphosite. Can we explain what that is to everybody at home? Have you still got the PowerPoint from Dave? No. So onphosite so, and I watched Dave's uh, um, show on our sister channel, Gemporia, where he, was, where he launched a very limited uh, uh, collection of black jade. Um, Omphocyte Imperial Black. What they are referring to there is you can get that chicken skin-like texture um, where you did have it. You had it on that PowerPoint. I apologize, Ross. Yeah. Um, the chicken skin like color where it has sort of the uh, the texture of your jade um, is slightly coarse and you get a little bit more mottling in the color. It's still very expensive and still very much valued. And it's all in the eye beholder. So here we go. There are two distinct species of Burmese black jadeite. Burmese black jadeite can really be classified in two different and distinctive varieties or species. The first being omphocyte jadeite and the second being known as a burnt uh, chicken skin. I know it's not the most beautiful description. That is literally... They're not very good at naming things, are they? No, Mutton well, in, in, in the West, we romanticise things, don't yeah. we? We do, but not so much. Uh, in China, it's a little bit more, you know, it, it, it's, well, that looks, Related what does that look to, like? Yes. Yeah, okay. and it does make sense. Um, Omphocyte jade is far, far rarer than burnt chicken skin. Varieties in exceptionally smooth and uniform texture and colour. Often referred to as, and excuse my pronunciation, uh, I'm going to guess, uh, mochi or, or Mexican green in China and inky jade in Hong Kong. This high quality jadeite is actually a mixture of omphacite and jadeite that creates an ultra fine crystal size and occasional translucent ability. Not all omphacite jadeite is translucent, um, but all will have a smooth fine texture with a uniform deep color under reflected light. Translucent pieces will exhibit a glowing green, um, glowing, glowing green emerald colour when transmitted light uh, is shown through the gemstone, giving an appearance of imperial green. And if you remember, it was only, only last week we brought a single cabochon, a pear drop cabochon of, uh, of, this, of your omphocyte jade, that it was jet black, but it had a little area of green. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? This is the strand. Mm -hmm. You can really see it on this recording. In rondelles, I didn't have the opportunity to launch this. It's beautiful. This is actually one of Dave's amazing strands. Um, we haven't seen it since October last year. The fact that you have got your beautiful omphocyte, uh, imperial omphocyte black jade, so you have those little areas of green in amongst. How amazing is that gemologically as well? Little areas that have maintained that green colour whilst all the others have actually transcended to this yeah. dark, um, deep shade. Four nine nine. We're going to do this in two price crashes. How many do we have? So, uh, it was always going to be limited. There's 37 available opportunities. Wow. That, that, that strand that you just saw there with the, with the turquoise knotting, is it? Look at that. This is on first dibs right now. Black jade necklace with turquoise accents, beads, certified untreated jadeite jade. Exactly what I have on the back of my hand right now. Five thousand six hundred and twelve pounds. 
Not the same cut, not the same carrot weight, but what I will say, ours is better quality. Because this, look how, look how glossy the luster is. Look, at, look how glossy, look how this strand up close is actually quite matte. No, there, actually quite matte. In the West, they call it piano black. Here, we call it imperial black. I've sold four imperial black strands. They're far rarer than imperial, uh, than imperial strands, but a little more than affordable. So, okay, so they're saying that this is, is, is slightly more affordable than imperial green. Okay, that makes, makes sense. But look how lustrous this beautiful strand is. Plus, you have your site here as well. Are you ready? Doing it in two price crashes. We had, sorry, Ross, you said... 37 opportunities. Well, that's surprising, isn't it? <laughs> Double figures? Uh, yeah. I know it, I says, think, it yeah. says more affordable than Imperial Green, but that's dramatically more affordable than Imperial Green yeah. as well. Oh, Hannah, I'm thinking alongside, you know, you know, your long line necklaces. I know you're a big fan of those as well. I do, well. yeah, I do. I, I, again, I was thinking that gents' jewellery maybe, because like, you've got that sort of the muted, sort yeah. of understated colours. Um, and then, I, I don't know, there's something about the, the sort of the age of the stone. That yeah. It, it kind, of, kind of like grounds you like to the earth almost. Billions it, it, of years. Billions and billions of years. It's like a real connecting kind of stone. Just like amazing. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. £79 only. But you're actually getting a, a variety of jade that's actually uh, um, one of the rarest because you've got those little pools of colour, which um, if you think ge gemologically for a second here, you know, what they're saying, it's transcended through all of those shades of jade uh, colours that you see on the Mason and K chart. But little areas within these, uh, these stones have maintained that imperial green-like yeah. colour. And you're seeing that across multiple different strands. Straight away, we've got collectors getting involved. You can get this home for £39.50. How amazing is that? How amazing. Type A grade, beautifully linear. I think great idea, actually, for your gents' jewellery yeah. and things like that. Because they don't often get... I mean, uh, my husband would, would, would wear rounds, but I think he would probably prefer the rondelles. Yeah, I think, I think because it's slightly understated. So it's, it's, um, it's, in, it's enough of a statement in, in itself without being big and overblown because of what it is, the, yep. the history and... and you know, the, the, the sheer geology of it. Exactly. Yeah. Fascinating. Now... On, on this PowerPoint, can we just, just flick through for a second, going back to the wording, maybe? Because it talks about imperial. Um, imper you know, although the colours of jade are, are both black and black, uh, colour is different. The colour of the burnt chicken skin variety looks grey-black under direct light and is not usually translucent when it is... Uh, when it is translucent, it shows light shades of white and black with no green. The crystal structure is usually coarser than that of omphacite jadeite species, so this type of material is usually used in carvings or bangles. There is a, there's a photograph in this, in this presentation somewhere. Where There we go. Go back. Sorry. There. This is the perfect imperial black omphacite jadeite stone. And the reason why it's, per it's perfect is because how mirror-like yeah. the luster is. It is completely pure. Uh, there's literally not a trace of any other colour out there. Um, that's got what we call a fine texture. There's no sort of, I describe it as like scaling, if you like, within yeah. the, the actual yeah. stone itself. It sort of draws you in, doesn't it? You know, it's like, you know how black absorbs all, all colours. It, it sort of, you feel like you're being pulled towards it almost. It's quite a powerful thing, I think. Would you like a strand of that quality? Yes. <laughs> because that's precisely what I have on the back of my hand right now. You have the deepest, the darkest, the most intense of natural black colours that jadeite offers you. You have that amazing fine texture. Um, there's no coursing. There's no sort of that. You, now you've got it in your head. You know the difference between chicken skin jadeite, which mm. is still very valuable, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But you can see the, 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 the natural crystal structure. And you can see this beautiful intensity, intensity of natural black imperial omphacite jadeite. How many do we have? 
45 available opportunities. It, in terms of black jadeye, your uh, imperial black, if that's what you're going for, it doesn't get any better than this. Again, I watched Dave launch black jadeye on our sister channel not that long ago. Um, and I can tell you, it, it won't, you, there wasn't a single strand in the entire showcase. No. I bought some of the earrings that he actually launched as well, just one single sphere. They're really pretty. I really like them. And I'm going to treat myself to those. But there was not a single strand because you've got a full 38 centimetre strand of that Imperial Black on for site jade eye. The quality is remarkable. Even here at 499, that's amazing. Six millimetres in their size. This has to sell. Oh, that's ridiculous. It's like the dream strand, isn't it? It, it is. Yeah. That, the so reason why we show you that photograph of that little cabochon, literally on someone's hand, the reason why we show you that is because that, that's that's it. That's what you want. Yeah. That's the D flawless diamond to the jadeite world, to the black jadeite world. It doesn't get any better than that. No. Uh, black imperial on for site jade. And now, as I said, do you want that in a strand? I have it in a strand. This is the finale of the hour. Oh my gosh. It's already massive, Ross. You're going to take it much lower. Can I buy some of these? Because I always miss out on the on the Imperial Black Jade X strands. 40 available. I've got my phone here. I'm doing it. I always miss out on Black Jade. Always miss it's, out it's on it. It's so popular. Exactly. There's less than 50 of these available. <laughs> Do make sure you check out the ba your basket. I'm joining you on this one because honestly, it gets no better than what's on your screens. Again, ca cast your mind back to that to that Cartier ring where you basically oh, I can hear myself. <laughs> where you can literally uh, there's ha there's a cabochon, literally half the I don't know what size it is, but thirty five thousand pounds. Even that, I don't personally believe as good a quality as that cabochon that I showed you a few moments ago. This has got mirror like luster. Remember, it should physically feel like silk. You are looking at not chicken skin variety. You haven't got a coarse texture here. You, are, um, you have that amazing liquid-like luster. You've got that definite imperial black omphacite jadeite at the lowest price ever imaginable. Wow. I always miss out on this opportunity. I hope you okay. understand. Please, please, please. There I am. There we go. Check out, check out, check out, check out, check out. You might beat me to it. Hang on a minute. Um, don't don't leave this in your baskets because it always sells out and I can't tell you uh, this is probably one of the best strands actually I've seen six millimeters in their size um yeah I'll I'll just get the one I'll, I'll be happy with the one 69 pounds I mean it's fabulous and the fact that it's like perfectly round perfectly black perfectly like six millimeter size is brilliant for all sorts of beading projects as well so if you teamed that with pearls or you yeah. teamed it with green jade eye or you teamed it with I don't know We've got tourmaline there, you know, there, there's all sorts of things you could put it with. And because it's like black, it's sort of like the, it's the, it adds glamour, doesn't it? Oh, it really does. Absolutely. I love monochrome pieces of jewellery. I yeah. just think they're so wearable. I mean, I just literally picked this pearl strand up because it's before me. How lovely would that be as a combination? Yeah. Fabulous. We had under 50 opportunities. Jeannie, hello to you, Christine, Rupal, Tracy, Eleanor and Worcester, uh, Sue, <laughs> well done to you, Michael, <laughs> Jackie, hi, June. Eleanor Hello, hi, Eleanor. <laughs> um, I'd be intrigued to know what you're doing with yours. Um, do, I always miss out on it. That's the reality. And I might not do anything, Hannah, with it just yet. It's Wait. about owning it. That's yeah. the reality. Yeah, I could, I could, I could, and I think we could all do this. And I encourage you to do this, um, especially if it's on your doorstep. You know, make understand what you are working with, the rarity and the quality that you are working with right now. Never mind. Forget the sixty-nine pound price tag after you've got this home. When you knot it, when you use those same techniques that we shown you only a moment ago on Wolf and Badger for literally hundreds of pounds, um, that's not that's not un 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 unrealistic. No, especially with the ingredients like this of the best possible grade. That photograph was taken by Dave himself, himself of the best quality imperial black omphacite jadeite. I'm showing you a strand, a strand of that same amazing quality. We are going to give you 60 seconds to close this auction. 
Don't forget, you've got the most amazing masterclass coming up in the next hour. Get it whilst you have the chance. I've never had owned black jade. I have, I have a correction, I have in bicones that are in my bag right now. Ah, so I've only just bought them. Okay. Um, but I've never had the chance to uh, own, own black jadeite before because it always sells out, um, especially at 69 quid. I mean, that's just unbelievable. June, Jackie, Jeannie, hello to you. Christine Rupel, uh, you've got yours. London, Tracy, Sharon, I can see you there. Kafili, Devon, I can see you all dialing through. Um, if there's any of them available come the, during the break, I'll probably up my quantity as well. And it'll just be teamed alongside something like, I don't know, Probably a white jade opportunity. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think that'd be quite nice, but um, I, I don't know. I quite like the idea of the green, Ooh. the green with it, or even red if you've got it. That sounds nice. I mean, that would be quite striking. What red jade? A re like a uh, red jade, but just like one bead. Maybe if you've got like a statement bead, and you can do it like a sort of an a, 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 a off centre asymmetric. Ooh, I, don't know. I don't, but I know. Oh, actually, I might do. Yes, I have. I've got drums. I've got red jade at drums. There you go. That's a lovely idea, isn't it? Amazing. Well done, everybody. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Congratulations. Now, coming up after the break, we have got that amazing pearl opportunity, which, by the way, uh, and we hesitated for a moment. If you were with us, you might have seen, you might have you noticed it. These are genuine cultured pearls. And we're like, hmm, no stones in between. And we all had it in the back of uh, in, in our heads, but we didn't quite want to say it. Didn't want to say in case it didn't was wrong. Didn't want to say in case it was wrong. No, they are granded, you're right. And they're faceted granded, you're right, as well. They're coming up straight after the break. This is part of a kit where you get these lovely elements as well. Plus, don't forget, if you have a little look at these amazing brand new components, the most gorgeous strand of tourmaline, um, and then these very bejeweled, beautiful bejeweled pieces, you get two of those. Um, lastly as well, the clip-on earrings that we were describing, if I pop that down, just here. With the kyanite size. Yeah, Gorgeous. with the kyanite inside and your Amazonite drops just there. I mean, look at the amazing jewellery, the lovely necklaces, earrings that Hannah has, uh, has created out of your three masterclass kits. They are stunning, aren't they? Um, so don't go anywhere, lovely jewellery makers. We shall return after this. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hi guys, join me for an action-packed weekend. Um, this January we have made a statement that we are going to make this huge. We're bringing all of the new collections, all of the new gemstones, which is really going to set our stall out, set the benchmark high, uh, something for us to really chase into the new year. So on Friday I'm going to be bringing you a brand new collection of what many refer to as the rarest jade on the planet. We are of course talking about red jade. Uh, and this might be the last time you ever get a chance to own this material, Type A. Um, going forward, we're in talks to bring you the Type C dyed material, but this very limited opportunity is for those collectors that want to add that natural, ultra-rare colour to their collection. And then on Saturday, we are bringing you one of my favourite gemstones. We are bringing you what I call Quad A Grade Malsitsit, uh, another incredible gemstone endemic to Myanmar. Um, this is you know, part jade in many respects. Wonderful striations of colour, incredible mottling, and as we know with what's happening with the jade mines, the price on this has skyrocketed, and we're very fortunate to have already got this deal over the line before that news broke. Um, so you know, join us for that incredible showcase to own yourself something incredibly rare, a true Burmese treasure. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. 
Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. It's a new year, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for those New Year resolutions. And it's the perfect time to start a new hobby. Jewelry Maker, Sewing Street, and Hobby Maker are here whether you're starting something new or advancing your skills on a current hobby. With all the tools you need to start, as well as expert demonstrations from our great guests. Are you starting a new hobby this January? Share your new makes with us by tagging Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker or Sewing Street using the hashtag New Year New Hobby. And watch us every day from 8am to 1pm on Jewelry Maker. On Hobby Maker, 6 to 8am and 1 to 6pm. And 8am to 1pm on Sewing Street. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Welcome back. How is it now, the afternoon? Well, you've just had so many lovely goodies and treats and things. It's kind of like, go, go, go. <laughs> and this masterclass is no different. I love these kits. They're Me so too. Fab, oh, they? Hannah, just, can we get up close and personal with each and every single one of these designs? If you'd like to, yes. Because there's <laughs> the only challenge here is, which is your favourite? Yeah, I don't know. I mean... Oh, you've got some Kiss Cross in there. I've only just noticed that. Oh, yeah, my goodness. Well, I, it was just... I needed I needed something that was sort of balanced the weight of those beautiful sort of gold components. So I thought I, I need something a bit bigger. So I've, I've picked some... I had a scoop of coloured pearls the other day in a kit, oh. and they've got these big green pearls in there. And I thought if I use those and do um, kind of the Kiss Cross with the normal um, pearls, that they, they give it enough gravitas to, to sort of balance it. Um, yeah, so oh. yeah, quite quite like that. <laughs> it's, it's, they're gorgeous. Mm. Those earrings. Yeah, uh, can I can I hold uh, them up? Is that all right? Yeah, Just to show sure. Because uh, they are amazing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Absolutely but. amazing. And the first time in forever. Well, in fact, have we ever done them? I don't know. I don't know if we have. But um, you've been asking for them for sure. Yeah, they're just they've got that funky kind of. Well, we said before about the Suru kind of... Very look. Suru. Yeah. Very, very, very much. And hugely popular design. You know, you, lots of big statement colours, gemstones. Loud and proud, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. And I, and I love that. You know, something that's just like, it's not trying to be demure. It's not trying to be quiet. It's going, look at me! <laughs> and, yeah. And I think... Look at my gorgeous yeah. earrings. That's what it's shouting. They are... And they are so beautiful. Thanks. I absolutely love those. And then you've got this amazing necklace, which features one of the most beautiful strands of tourmaline, and they are massive, absolutely massive. And then these brand new elements. Gorgeous components, that, aren't they? Yeah. I've added a flower clip and some spacer beads and things like that. So, so I've, I've, again, I've, I've tried to, to match the sort of the gravitas of these components with other bits that I've added in. 
Um, and I think I think it's tourmaline actually down the In, side. Yeah, I think so as well. I think that's tourmaline. And is, is it cat's eye or shell or? I, I don't. I, I'm not sure. We'll have a look with the graphics. Yeah, but. I just wanted something that would pick up that sparkle. So again, in, in previous kits, I, had, I think it was a jade kit I had that had the, the sort of the flower clip. Um, and, I've, and I've just used that to go with it to pick up the sparkliness. Unbelievable. It's, kind of sort of, it's like a parve set thing. There you go. Yeah, so that I, um, that's not in the kit, but I've added it from a previous kit that I had from JM. And because I just thought it really it balanced beautifully with the sparkles of those, those oh, so amazing good. drops. Th three separate kits, Hannah. Yeah. You can shop ahead right now, and I would encourage you doing that because it has been busy today. Um, so it's, I'm going to call it the earring kit, the tassel kit, and the grand digerite kit. Okay. There's literally, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, um, I'm going to start with the kit with the grand digerite. Yeah. Which none of us quite believed, and none of us even wanted to <laughs> say out loud because it goes, no, be can't sure, because if you say yeah. it, people are then like, oh, I thought well, you a said strand. It was this. <laughs> it's a long strand, yeah. isn't it? It's a very long strand. That's like a deal of the day strand. You know, this, you know, if this, if we had big quantity, and I don't know what the quantity is as of yet. If we had a big quantity of these, seventy, okay, encrusted. Why, oh, oh my goodness me. Faceted uh, grandid, right? Which it's it's rare in its own individual right. Not just the gemstone, but the cut cut yes, gem uh, yeah. grandid, right? And your freshwater pearls. But we also have your encrusted freshwater cultured pearls. These amazing elements. Look at how beautiful these are. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They're really fab. Oh, I love these kits. I could I'm loving all these little components that Jewelry Maker has right now. Like yeah. the earrings that, do you know what? I left them in my car in the car park, <laughs> so I couldn't wear them on that night. That's I got right. to the hotel. We'd walked to this hotel, Chloe and I. Hannah made me some lovely earrings in the last show we were on together, and I was like, that's sorted. <laughs> um, and I put the, I'd left them in, my, in this little oh, bag that I have on the show in my car. And I was like, oh, oh it's literally don't miles worry, away. Don't worry. I, I saw the pearls you were wearing, and I thought, do you know what? It's, it's I've fine. got amazing <laughs> earrings to amazing. wear for another occasion. <laughs> but I'm loving these little elements that Jewelry yeah. Maker are bringing to air right now. They're so, and they're so popular. Clearly, you are too. I mean, there's so many headlines within each and every single one of these amazing opportunities, these gorgeous kits, the jewellery, obviously. Um, the fact they're quite easy to put together. So if yeah. I'm new to jewellery making... Yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all beginner stuff. Isn't? There's nothing uh, massively technical about any of this. It's, it's all threaded jewellery. There's a little bit of wire work, but I'm literally just wrapping it around a component. OK. Um, so I suppose the most technical thing in any of the jewellery is, is the kiss cross sections or the um, tubular netting, if you like, um, which is a seed bead technique, but you don't have to do that. And the rest of it's literally just threaded on. Love it. So it's all about positioning and balance and how, how you put things together and what you team it with. So you can absolutely add stuff to it. Um, and again, I think all of these could have made fabulous earrings. Oh, but so you know yeah but it's, you, like, it's up to you what you do with it but i also suggest that these if you would look lovely in these kits as well yeah you know you could literally mix and match these kits together with i think the gold that would tubes be tubes and the would, little hearts yeah i think yeah. they'd be absolutely beautiful together um i don't think i know these kits are going to be absolutely super super popular <laughs> i can't believe we're looking at a strand of pearls with grand digerite and, uh, and look right here right now we should be paying more than that for the pearls yeah for the, str for the strand yeah we should be paying more than that for the faceted grand digerite most definitely um you know that's not where we're stopping so i know ross you told me this quantity in my 70 it's not gonna be enough is it it's not going to be enough. Um, I don't think, on the back of what you've just said there, Hannah, I think people will choose to do the necklace and maybe get the matching earrings. Because if you remember a discussion just prior to us coming live, one thing we did say about all of your kits today were that they were quite affordable. <laughs> In fact, yes, we didn't know when we were having that conversation that it was Grand Digerite, Russ, did we? No. Because if you look at the graphics, and I'm realising this live on air right now, how can there not be mention of Grand Digerite in those graphics? And that's what we'd see. That's what Ross would see when he's prepping. That's what I would see when we're prepping. Would you have seen it? Uh, what, with the, the Grand Digerite? Or, uh, well, yeah, probably did, but I've forgotten what was in there because I'm 
a few weeks ahead of myself in what. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this isn't a criticism, by the way, because if there was grandage right in there, then maybe we would have reconsidered the kit price. Well, maybe, but mm. then it's kind of jewellery maker's true. ethos, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm just loving that. None of us realised grandage right was in this strand. I love those beautiful elements. Uh, I, th I think these kits are all going to sell out, for sure. There's 70 available opportunities. You get two, by the way, of these lovely uh, little components, and they are genuine pills in there, and you've got those lovely green stones as well. Quite organic, which, again, is very Suru-inspired. All the rage at the moment, you know, very much celebrity-adorned as well. Already people getting involved in this opportunity. Yeah. Already queues building on the phone lines. £39.99 pence only. That is significantly less than what we should be paying for the Grand Digirite and Pearls. Significantly less. Yeah, kind of sorry, not sorry though. No, don't be. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I, love, I like it when, Hannah, you get your, you get your rebel on. That's oh, amazing. <laughs> Alison Claire, Karen, Lynn, Geraldine, Kathy, Wiltshire, Rita, Angela, Maker, Linda, Rachel, Yvette, there's loads of you there. Simple beading techniques, you know, to make the most high-end, beautiful red carpet worthy jewellery. Um, there's only 17 though, 70 rather. We're going to take it lower. Was that where we were meant to stop though? 49 really, he says. But... Roscoe goes rogue. Yeah. Anything <laughs> you could do, I can do better and all that. Yeah. Um, snuck on granted you're right into one of your kids. Yeah, Doesn't of course. happen very often. <laughs> Ross says, I tell you what, should have been 49.99. We're going to go even lower then. Brilliant. There are Brilliant. only 70 available opportunities. I mean, just beautiful components. They literally, you, could, you can imagine these on Bond Street, can't you? You can imagine them in like your Italian Wait, jewelers. Was it Tig that said treasure to it? Treasure. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and I was thinking, I'd, got, I'd put a picture where, where I'd sort of just sort of heaped them all together and took a, a sort of a close-up shot as one of the pictures on, on the, um, jewel, uh, what's it called, Facebook page. Um, and that's the word that came to mind. It was like when you imagine sort of like pirate treasure and, and you open the chest and it's just full of jewels. It is. That's what this looks like. Totally. Yeah. Oh, I love them. I love them. Me too. I might be adding this hold, to my already hold, going. Hold, 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 already. Oh, already. <laughs> oh, stacking up order. Amazing. Twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> you hear Paul in the background. Oh, heck. That's <laughs> Grand Digirite again in that strand. Faceted Grand Digirite, one of the world's rarest gemstones, easily in the top uh, top five rarest treasures in the world. Um, out of 4,000 different minerals, and here we are bringing it to you for 30 quid. Even if it was for the stones on its own, plus the pearls, plus those beautiful, beautiful gilded, uh, builded, uh, gilded ele elements, rather. Um, Sue, Vivian, Christina, Pauline, Gabrielle, Walden, Shude, lots of you racing in for this kit. Um, just a little bit of a hint, hint, nudge, nudge. If you love the other kits, you can pre-order right now. Trust us, you'll get... You'll get an amazing <laughs> deal on those as well, won't you? Yes. Um, in fact, I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to dive into the demonstration. Stay holding on this kit, still very much available. You can pre-order on the others. And as and when Hannah gives me a shout, I'll bring them to it. OK, right. So um, you have to bear with me because, again, I'm not a wire worker. So this is... This is I'd, say you, I'd, I'd say you're I'm, doing a pretty amazing I'm, job. I'm trying. I'm trying to, to do a bit more of wire, wire work because I haven't done it for a while. So I'm trying to sort of branch out a bit so I want some wire but I couldn't tell you how much so I'm going to say approximately a meter okay um, and hopefully that's m more than enough okay it's a 0.4 wire that I'm using um, and I've gone for the gold because it matches the component for the earring that I've got this lovely yeah. um, clip which is fab um, and then I'm going to take my um, my little teardrop component and I'm going to wrap that around a couple of times so that I've got um, a, a sort of a, an upward tail of um, wire there. And then all I'm going to do is add on one seed bead at a time and then wrap it round. So if I start off with a gold one, and you do have to bear with me because it's quite a long piece of wire and I don't want to kink it. So... 
I let that fall down to the actual pear drop and then I'm going to pass the wire through the centre so that it, it sort of laces it to this lovely pear drop shape. Okay, and then you do have to manipulate it a little bit because you want that um, seed bead to sit on the outside edge. And once it's where you want it, you then do another wrap um, without a bead. <laughs> Ever tried knitting with spaghetti? I'm sure it's similar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then you just want to just manoeuvre it so that it's nice and secure and just going to sit on the edge of your, of your stone without slipping. And then I'm going to add a coloured bead. So I'm using the same seed beads that I used earlier. So I've got a teal, a green and a pink. Um, I'll just I'll kind of go with the colours that were sort of similar to the little rhinestones and the outside edge. So uh, that's sort of where the inspiration came from for that. But you could use anything you like. And then again, I'm just going to lace that on. And then with the second piece, it's just one piece of wire without a bead. And again, I'm a bit sort of flaily with the wire, so apologies, Elle, if, uh, You're doing <laughs> if I come flying job, towards you. Lovely. I love these earrings. I think they're fabulous. Thanks. Well, I mean, it's one of those things. I put them together and I thought, do you know what? I love them. But I was like, I don't know if it's an acquired taste or if, no. if everyone else is going to think, yeah, actually. And you could do, use things like your micro-faceted gemstones with these as you, well. You could, you? yeah. So was it Chrysocola we yeah. had at the beginning? I would look lovely. This kit's coming up, by the way. You can shop ahead and pre-order on yours. They're beautiful. Okay. So again, it's, it's just repeating this all the way around until you've got, oh, look, that's what I didn't want to do. Right, so I've got to be careful not to kink that wire because I don't want it to snap. Bear with me. Okay, just going to help it through. And then the next one. Best to know, definitely take your time with it because I'm sure people who are more skilled with wire um, would have tips on how to not kink the wire, but I've found it's just working in big circles. Don't be afraid to flail your arms around a bit. Yeah, it's all good, isn't it? Yeah. Good exercise as well. Absolutely. Oh, I haven't got my Fitbit on either. <laughs> okay. Put that on there. And then again, single strand after that. Keeping something rounded in there, like your finger or a pencil might help, actually. Mm. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to the gold. So I'm going to do the same thing all the way around. I'm just going to follow those colours. So going for the gold one next. Again, sorry for going out of shot to get the bead on, but you can kind of get the idea. And all the way around, I mean, we had some um, diamond cut spaces earlier as well. They would look fabulous around the edges as well, just because they'd catch the light. I think I've got four of each colour bead on the ones I've made, going all the way around. So this is like the second set and it needs to finish sort of midpoint at the base of this pair. So I might need to bunch them up a little bit. There's probably some maths in there, but I've never been very good at that. No, me. I avoid <laughs> it at all costs. Yeah. I go by eye on lots of things. <laughs> I, I, I was chatting to Tom about this the other day. I was like, do you, does anybody ever actually use algebra anymore or trigonometry or Pythagoras' theorem? I mean, I'm sure probably people do, but I, could I, anybody, I've managed to escape uh, it. Yeah, me too. Could anybody, <laughs> could anybody um, like, would anyone know how to do any of those things now? I don't think I would. Well, I don't know. Like you sort of get into it a little bit with um, homework with the kids, but uh, it, it's it's coming back to you, Elle. Sorry. No, <laughs> you, no I'll just you'll direct get it. I'll, no, Tom, he's good at maths. So I'll just direct. Them yeah, in that direction. I, I was always quite good at English, but not so good at maths. And uh, not, same. Thankfully, Matt's good at uh, maths, so that helps. So, dear old Will. <laughs> Tell you what, while you're threading, Hannah, sure. shall I bring the kit to air? Absolutely. Because I'm sure we are all, well, we all are literally itching to get hold of this amazing kit. Um, these are beautiful. And you have been asking Jewelry Maker for quite some time. Um, what's that? Shoot some hoops. Ah, love it. Absolutely love it. Um, for quite some time uh, for your clip-on earrings. And these are clip-on earrings. You've got beautiful slices of your kyanite. 
and then encrusted, if I hold them, it's probably easier if I do it that way. Hold them in my hand, you can see you've got those wonderful uh, encrusted sparkles, so your rhinestones, as Hannah said. Love that kind of organic texture. I'll just flip these round so you can see on the reverse. There it is. There's that clip-on action. I'm holding that upside down. Brilliant. There you go. Um, clip-on action, so literally nice and secure. Clip them on your ears. And away you go. Um, yeah, and that doesn't mean that if you've got pierced ears, you can't wear clip-ons. I've got pierced ears and I wear clip-ons all the time. Um, well, not all the time, but some of the time. Plus then you've got the two beautiful, I wasn't expecting these to be gemstones, Hannah, I've got to be ah. honest. Um, Amazonite, really beautiful Amazonite pair hoops. You get the pair of them. Again, imagine carving something like that. I mean, it's pretty, pretty tricky, isn't it? Because yeah, it's, it's got to be. It's got to be symmetrical as well, or as close to symmetrical as you can get. Yeah, you don't want it wonky woo, do you? No. The two 20 carats, beautiful Amazonites, this wonderful, soft, tranquil colour, £29.99. pence. Even if you do nothing other than literally, I don't know, wrap them together with some wire. Yeah. That's a beautiful pair um, of earrings straight away. I love what you have done, Hannah, though. Thanks. Absolutely love it. If you choose to use the Mayuki, um, if you want to use things like your um, micro gemstones, I think that would work yeah. beautifully as well. Oh, at $29.99, loads of you there. Fiona, Gabrielle, hello to you, Alla, hello to you, Rachel, Edna, hello to you, Pauline, Jenny, Claire, Vivian, Christine, Rita, hello to you, Linda, Carol, Sue. You can shop ahead on the other, uh, on the other kits as well. $19.99. Again, such a Suru insp inspiration, I think, to the, each of these kits, Hannah. I think they're all very, you know, they've got that sort of Sicilian vibe. They've about got that them. feel, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. I think I think that's it. They're just it's a bit of fun, isn't it? You know, something a little bit a bit wacky, a bit outlandish maybe, but it's just joyful, I think. Well, if you pop on their website, you'll find loads of inspiration. Yeah. And you'll see probably where a lot of the inspiration for some of our elements like this are actually coming from. They're just really beautiful. And yeah, it is. They're statement. They're statement pieces of jewelry, yeah. aren't they? Definitely, definitely. And I and I think it's the sort of thing that, you know, it's like it's like you don't have to wear them all the time. You might not wear them for work, but, you know, you might. I mean, I, I would. I'm, I'm quite quite happy to wear sort of fairly bright, bold colours most of the time. And why shouldn't your jewellery reflect that? Absolutely. Now, what, Ross? We're still not done, he says, at 19 99 What? We've been telling you all morning how affordable the kits are. We did kits at the 9 o'clock hour for a crazy, wasn't it, 14 99 or something like that? under 20 pounds and we're going to follow suit with this kit you have been requesting from jewelry maker that we bring you clip-ons for a long time we haven't just done that we've brought them to you with kyanite and amazonite in this kit you know they're big carrot weights how many did we have the roscoe okay 70 as well they're beautiful absolutely beautiful i love the elements love those components really comfortable to wear um i don't know obviously these haven't been complete as a finished piece of jewelry but let me just show you them in the ear super super simple if i got those on right hang on i need a mirror really hang on here we go classic clip-ons there you go how lovely they are so beautiful aren't they they're very cool. I mean, you could just pop like a pearl on or something and it would look lovely as well. But I've just I've just gone a bit more uh, creative with my creations. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Big pearls would be lovely. Yeah. They'd be lovely too. Yeah, but you're going to make the most of those Amazonites, nights, whether it's in this kit or whether it's in something else. We're going to go even lower, even lower. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's $19.99, beautiful clip-ons, very comfortable to wear as well. Do you know, I've had my ears pierced since, oh God, I don't know, for, 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 for years and years and years and years. And every so often they start to just, you know, they bother me a little bit. And the, I would probably lean towards your clip-ons just to give you sort of your piercing a little bit of a break. Yeah, well, why not? Why not? Ideal opportunity for you to do that. There's loads of you there. We're at $14.99. You have beautiful slices of amazing kyanite there, bejeweled clip-ons, and two, well, oh, they are carvings, aren't they? Beautiful carvings they are. of your lovely yeah. Amazonite, essentially. A lot of multi-buyers getting involved. Yeah, you've been asking about, uh, about clip-ons for a long time because uh, I'm trying to think. My best friend doesn't have her ears pierced. 
My next door neighbour doesn't have her ears pierced. Yeah, quite quite a few people don't, or, or it just gives you an alternative, doesn't it? Some people just don't, don't, just don't want to. Yeah. My cousin doesn't have my ears pierced. Oh, uh, right. We were talking about it the other day. I was like, why? Why don't you just all... Oh, it just it goes through me, the thought of it, actually having my ears pierced. But so she, <laughs> only, she only wears clip-on earrings as well. Um, so £14.99 only. Amazing, amazing, amazing. How are you getting on, darling? I'm getting on all right. So I've done all, all the lacing around the edge there. And then what I did after that is I've just twisted these together at the top little bit just to hold them in place and then I just want to use I might use that to tighten it up a little bit but I'm just going to make a little wrap loop because on your um, on your actual earring there, there's um, a little loop at the bottom so you're going to need, need to make a wrap loop to attach that to um, so I just want to make sure that that's actually secure I think it is and then I'm going to put both um, threads up together and just check which way around it is that way. So I need to do a loop that way round so that it sits properly in that little hoop at the bottom of the finding. Like that. And then I'm going to face this downwards so that it goes in the right direction. Oops, through both of them. Hang on, go through there. Do I want that the front or do I want that the front? No, it should be all right. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure that that loop's quite small if I can. And then it's just a case of wrapping it around. Might use that to hold on to it for a second. If I can, and then I'm just gonna fold these two wires like that back down towards the main um, pair and it's gone almost down like that and then just making sure you haven't got any um, sharp bits left over so I'm going to trim that bit off trim that one away like that, squish that one down a little bit and then just use that last piece just to go around a few more times. But I do want it to sit on top of the pair, about there. So just make sure it all lines up and it's nice and straight, as neat as you can get, I think, and then trim it away. They are beautiful, Hannah. Thanks. Half the stock has gone on this kiss, uh, this kit, this kiss, I almost said then, this kit. <laughs> um, yeah, at 14.99, they are <laughs> proven to be very popular. Um, they're beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I love them. I, I love each of these kits. It's quite difficult to decide if you have to anyway between them. Um, go on, treat yourself, why not? It's January, yeah. it's a miserable month where you just want colour, and I think these kits deliver on that. Well, yeah, I mean, I'd, I've added more colour to it as well, just just, just because I can sort of Why thing. Not? But um, and yeah. it's Hannah. Hannah's always gonna add colour. I love it. I mean it's exactly. cute. They're beautiful. They? Yeah. yeah, I wear that. They suit you as well. <laughs> yeah. They suit you. Fourteen ninety nine, loads of you getting involved. I mean, can you imagine if these were on Suru, would they be fourteen ninety nine? No, nowhere near. No, definitely not. Everything. They'd be they'd be three figures and then some. And then some. But yeah, again, it's that Sicilian inspiration I can see within these, uh, this, the, your, your designs, Hannah, and they're absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Love that. We've still got one more kit to bring you. Um, each of these are just double figure quantities, so do be quick on these. Um, amazing. Can you pass me that lovely that necklace one. over? Yeah. Sorry, let's take it out. Because it's, 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 it's just gorgeous. There you go. So you've added a little component here. Yeah, so that, that doesn't come with the kit. No, so I've added but... that. Um, I've got in, what have I got? Seed beads. I've got some of those little spaces again. Some Swarovski bicones because the tourmaline had got that lovely pink colour in it and I wanted to pull that colour through. Um, so, oh. yeah, I just added a few bits from my stash. And then, oh, and then there, they're halo beads that I've had in a previous kit as well. So I do a lot of taking things apart to reuse them. Um, and I've, I just happened to have some that would fit the pearls that I'd got um, and use those. Hannah, yeah. you know, you know, these amazing stones. Yeah. So you have tourmaline. You spot. You said, oh, there's tourmaline in there mm. as well. 
It's not, yes, you have, but you've also got tourmaline with a cat's eye. Yeah. Fab, isn't it? How much is this kit? No way. Seriously, look at the quality. Look at, yeah, so designer. Look at the quality of the cat's eye tourmaline. When have we ever done? Uh, hang on. Cat eye and tourmaline. Yeah. So that's so that they've got tourmaline downsides as well. Yeah. And these are sort of cat's eye gems. Right, yeah. I get it, I get it, I get it. I apologise. Nine tourmalines, yeah, so that's these. That's those ones in between. Six, nine, there you go. Um, and then these are your cat's eyes. Seriously, though, seriously, how expensive, how expensive, sorry, um, are these little components? Are they through drilled, Hannah? So yeah, you could literally yeah. wear, they don't have to be at the bottom. You could wear them at the top or within your design as well. Look how beautiful that is. Yeah, I mean, so these, I was thinking these would be nice earrings as well. If you if you stopped yeah. at that, that one there cool. and just put a shepherd's hook on, I, I mean, they, they look amazing. But I, I just wanted to show that you could use different different ways of using the components mm -hmm. but yeah they've just got a lovely weight to them and, and so they so they are like the pendulums aren't they yeah so. gorgeous can i throw uh, can i just say this as well how imagine how amazing would these be in your interior design yeah oh yeah lovely. you know if yeah. you actually incorporated <laughs> them yeah and maybe sort of i don't know curtain tie backs you know yeah. or maybe suspend them from a light or something like that i think they'd be beautiful I, I just love them. I think they showcase them. Don't have them sort of locked away within your stash if you haven't made them into jewellery. Genuine tourmaline, um, beautifully encrusted with crystal, and you've got your cat's eye. And I've only spoken about these two elements here. Plus, you've got, as Hannah said, one of the most incredible strands of tourmaline. Um, these are big, and it's, you know, it's a stone which normally forms... It's quite elongated, quite, quite prismatic-like in its gemstone formation. So to get tourmaline of what is it six mil eight mil six i think the six that's a, that's a big size uh, for, for for tourmaline you've got your hot pinks you've got black tourmaline you've got some of your chrome colors some beautiful blues softer tones and the reality is when it's uh, draped across the back of my hand you see it far better the quality of the tourmaline far better in hannah's design because you've separated those I've, stones i've haven't spread you? them out so you can you can really see them i've, I've added them with them some pearls as well um and then yeah cause you the, really appreciate the color then yeah don't you? i think that's it it's just trying it's trying to sort of showcase the fact that you've got all those beautiful colors in there and if you just give them a little bit of breathing space yeah. you know like the pearl's quite like neutral if you like um and then i've used a, a seed bead that was as close to the cat eye um component that, I, that I, I could get um yeah just and just use them like spacers so it's again it's it's literally it's wrap loops and threading. different the strand looks and, though and that's it, it. Yeah. yeah and it and it just i think it just looks really expensive it does it really yeah. does um amazing these are flying out oh goodness me it's brazilian tourmaline as well oh, that's amazing that's incredible this kit's awesome at 29 pounds and 99 pence only um you get the two beautiful i don't know how to describe them i guess like encrusted elements let's do that um and they're 360 degrees um plus you're getting the strand of your tourmaline uh, hannah you've just added a few additions haven't you and yeah if you want to recreate this you're going to need one of those sort of sterling silver like clips but you could recreate that you could you yeah, could do that with mean, a yeah i mean you, you don't you don't even have to do that i mean but if you if you wanted to like you could use uh, i mean you could make your own really with a mm. little bit of wire work or um you could do like a little loop of seed beads and have just one end going through yeah um you can do all sorts of things or you could just um have it so that you get to a certain point and then you cross your threads over through a bead and then they'll stay in that shape and put a clasp on the back you can so. almost wear it like a scarf yeah that would yeah. be lovely so Absolutely. wait we are just sort of uh, uh totting up the masterclass kits so wait you can get pearls with grand digerite tourmaline very boodle-esque design Suru inspiration. Are you d all three kits for seventy five pounds today? That's pretty cool, isn't it? It's unbelievable. Yeah, uh, uh, and I wouldn't be so. Well, firstly, the Grand Digerite and Pearl Strand should, should be more than seventy five pounds. 
for you. It should be, shouldn't it? <laughs> I think you're getting all three kits for less than what that one strand would actually be. Okay, if you want to, if you want to exclude, if we're just talking about the necklaces then. So if you're talking about the tourmaline, the pearls and the grand digerite with those additional elements, you can get that for less than what? 60. 60 pounds. How awesome is that? It's, I mean, it's, it's pretty amazing, but I was thinking if you were to try and buy the piece of jewellery from somewhere... Yeah, you're not going to be able... You'd be paying a lot more than You're going to be paying more, than, significantly yeah. more. Um, we had less than, uh, less than 70 of these. Vivian, Beatrice, Caroline, Anne, Karen, Shirley, Maker, Margaret in Angus, uh, Maureen, hello to you, Christina, Sharon, Angela, and Laura, Wiltshire, hello to you, Kerry. Um, again, check out. There was less than 70 opportunities. If it's in your baskets, I wouldn't leave it there. There's lots of... Oh, wonderful. Dan just put some nice little additional elements that would absolutely work alongside. Um, we're going to do some pear-shaped jump rings, which can absolutely help you, I think, in... Um, yeah, with the earrings. With the earrings, yeah. It'd be yeah. perfect with those earrings, with wouldn't they? Let's do that right now. Um, so solid 925 sterling silver. I feel like this should be... Or bring the other ones over, whichever way around. Right. They need to be together because these jewel, uh, these pieces are beautiful. Um, okay, an absolute must. And I, whenever I, I get the opportunity to bring them to air, Ross, they always sell out, don't they? Because everyone needs the, the, the oval jump rings. You might think, what's the difference between an oval and, and a round, apart from the obvious? Um, and, how does it, and how does it benefit me as a jewellery maker? Um, if you use them where you're class, if you're think, using things like your wildfire, Hannah, it's less likely to fi find its way out, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Saying that, these are closed. Yeah. So, so it's not going to so find its way so out. That, yeah, they're closed and, they're, and therefore they're really good if, you're, if you are doing seed beading techniques and things like that because they, they can't find their way out, absolutely. Well, any beading. Yeah, but yeah, well, any beading at all. But um, it, equally, you can use um, other jump rings to then attach them to things or you can use um, thread and crimp beads to attach them to things. You can put chain through them yeah. and then link the chains together. You can, you can do your own little wire wrap loops. Nice. They're nice so, bales as well, yeah. aren't they? Really nice bales. But sterling silver, so you could solder them as, as a bale to the top of a, a silver component. Nice idea. Well, Claire yeah. was doing that literally yesterday. Yeah, yeah. You get a pack of 30 of these. They are like gold dust, literally like gold dust. If you um, maybe make jewellery and you're worried or you're concerned about the threading material, find its way out, use a closed jump ring. Um, but even better than that, this is the oval, uh, sorry, the tea, like a pear drop shape, basically, teardrop, um, so that you can position the clasp, if you like, in the right place as well. Um, I'm all over these. I don't get... I, 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 again, my... My finishing of, 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 of bracelets and necklaces isn't the best. Isn't the best. So I could literally so you just could, kind of you could onto use it, it, couldn't I? And then yeah. Put a, put a crimp cover over the top. You could. Yeah. I mean, if, well, if you if you were using sort of like silks and things, you could you could use a wire guardian through that as well. Yeah. Um, and it, it just gives it a, like a, a more um, sort of professional finish. But yeah, you could you can knot onto it. You can wire onto it. You can sew onto it. You can solder onto it. So well, basically, yeah. they're very versatile little little pieces. And, and literally, Claire demonstrated the soldering yesterday yeah. with uh, with some of the um, of her birthday kits. And so she was showing just like literally a slice of yeah. solder sheet. Is it solder sheet? Yes. Isn't it? Um, that simple to create your own bales. Lots of you checking out nice and early. Lots of you multi buying on this as well. Absolutely beautiful. Twenty four ninety nine. You're getting a, a pack of thirty of them. There's nothing wrong with an open jump ring, and they definitely do serve a purpose, don't they? But yeah. um, if you're thinking about general beading, then I would personally go gravitate towards a closed jump ring. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, I mean, quite often you can incorporate open jump rings with closed jump rings as well. So you can do chain mail and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, or you can then solder the open ones closed to complete the, the, uh, the look. But they are, yeah, they're lovely. Well like done. Easter eggs almost. Yeah, they are actually. Drops. Well <laughs> done. Um, let's bring you now some really lovely little clay, uh, caged pearls. So very Fabergé-esque. Um, you get one, one sort of pendant-like design and then two which are um, two charms or earrings, whichever way you look at it. But you'll see the difference in a second. That one literally opens, opens and closes like a locket. And then you have these beautiful. Where's that one gone? There he is. 
Then you have these beautiful, genuine cultured pearls. So you literally just almost wrap them up, if you like, cage them in this uh, loving embrace of sterling silver. Aww. And we showed, <laughs> I haven't got the time to do it right now, but we showed lots of different jewellers um, that uh, have, uh, have got pieces sort of along these same lines. Um, it's not something that's essentially new. Like I said, Fabergé were the ones I think that first pioneered this look. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Um, Ross, weren't these one of our deal of the days? I think they were, weren't they? I think it was a previous deal of the day. We've matched that price point, so we've only got the last remaining quantity. Really clever pendant bale in the actual um, in this one here. If I can open it, I don't know if I can do that. See, so when I'm under pressure, I can't. <laughs> um, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, so you open it up like so. There you go. And my nails are desperately need. So can you see? Really clever engineering. Pop your pearl in. And you might change that for maybe a birthstone if you want yeah, to. Yeah. Close it up like so. Feed it onto your sterling silver chain or whatever you wish. That's really cute, isn't that it? Is. So pretty. And this is the pendant. You get the two charms as well. £19.99. It's a little bit heart-like. And I also said a little bit Cinderella's carriage. It is a bit, isn't it? I, I just like the idea that you can um, interchange them. So if you wanted yeah. to change the, the, the gem that's inside, you can. So, you know, it's like um, it changes depending on your outfit. Absolutely. They're beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely Very sweet. beautiful. Little bit of silver chain. There you go. Just showing you they all do open as well. So that one's, instead of actually being part of the bale, that one opens slightly. Oh, hang on. Can you see it? There you go. Open slightly different. Yeah. Um, sorry. There we go. Make sure you do check out. What, what was that? Sorry. The rainbow chakra with the South Sea pearl chain. Uh, no. Is it? Is it no. Are they facing the wrong way or is that just gold? We can do it off. Ah, yeah. oh, that's lovely. Oh. So it's a solid piece, uh, you know, a, a complete piece of jewellery. Um, on this, you actually have a South Sea pearl. So from the uh, coast of Australia, you can see why South Sea pearls actually are considered one of the finest locations in the world. There is less than 20 of these remaining. Um, South Sea pearls are probably the most deverish of all your, uh, uh, the mollusks that form these beautiful treasures. Um, very particular about the minerals that are present within the waters themselves. And as you can imagine, for pearl harvesters, actually quite, mm, quite a dangerous uh, profession. Um, but nurture it, nonetheless, they are nurtured and cared for. They are quite literally barnacles chipped off the surface of these mollusks so that they can feed perfectly, filtering the water. Um, that is a South Sea pearl, and it's a big one as well, um, on an 18-inch beautiful necklace, complete and encrusted with all your chakra colours. Um, so, as you can see, you've got beautiful gemstones like your amethyst. I can see some lovely quartz. I can see citrine. I can see what looks like aquamarine. All the details will be available on the website for you right now. There is only a limited quantity. Seriously, 1999 is ridiculous. Who launched? Uh, did we? I haven't brought this to air, have I? I'm not surprised there's less than 10. That's the, I mean, that's a, I'm going to say it. Get it, put it away for Christmas. South Sea Pearl at £20. That it's, a big, it's a big pearl as well, isn't it? It is. It's yeah. not small. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, OK, let's do some lovely earrings, shall we? I do. This is that. Oh, do you remember, Ross? We were like, oh, no, they were, they're not separate auctions. These absolutely flew. Literally hundreds of them flew out the other day. Um, you get both pairs, much to our error. We thought they were separate <laughs> auctions. It does say on the graphics. Um, but in our defence, we were just looking at the components themselves. Beautifully encrusted with topa uh, sorry, zircon. Um, loving that. And then you have, again, very Van Cleef inspired, this lovely kind of beaded detail um, all the way around. Solid, beautiful. The big investment of 925. Five. Let me just hold one of them up and you can see that. So they're not flimsy. Once you put them through the ear, they are yeah, they're going to retain yeah, that shepherd hook shape. Can you believe that, Hannah? That's £10 per pair. That's insane. Isn't it is it? insane. It is insane. There's but a lot of silver there. It was. It, 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 we generally thought that was for those. We thought that price tag was just yeah. for these well, earrings. Well, I mean, you could believe it, couldn't you? Mm, it wasn't. It was for both. It was for both Gorgeous. of them. £19.99 pence only. We have got the final few opportunities of these within the vault. You've got quite a large round brilliant cut. Can you see that just there? Um, quite a large round brilliant cut within, um, within the drops as well. Um, so something like 
Yeah, zircon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so like with a black, with a black jade or something like that. Now on Monday, we have the return of that white zircon strand that we had the other day. Remember, we gave it to our lovely Mark, and he said he was Mark. Do you know what? I forgot to give you your black, your black jade. Is he watching right now? Are you, Mark? Well, I forgot to give you the black jade out bicone strand. I've literally got it in my bag right now. I'll give it to you on Sunday, uh, on Monday. Sorry. Um, is this what he's made? Using the white zircon that we gave to Mark literally on the show oh for this gosh. purpose so that he could make this beautiful bracelet. Oh my goodness, Mark, that's absolutely stunning, isn't it? Gorgeous. That is absolutely amazing, isn't it? We will recap that zircon strand. Mark did say that he was going to be demonstrating, I think you called it, was it the flat kiss cross? I think it was. He said he was going to be demonstrating that as well. It's going to be absolutely amazing opportunity. You've got last few chances, by the way, on the tourmaline kit. We've just brought the graphics live for that. It's very, very, very limited. Large stones. Hannah, as per usual, just stunning jewellery. Thank you. Absolutely Thank you. stunning. I've loved both of your demonstrations. I've loved all of your kits. I, you are the queen of the wraparound. <laughs> Loving I, I that. I do love those bracelets. So um, totally. Totally. Yeah, it's so <laughs> beautiful. When are you back with us then? Do you know? Um, on the 1st, I think. On the 1st of February. Well, that's, yeah. that, that's not that far away. Yeah, not that far away. So, <laughs> so, uh, finally, payday. Yay! Yes, it's the 95th day of January. And, <laughs> yeah, no. um, anyway, payday coming soon. Um, stay tuned, though. Uh, our wonderful sister channels coming up next. Lovely hobby maker. I will see you now on Monday morning with our beautiful Mark. We love you, Hannah. Thank, Thank you. you so love much you for uh, joining me. Make sure you check out all your baskets. Have a lovely afternoon. We'll see you soon.